e anzi è molto aggressivo con gli altri, eccetera. Perché eh, questa sua maturazione karmica di essere abile con le mani non è eh, accompagnata dalla eh, motivazione del beneficio per gli esseri. Ok, possa la preziosa mente dell'illuminazione che non è ancora sorta a sorgere, quella già sorta a non declinare ma a crescersi sempre più. Sansara e Nirvana mancano anche di un solo atomo di esistenza intrinseca, mentre causa ed effetto e sorgere dipendente sono infallibili. Chiedo le vostre benedizioni per discernere il significato di questi due pensieri di Nagarjuna, questi appena letti. Il primo comincia Sansara e Nirvana, l'altro causa ed effetto. E questi pensieri di Nagarjuna non sono mutualmente eh, contraddittori ma sono complementari l'uno all'altro è tardi quindi possiamo dobbiamo saltare moltissime dediche che sono tutte bellissime in tutte le mie vite mai separato dai guru perfetti possa io godere del magnifico dharma completando le qualità di terreni e sentieri possa io velocemente ottenere lo stato di Vajradhara il Buddha primordiale Ora recitiamo la preghiera di lunga vita per Sua, Sua, Santi, Sua Santità il Dalai Lama e la Mazopa Rinpoche, che comunque sono solo due delle manifestazioni illuminate nel mondo. Noi non possiamo recitare per tutti, sono tantissime le manifestazioni illuminate nel mondo. Noi recitiamo l'auspicio la, di lunga vita perché siano di estremo beneficio in questa loro vita a tantissimi esseri per tantissimo tantissimo tempo la dedichiamo a, eh, non solo a questi due che sono i nostri maestri principali comunque perché ognuno ha il suo karma ma a eh, tutti gli esseri eh, illuminati che si presentano in forma umana e in tutte le altre forme per aiutare gli, eh, gli esseri senzienti per il Dalai Lama, tu che sei il gioiello che soddisfa tutti i desideri, sorgente di ogni beneficio e felicità in questo mondo, incomparabile, gentile, supremo, tensi in ghiaccio, tu possa avere una lunga vita e i tuoi santi desideri essere spontaneamente soddisfatti. Per la Mazoparimpo c'è tu che sostieni la moralità del soggiogatore, che servi come potente aiuto per tutti, tu che supporti, preservi e diffondi la vittoriosa dottrina di Mangiusri, tu che magistralmente compi magnifiche preghiere che onorano i tre sublimi, salvatore di me stesso e degli altri tuoi discepoli, ti prego, ti prego, vivi a lungo. Bene, grazie a tutti. Good morning. Good morning, have a good practice. Thank you for continuing. Thank you, bye. Bye. So, oh, good morning from Nalanda Monastery in the south of France. I'm happy that you're joining this practice and in this way fulfilling Lama Zupa Rinpoche's wish. So, um, in order to have a meaningful practice, it's important to prepare the vehicle of the mind, which is our body. So, for some moments, we focus on the Okay, Ani Champa is still there. Okay, so we are focusing on our body. And um, we are breathing in and breathing out. We are just observing our breath without judging or manipulating.
And then we check for some moments our body posture. Is our spine upright, flexible, but stable? And check if there are any tensions in your body. And if you can, try to release these tensions. Again, focus shortly on your breath. And for this time of practice, try to put aside all problems you may have, or projects, worries, So we are not, um, how to say, we are not suppressing them, all these problems. We just put them aside for 30 minutes or 25 minutes in order to, to do this practice and to benefit all those who are sick from the coronavirus. So the... The virus is at the moment spreading very uh, fast, but it seems that most of the people are not so affected in a serious way. So, uh, but still are suffering and many countries, they are um, um, problems with poverty. And there are also many afflictions rising up There are many conflicts about how to behave, what is right, what is wrong, what we should do and should not. So many people have theories and so on. So I think this is also a big problem at the moment that there are so many afflictions rising up. So and what we can do is um, to have a um, peaceful and clear mind and try to practice a good heart. And then we start by visualizing all sentient beings in human form um, gathering around us. Our father or mother, even if they have already died. Your relatives, those people who make you angry or irritated, and also those to uh, who you are attached to. And then the many, many sentient beings um, you don't know, but it could be that in former lifetimes they have been your mothers or sisters, brothers, even children. Or could be this in future lifetimes. And try to become aware of their suffering. So we try to help them through this practice. But because our ability to help is quite limited at the moment, mostly we cannot help even ourselves. So we make the decision to become a perfect, complete Buddha 
a being who is um, who has purified all obstacles and negative karma and developed all qualities to the maximum. So in the space in front of us, we can visualize Buddha Shakyamuni sitting on a wonderful, precious throne supported by eight snow lions. And on top of this throne is a variegated lotus. On top of that is a sun disk. And on top of that is a moon disk. And this is the seat for Buddha Shakyamuni. His left hand holds an arms bowl and his right hand is touching the ground. He has uh, a beautiful smile. His eyes are half opened, which symbolize that he's <clears throat> at the same time in meditative equipoise and at the same time seeing all sentient beings around us, including ourselves, and is ready to help. And then we start to take refuge to Buddha Shakyamuni. All sentient beings, my mothers who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Idams, and Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dhammakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of gurus, idams, and dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of gurus, idams, and dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. And then we recite um, compassion mantra, the mantra of Chen Rezik. And again, you can visualize the letters of this mantra standing upright on a moon cushion at your heart. And while we are reciting, these uh, letters are turning clockwise and emanating a five colored light, which uh, reaches to all decent beings around us, including ourselves and gives a lot of um, comfort. It's uh, pacifying all uh, suffering and gives them lightness and, and happiness. Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Um mani pame, um mani pame, um mani pame.
Mani Padme Hum, Mani Padme Hum, Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Then we start with the actual prayer, and I will read um, the prayer several times. <clears throat> May all the diseases that set on the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of Graha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there from life threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all the embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings they are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well being. By the compassion of the Gurus and the Three Jewels, by the power of the Dakinis, Dhamma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that set on the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of grass, spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there from life threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unarmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases and so forth. May whatever sufferings they are due to disturbances of the four element, depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health and well-being. By the compassion of the Gurus and the Three Jewels, by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sat on the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the arms of Graha spirits, illnesses and the Buddhas not occur in the realms of the world, May whatever sufferings they are from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases and so forth. May whatever sufferings they are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the dakinis, dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, 
May all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unarmed by acute chronic and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 of spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases and so forth. May whatever sufferings they are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the dakinis, dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. Then I would like to recite the other prayer, the swift fulfillment of wishes and dependence on the great Jetsin Sun Kappa, <clears throat> which is also a prayer Lama Zopa Rinpoche advised us to do. So I will read it three times. Namugu, supreme embodiment of the wisdom and compassion of all the victorious ones of the three times, manifesting as a monk wearing the three saffron robes, the spontaneous exalted wisdom Dhammakaya possessing the five bodies. To you, Jetsen Lozandapa, I make request, please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. With a nature of primarily pure clear light, uninterrupted natural expression of the complete Sambhogakaya, great being who unifies body and mind, to you, Jetsen Lozandapa, I make request, Please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. Displaying an array of manifold Nimanakaya emanations appropriate to the limitless living beings, equaling the expanse of space. To you, Jetsen Lozandapa, I make request. Please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. Through the power of having made single pointed requests to you, may all the unfortunate natural manifestations of the degenerate age illness, famine, crawling, epidemic disease, graha spirits, interferers, and so forth be pacified. Then when I request that the excellent collections of conducive conditions increase, please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. Having completely cleared away the darkness of ignorance and confusion and fully developed the domination of supreme intelligence, Virtuous friend who causes the hundred petal lotus of the scriptural tradition to bloom, the sun radiating benefit and happiness to you, I make request. Please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. Since I and others, the assembly of faithful disciples, have no other lot of refuge to turn to for hope, then we make request in all the six sessions of day and night, please bless us that the Guru's blessings may enter our minds. Also at the end of this life, may I see your glorious Lozandapa along with your retinue and immediately have a vision of you saying reassuringly, son, daughter, go to the celestial realm of Tushita. Care for me with your compassion, precious Guru. Please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. Namu Guru, supreme embodiment of the wisdom and compassion of all the victorious ones of the three times, manifesting as a monk wearing the three saffron robes, the spontaneous exalted wisdom Dhammakaya possessing the five bodies, to you, Jetsen Lozandapa, make request, please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. With a nature primarily pure clear light, uninterrupted natural expression of the complete Sambhogakaya, great being who unifies body and mind, to you, Jetsen Lozandapa, make request, please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. Displaying an array of manifold Nimanakaya emanations appropriate to the limitless living beings equaling the expense of space. To you, Jetsen Lozandapa, I make request. Please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. For the power of having made single pointed requests to you, may all the unfortunate natural manifestations of the degenerate age, illness, famine, crawling, epidemic disease, graha spirits, interferers, and so forth be pacified. 
then when I request that the excellent collections of conducive conditions increase, please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. Having completely cleared away the darkness of ignorance and confusion and fully developed the illumination of supreme intelligence, virtuous friend who causes the hundred petal lotus of the scriptural tradition to bloom, the sun radiating benefit and happiness, to you I make request, please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. Since I and others, the assembly of faithful disciples, have no other Lord of refuge to turn to for hope, then we make request in all the six sessions of day and night, please bless us that the Guru's blessings may enter our minds. Also at the end of this life, may I see you, glorious Ozandapa, along with your retinue, and immediately have a vision of you saying reassuringly, son, daughter, go to the celestial realm of Tushita. Care for me with your compassion, precious Guru. Please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. Supreme Namo Guru, supreme embodiment of the wisdom and compassion of all the victorious ones of the three times, manifesting as a monk wearing the three saffron robes, the spontaneous exalted wisdom Dhammakaya possessing the five bodies. To you, Jetsen Ozandapa, I make request. Please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. With a nature of primordially pure clear light, uninterrupted natural expression of the complete Sambhogakaya, great being who unifies body and mind, to you, Jetsen Ozandapa, I make request. Please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. Displaying an array of manifold Nimanakaya emanations appropriate to the limitless living beings, equaling the expanse of space, to you, Jetsen Ozandapa, I make request. Please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. Through the power of having made single-pointed requests to you, may all the unfortunate natural manifestations of the degenerate age, illness, famine, crawling, epidemic disease, graha spirits, interferers, and so forth, be pacified. Then, when I request that the excellent coll collections of conducive conditions increase, please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. Having completely cleared away the darkness of ignorance and confusion and fully developed the illumination of supreme intelligence, virtuous friend who causes the hundred petal lotus of the scriptural tradition to bloom, the sun radiating benefit and happiness, to you I make request, please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. Since I and others, the assembly of faithful disciples, have no other lord of refuge to turn to for hope, and we make request in all the six sessions of day and night, please bless us that the Guru's blessings may enter our minds. Also at the end of this life, may I see your glorious Lozandapa along with your retinue and immediately have a vision of you saying reassuringly, son, daughter, go to the celestial realm of Tushita. Care for me with your compassion, precious Guru. Please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. So finally, the recitation of the mantras. First, um, Vajrayama mantra. Hum Vajra Bedum Padmajavari Bed Nimbajig Naganam Tayata Sava Virita Hana Hana Vajina Akshaksha Soma. Om Vajra Pet, Om Padma Shavari Pet, Nimbajig Naganam Tayata Salavirita Anahana Vajena Raksha Raksha Soha. The mantra of Black Manjushri. Om Tasa Jose Dutasa Dumisa Ningalache Kalaja Kamjantam Pepe Soha. Om tasse jose dotase domise ningolache kalaja kam jam dam pepe soha. The mantra of Green Tara. Om tare tu tare tu soha.
Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Soha. And then at the end we dedicate all this positive potential we have created. May the precious Supreme Bodhicitta not yet born arise. May that arisen not decline, but increase more and more. Due to this virtue, may I quickly become a Guru Buddha and lead all transmigrati beings without exception to that state. Due to all the merits of the three times collected by me, the numberless Buddhas and the numberless sentient beings, may all wars, sickness, famine, torture, poverty, and economic problems in the world and all dangers of earth, water, fire, and wind be pacified immediately and may perfect peace and happiness prevail in everyone's hearts and lives. May the Buddha Dharma last for a long time and may the sentient beings in this world meet the Buddha Dharma and achieve enlightenment as quickly as possible. Due to all the past, present and future merits collected by me and all the merits of the three times collected by the numberless Buddhas and numberless sentient beings, which are completely empty of existing from their own side, may I, who am completely empty of existing from my own side, achieve the state of full enlightenment, which is completely empty of existing from its own side, and lead all sentient beings who are completely empty of existing from their own side to that state, which is completely empty of existing from its own side. I myself alone, who is completely empty of existing from my own side. So, thank you so much for joining. And uh, I see almost Shiro Kenny. That's the name. Hello. <laughs> the, you have to unmute. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Let on. Okay. Yeah. Hello, how are you? And I have to rename myself properly. Yes. Ah, okay. Let me move in um, in an in a deep. Okay, you are not so well. <laughs> you are hard to understand. I think your internet is not so well at the moment. Oh, okay. So it's also a bit uh, slow. I don't know. Maybe it's your network. Maybe the internet yeah, yeah. is not so good. But anyway. Yeah. I'll turn it up a little bit and keep my fingers crossed. Okay. Thank you. Have a good practice. Bye. Bye. So sorry, I'm, I'm told the internet connection is a little unstable. So hopefully um, you can still hear me for the next hour. Um, we will take a moment to set our motivation for a um, virtuous motivation to generate very strong bodhicitta. That we are doing these prayers, uh, first of all, the great suffering that's occurring in the world, this ongoing problem with COVID and all the associated problems. So taking on some responsibility ourselves and also taking on Lama Soparimbushi's advice to do these prayers together uh, by the Sangha from all around the world. So we can take a moment to just uh, generate, uh, rejoice in a sense that we are for fortunate to have this support to have this guidance and to have this anchor. We'll meditate, just recollecting our body, settling our body and mind. And just visualizing all of the sentient beings in the six, six realms surrounding us and joining us to do these prayers with us. Just thinking, even though these beings are in all forms of different realms, 
we visualize them in human form as we go to Mahasiddha Tantan Galpo. Being in human form is the easiest form to um, purify our negativities. So we think our mother of this life is on our left and the father of this life. Uh, whether they are alive or dead, is with us. And all of the people that we know who may be in prayers, people who have passed away, who are bardo beings. I'd like to especially mention Venerable Thika Thignathan, um, who had passed away this morning, who touched the hearts and minds of so many beings in the world and who really lived a form of engaged Buddhism and just personified um, the people who wanted to connect with that form of being, really wanting to make a difference in the world, thinking about social justice and various forms of sufferings, uh, being very active to advocate for less fortunate. So may he continue to born in this world and benefit many, many beings until samsara ends. So with that, we will go for refuge. Again, taking a moment to recall the mighty qualities of Mahasiddha that his capacity, his enlightened wisdom, compassion uh, and his um, various qualities that he had. Uh, he was an agent. Um, he, he, he was a medicine man. He, he, he was able to control the demon who was causing a, um, an epidemic, a pandemic in Tibet. Um, and he's overcome death, suffering and death of old age uh, and sickness. So recalling all of these, we supplicate and ask for the blessings of this uh, Mahasiddha Tankton Gapo. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Rama, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of gurus, yidams, and dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, Dhammakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Rama, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of gurus, yidams, and dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dhammakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yadams, and Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dhammakaya. We'll do this seven times, so four more times. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yida, and Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dhammakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of gurus, yidams, and dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dhammakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of gurus, yidams, and dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our minds, the Dhammakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Dakinis.
we go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dhammakaya. With that, still holding the visualization um, of thousand arm Chenrezig above our head, thinking, remembering that um, Mahasiddha Thanton Galpo got this prayer from Arya Avalokiteshvara or Chenrezig. That Chenrezig is abiding in our world. That we um, we urgently uh, ask for the blessings as we recite the mantra. We can imagine, we can visualize that each and every sentient being has um, Arya Chenrezig above their head and nectar comes from the heart of Chandraisi and purify our bodies as we recite Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum. Oh money but me hum 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 but me hum oh money 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 but me hum money but me Oh money but me hum 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 Oh money for me, 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 oh Oh money but me hum 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 me hum oh money but 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 me hum oh money oh money but me hum 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 oh money Oh money but me hum 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 oh money but me but me hum oh money but me hum oh money but me hum oh money oh money but me hum 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 oh money oh money but me hum oh money but me hum oh money but me hum oh money oh money but me hum oh money but me hum oh money but me hum oh money Oh money, but me who oh money, but me who oh money, but me who 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 money, but me
Before we dissolve Arya Chandra above our head, we recite also recite this prayer, calling on all of the associated um, Buddhas um, to come to our aid and purify us. Wrathful, victorious, high Breva, perfect, pure Tara, and so forth. Objects of refuge whose holy names eliminate all dangers upon mere hearing, who are compassionate, please pay attention to me. When the sentient beings of the time of coddling and of the flourishing of the degenerations are tormented by fighting and intense suffering, from the explosion of a great ocean of evil karma and jealousy, please dry this ocean up by the strength of your transcendental wisdom. And also by letting fall the great nectar rain of loving kindness on the transmigrating beings whose hatred is a blazing fire. Please grant your blessings for happiness and auspiciousness to increase by their recognizing each other as being like parents. Through your de uh, defeating the multitude of vicious evil spirits, 
who by entering someone's mental continuum, change it instantly into the mind of an Asura. From now on, may they never roam in this region. Please also cause all the sentient beings who have died in war from now on to abandon all evil karma and cause and result and be miraculously reborn in blissful land. Please also lead all others to that pure land. Please cause all those who are born and die to have long lives and not have sicknesses to stop all their calling and fighting and to enjoy life in the 10 virtues. Please make rainfall at the right time, harvest to always good, and auspiciousness to increase in all habitats and for all the inhabitants. By the ultimate reality, which is pure in nature, and betraying cause result, which has the ultimate reality, and the compassionate guru, mind seal deity, and rare sublime ones, may my pure and extensive prayers be accomplished. So we can imagine um, Arya Chinraisi above our head dissolves in nectar, nectar or um, steam like substance and falls on um, the crown of our heads and just find each and every being, all of our negativities, all the negative karmas that are yet to ripen. All obscurations of the mind are completely purified and we have to clean, clear. It's taking a moment to really think that it has happened. We can now recite the actual prayer. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions such as the harms of Graha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. There are sufferings there are from life threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other diseases. The mere of whose names terrify beings as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. May the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the dakinis, dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. We can now recite uh, the Vajra Ama Mantra that uh, Lama Soparimpa say um, initially. Recommended we do. Om Vajra Pe, Om Padma Shavari Pe, Nashi, Naganan, Kayata, Savadrita, Hanahana Vajrina, Rakshanacha Saha. Om Vajra Pe, Om Padma Shavari Pe, Nampashi, Naganan, Kayata, Savadrita, Hanahana Vajrina, Rakshanacha Saha. Om Vajra Pe, Om Padma Shavari Pe, Nampashi, Naganan, Kayata, Savadrita, Hanahana Vajrina, Rakshanacha Saha. Om Vajra Pe, Om Padma Shavari Pe, Nampashi, Naganan, Kayata, Sagavarita, Vajrana, Rakshara, Soha. Om Vajra Pe, Om Padma Shavari Pe, Nampashi, Naganan, Kayata, Sagavarita, Hanahana, Vajrana, Rakshara, Soha. Om Vajra Pe, Om Padma Shavari Pe, Nampashi, Naganan, Kayata, Sagavarita, Hanahana, Vajrana, Rakshara, Soha. Om Vajra Pe, Om Padma Shavari Pe, Nampashi, Naganan, Kayata, we recite the Black Manjushri Mantra to protect our own minds and also to, uh, for personal protection from COVID. Om Tra Surju Surju Tau Surju Mi Surni Gola Cha Kala Cha Kam Shamba Pe Soha Om Tra Surju Surju Tau Surju Mi Surni Gola Cha Kala Cha Kam Shamba Pe Soha 
And green Tara Mantra is recommended by His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Om tare tu tare tu re so ha, 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 om tare tu tare tu re so, tare tu tare tu re so ha, om tare tu tare tu re so, om tare tu tare tu re so ha, om tare tu tare tu re so ha, om tare tu tare. Om dare to dare to reso ham, dare to dare to reso ham, dare to reso ham, dare to dare to reso ham, dare to reso ham, dare to 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 dare to reso ham, Medicine in the Mantra for the success of um, projects in Sri Lanka. Down begans a begans a maha begans a rasa samaka peso a tayat down begans a begans a maha begans a so a tayat down begans a begans a maha begans a rasa samaka peso a tayat down begans a begans a maha begans a rasa samaka peso a tayat down begans a begans a maha begans a rasa samaka peso a tayat down begans a begans a Say <laughs> Sangri Dave Kobe Shinkamsi, Tandam Jeva Madhu Zure Me, Shenre Sivan Chengsian Gatsui, Sabde Sise Badu Shangu Shi. You who uphold the subdual's moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Manjunath's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplish magnificent prayers, honoring the three jewels, savior of myself and others, your disciples. Please, please live long. Lama also, Lord of Dhamma, who in accordance with the various dispositions of those to be subdued, makes clear in the light of your well-spoken advice, the sacred Gandhian tradition, essence of Buddha's teachings, O foremost and holy Lama, to you who are supreme, we make this prayer of supplication. O Lama, please, please live long. Other dedication prayers. We'll recite um, Master Shanti Devas from Bodhisattva Jariya Vasara. May all beings everywhere plagued by sufferings of body and mind obtain an ocean of happiness and joy by virtue of my merits. May no living creature suffer, commit evil, or ever fall ill. May no one be afraid or belittled with a mind weighted down by depression. May the blind see forms and the deaf hear sounds. May those whose bodies are worn with toil be restored on finding repose. May the naked find clothing, the hungry find food. May the thirsty find water and delicious drinks. May the poor find wealth, those Weak with sorrow, find joy. May the fallen find hope, constant happiness, and prosperity. May there be timely rains and bountiful harvests. May all medicines be effective and wholesome prayers bear fruit. May all those who are sick and ill quickly be freed from their ailments. Whatever diseases there are in the world, may they never occur again. May the frightened cease to be afraid and those found be freed. May the powerless find power and may people think of benefiting each other. 
for as long as space remains, for as long as sentient beings remain. Until then, may I too remain to dispel the miseries of the world. Other dedication prayers. Dan chu sem cho rin po shi, ma ke pa nam ke ku shi, ke pa niam pa me pa yi, gong ne gong du pa wa shu. Due to this virtue, may I quickly become a Guru Buddha and lead all transmigrant beings without exception to that state. Due to all the merits of the three times collected by me, the numberless Buddhas and the numberless sentient beings, may all worst sicknesses, famine, torture, poverty, and economic problems in this world, and all dangers of earth, fire, water, and wind be pacified immediately and may perfect peace and happiness prevail in everyone's hearts and lives. May the Buddha Dharma last for a long time, and may the sentient beings in this world meet the Buddha Dharma and achieve enlightenment as quickly as possible. Due to all the past, present, and future merits collected by me, and all the merits of the three times collected by numberless Buddhas and numberless sentient beings, which are completely empty of existing from their own side, May I, who am completely empty of existing from my own side, achieve the state of full enlightenment, which is completely empty of existing from its own side, and lead all sentient beings who are completely empty of existing from their own side to that state which is completely empty of existing from its own side by myself alone, who is completely empty of existing from my own side. So I'll be continuing on for the next um, half hour as well. So just taking a moment again to just um, recall our motivation for doing these prayers today. Just recalling all of the different forms of suffering that is ongoing in the world. understanding these conditions and sufferings have come about as a result of us creating the causes to experience whatever we are experiencing, these terrible difficulties, challenges, environmental, health, economic, uh, mental, and all other forms of suffering and that we ourselves have the power to transform these conditions just as we created them by purifying our minds and living in virtue. So thinking how fortunate that is that we have, even though things are very difficult all around the world, that we have the remedy and we have the guide it is indeed a rare fortune we can just think and meditate for a moment how wonderful it would be if all beings could have happiness and its causes and if all beings had teachers had disposition to want to cut and understand the causes of suffering and causes of happiness. And how wonderful it would be if we were never separated from this happiness of higher rebirth and ultimate liberation. How wonderful it would be if our own thoughts of holding some close and not liking others and discriminating attitudes if we were free from them, and if all beings were free from them. 
and that we are doing these prayers and engaging in Dharma practices to our best of our ability to develop this kind of mind. To be able to cause things to have these conditions. To develop our own capacity and ultimately to become a Buddha, to be able to help all beings to be free from suffering. Please go to Buddha, help me to be able to do this, help us to be able to do this. And just by carrying out these, um, our Guru's advice, may we have his blessings to bring about a transformation in our mind as quickly as possible. That may we receive all of the conditions to be able to practice and learn, to be contemplate, do actions, follow Rinpoche's guidance, engage in the activities, whatever it is that we are meant to do. May we have conducive conditions. May all of the obstacles be removed immediately. May all the obstacles to all beings suffering and eventual liberation be quickly removed. So we particularly visualize Mahasiddha Tantum Galpo because he has um, he has uh, been able to transform conditions in the past uh, when similar pandemic occurred in Tibet. So we yet again pray to this Mahasiddha to bring about this change for us right here and now. And just remembering the connection between the Mahasiddha Tantan Galpo and Arya Chandraisi, Avalokiteshvara, and all our gurus that are present. That is, it is up to us to connect with them and put effort to transform our own minds for these changes to happen. Also taking a moment to think about all of the beings, all of the countries, and the people who have died from COVID and other diseases, Bado beings, and to have also precious human rebirth, or whatever can bring about their enlightenment as quickly as possible for our own, our teachers to abide in this world, in this life, also until samsara ends. And all of the countries that want to connect with Dharma, that don't have the conditions or the freedom to have this freedom immediately, whatever obstacles that is taking place, whatever laws, whatever mental states, biases be removed immediately. They connect with the enlightened beings, the Buddha's teachings, and quickly be able to connect with qualified teachers. And all the beings who are suffering, like they're in hell realm with acute trauma, post-traumatic disorder and such conditions. They are unable to will themselves out of these mental states. They need enormous help. May they quickly be free from this acute sufferings of the minds. So calling, thinking about all of these beings, 
we go for refuge and thinking that they too are going for refuge with us. And indeed, all six realm beings in human form are also going for refuge to Mahasiddha, Tantan Gyalpo, and remembering the connection with um, Arya Chandrasik. And Arya Tara and all other enlightened Buddhas. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are in infinite light space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dhammakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are in infinite light space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dhammakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dhammakaya. So we recite Om Mani Padme Hum, the mantra of um, Chenresi, imagining that thousand Nam Chenresi is above our heads. That's each and every sentient being of the six realms has um, Arya Chenresi abiding above their head. And as we recite the mantra, Nehra um, emanates from the heart of Chenresi and falls on the top of our heads, the crown, and purify all our. Um, pleasures, negativities, obscurations. So holding that visualization, we'll recite Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum, 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 Padme hung on money, but may 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 Omani <laughs>
So again, to connect with all the Buddhas on all the other enlightened beings who are um, has a close connection with Arya Chinresi, we recite this prayer before dissolving um, Thousand Arm Chinresi. Fractal, victorious, higher griva, perfect, pure Tara, and so forth. Objects of refuge whose holy names eliminate all dangers upon mere hearing, who are compassionate in nature, please pay attention to me. When the sentient beings of the time of coddling and the flourishing of the degenerations are tormented by fighting and intense suffering from the explosion of a great ocean of evil karma and jealousy, please dry this ocean up by the strength of your transcendental wisdom. And also by letting fall a great nectar rain of loving kindness on the transmigrating beings whose hatred is a blazing fire. Please grant your blessings for happiness and auspiciousness to increase by their recognizing each other as being like parents. Through your defeating the multitude of vicious evil spirits who by entering someone's mental continuum change it instantly into the mind of an Asura. From now on, may they never roam in this region. Please also cause all the sentient beings who have died in war from now on to abandon all evil karma and cause and result and be miraculously reborn in blissful land. Please also lead all others to that pure land. Please cause all those who are born and die to have long lives and not have sicknesses to stop all their coddling and fighting and to enjoy a life in the 10 virtues. Please make rainfall at the right time, harvest to always be good and auspiciousness to increase in all habitats and for all inhabitants. By the ultimate reality, which is pure in nature, and betraying cause and result, which has that ultimate reality. And the compassionate guru, mind seal deity, and real sublime ones. May my pure and extensive prayers be accomplished. With that, we imagine our rich and racy dissolving into the top of the crown of our heads. Just entering our body, purifying every cell, all parts of our body. Just making our mind and body completely clean, clear, like crystal. And all the mother sentient beings that are surrounding us have achieved this same thing. They too are completely purified of all of their negativities. So with that, we will recite the actual prayer. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of Graha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to the disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, 
by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. One more time. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death, May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. Maybe one more time, may all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of Graha spirits, illnesses and the Buddhas not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases and so forth, may whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. The dedication prayers. May all beings everywhere plagued by sufferings of body and mind obtain an ocean of happiness and joy by my by virtue of my merits. May no living creature suffer, commit evil, or ever fall ill. May no one be afraid or belittled with a mind weighted down by a depression. May the blind see forms and the deaf hear sounds. May those whose bodies are worn with toil be restored on finding repose. May the naked find clothing, the hungry find food. May the thirsty find water and delicious drinks. And may the poor find wealth, those weak with sorrow find joy. May the fallen find hope, constant happiness and prosperity. May there be timely rains and bountiful harvests. May all medicines be effective and wholesome prayers bear fruit. May all May all who are sick and ill quickly be freed from their ailments. Whatever diseases there are in the world, may they never occur again. May the frightened cease to be afraid and those bound be freed. May the powerless find power and may the people think of benefiting each other. For as long as space remains, for as long as sentient beings remain, until then may I too remain to dispel the miseries of the world. And the long life prayer, His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Tangri Dave Kove Shinkanti, Tandan Deva Maru Zulene, Shendra Sivan Tensin Gatsoli, Chapte Site Baldu Tangri. I'm so proud and precious. You who, are, you who uphold the subduous moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Manjana's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplish magnificent prayers, honoring the three jewels, savior of myself and others, your disciples, please, please live long. Namaste.
Lord of Dharma, who in accordance with the various dispositions of those to be subdued, makes clear in the light of your, your well-spoken advice, the sacred Gandhian tradition, essence of Buddha's teachings, O foremost and holy Lama to you who are supreme, we make this prayer of supplication. O Lama, please, please live long. Other dedication prayers. Due to the merits of these virtuous actions, may I quickly attend the state of the Guru Buddha and lead all living beings without exception into that enlightened state. May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow and may that which has arisen not diminish but increase more and more. May the precious view of emptiness that has not arisen arise and grow and may that which has arisen not diminish but increase more and more. May the supreme realization of the two stages that has not arisen arise and grow and may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. So because we have extra time, I'd like to um, recite a few mantras before the final dedications. So we will recite um, the Vajrama Mantra. Om Vajrape, Om Padmashavari, Pinam Pashik Naganam, Tayata, Savavarita, Hana Hana Vajrana, Vajrata Om Vajrape, Om Padmashavari, Pain, and the Shade Naganam, Tayata, Sagarita, Hanahana Vajrana, Raksha Raksha Soha. Om Vajrape, Om Vajris, Om Padmashavari, Pain, and the Shade Naganam, Tayata, Sagarita, Hanahana Vajrana, Chasoha. Om Vajrape, Om Padmashavari, Pain, and the Shade Naganam, Tayata, Sagarita, Hanahana Vajrana, Raksha Raksha Soha. Om Vajrape, Om Padmashavari, Pain, and the Shri Naganam, Tayata, Sagarita, Hana Hana Vajana, Rakshasa. Om Vajrape, Om Padmashavari, Pain, and the Shri Naganam, Tayata, Sagarita, Navajana, Rakshasa. Black Mandi Shri Mantra, Om Trasa, Jusa, Jutasa, Dunisa, Nigola, Chakala, Jakam Shamba Pesaha. Om Trasa Dusa Dutasa Dunisa Nigola Chakala Jakam Shamba Pesoha. Om Trasa Dusa Dutasa Dunisa Nigola Chakala Jakam Shamba Pesoha. Om Trasa Dusa Dutasa Dunisa Nigola Chakala Jakam Shamba Pesoha. Om Trasa Dusa Dutasa Dunisa Nigola Chakala Jakam Shamba Pesoha. Om Trasa Dusa Dutasa I'm sorry to die to the so hard, die 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 to die to the so hard, I'm daddy to daddy to that you are. I'm daddy to daddy to raise a heart. I'm daddy to daddy to raise a heart. Have you seen the mantra? I don't beg and say, beg and say, Maha beg and say, that's some of the so hot. I don't beg and say, beg and say, Maha beg and say, that's some of the so hot. I don't beg and say, beg and say, Maha beg and say, that's some of the so hot. I am. Beg and say, Maha beg and say, that's some of the so hot. I don't beg and say, beg and say, Maha beg and say, that's some of the so hot. I down, they can say, they can say, Maha, they can say, that's the son of the Pesoa. I down, they can say, they can say, Maha, they can say, that's the son of the Pesoa. I down, they can say, 
So I'd like to especially think about Rinpoche's advice for Sri Lanka uh, for a medicine Buddha, um, 15 meter med medicine Buddha statue to be built um, in Sri Lanka for that project. And also Namrim teachings to be a uh, teacher to, um, to be able to visit Sri Lanka and teach Namrim. Uh, I dedicate all these prayers. May the precious Supreme Bodhicitta not take born arise. May that arisen not decline, but increase more and more. Due to this virtue, may I quickly become a Guru Buddha and lead all transmigratory beings without exception to that state. Due to all the merits of the three times collected by me, the numberless Buddhas and the numberless sentient beings, may all wars, sicknesses, famine, torture, poverty, and economic problems in the world, and all dangers of earth, water, fire, and wind be pacified immediately. And may perfect peace and happiness prevail in everyone's hearts and lives. May the Buddha Dharma last for a long time. And may the sentient beings in this world need the Buddha Dharma and achieve enlightenment as quickly as possible. Due to all the past, present, and future merits collected by me and all the merits of the three times collected by the numberless Buddhas and numberless sentient beings, which are completely empty of existing from their own side, may I, who am completely empty of existing from my own side, achieve the state of full enlightenment, which is completely empty of existing from its own side, and lead all sentient beings who are completely empty of existing from their own side to that state, which is completely empty of existing from its own side by myself alone who is completely empty of existing from my own side. Thank you. And I will finish there and hand over to uh, Venerable Sarah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Lamsam, for your prayers, your kindness. Toshi Dele. Hello, 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 hello. Toshi Dele, for your teaching, for your praying. Can you hear me? Yeah. Your kindness and. Can you hear me? And, and your practice, long life and great gurus <laughs> for you. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello. Uh, Hello. Yes. Hello. Oh, okay. I think you can hear me. I can't hear you. Okay, so no problem. So let's just uh, get straight to it. It's a very cold day here yep. in uh, Boda, Nepal. And um, currently, we are having the peak period for COVID infections. So once again, uh, Copan is in lockdown. Copan Monastery, Copan Nunnery are both in lockdown. And once again, we have um, regulations uh, to limit gatherings and limit traffic here in Nepal. And uh, quite a few people I know are either isolating or um, confirmed with the virus. So we're not over the woods, out of the woods yet, as my mother used to say. We're not out of the woods yet. Um, hopefully, um, the prediction uh, right now is that um, the situation will be over um, by the middle of February. So we're um, looking forward to that. And if that prediction works out, it will mean that there won't be obstacles to gatherings at Losa time. 
And of course, uh, this low soil, we have 16 days to accumulate uh, great amounts of merit, because as we know, those 16 days are, um, are multiplying days. So whatever is accumulated um, will be that much stronger and more powerful. Okay, so what you're looking at is not me, but the prayer wheel. And the prayer wheel has more than two trillion mantras. So even if I'm chatting, uh, I'm spinning the prayer wheel and dedicating all those mantras that are turning <clears throat> um, for the end of the COVID and uh, for all sentient beings and for, uh, on our Guru's holy wishes to be fulfilled. And uh, then with that as a motivation, um, let's just get straight to the practice and do many manas. First of all, refuge, bodhicitta. All sentient beings, my mothers, or infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and the Kinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and the Kinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and the Kinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and the Kinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, Go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and the Kinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, Go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and the Kinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite, like space, go for refuge to the Guru, precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and the Kinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. Yeah, so as it says, recite these verses as many times as you are able. And then let's recite the mantra. So I have a big prayer wheel, I also have a small prayer wheel, and also going to recite Om Mani Pimihu. 
going to do that for the next um, 10, 15 minutes. So, uh, spoiler alert, that's, yeah, next 10, 15 minutes. So, visualizing that from the syllables, Omani Pemihong, so it's more than two trillion, but of course, then also got the hand prayer well, but you can think that as this prayer well is turning, all the prayer wells in the world are spinning. They're all spinning. They're filled with Omani Pemihong. Each Omani Pemihong is a manifestation of Guru Chin Mezig. And each syllable is making its own sound. From each syllable, light rays go out into all directions, into all six realms, purify all the negative karmas, obscurations, delusions, causes the suffering of all sentient beings. And then again, the light rays radiate out and they fill all sentient beings with all the blessings of Guru Chimamesic's holy body, speech and mind. Omani Pemiyam, 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 Umani Pemim, 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 Oh, my 
And in the breath, may all the diseases of sadden the mind of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of our spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings emerge from life threatening diseases, that like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, and not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, other epidemic diseases. The mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, 360 evil spirits at home suddenly, 424 diseases, and so forth. Now, whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified. May the body and mind of radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well being. By the compassion of gurus and his three jewels, by the power of the Dakinian star and protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth is the infallibility of common its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from calm and temporary conditions, such as the harms of grass spirits, illnesses, and the butters, not to occur in the realms of the world. Now, whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases, that like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, and not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases. The mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama. The Lord of Death, may all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interference, 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. And whatever sufferings are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. May the body and mind of radiance and power be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being by the compassion of gurus and his three jewels, by the power of the Dekinia's time, protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth, the infallibility of karma and its results. May all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of grass spirits, illnesses, and the butters, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases, that like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases. The mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, 
the 360 evil spirits that harm so many, 424 diseases, and so forth. Now, whatever sufferings are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness. Be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power. Be endowed with long life, good health and well-being. By the compassion of the Gurus and the Three Jewels. By the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and Guardians. And by the power of the truth, the infallibility of karma which results. May all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. So due to the uh, virtue from accumulated by ourselves, all the Buddhas are sentient beings. Let the empty existence on your own side, and the eye which is completely empty existing on its own side, quickly achieve the state of full enlightenment, which is completely empty existing on its own side. Lead all sentient beings that completely empty existing from your own side to that state by ourselves alone, completely empty, existing as unsight. My precious thought and enlightenment, bodhicitta, cherishing others more than oneself, sacrificing oneself for others. Immediately <clears throat> be born in our own minds and minds of all sentient beings, especially the world leaders. One that has been born, ever declined, could increase more. more. And then just dedicate the long lives of our holy gurus and also want to make special dedication for our great master Thich Nhat Hanh, passed away today. I'll be back in an hour, so I'm passing over immediately to Venerable Rabina, who I think should be there. Venerable Rabina. Good morning, Venerable. Uh Hi, Venerable Sarah. It's uh, it's Tenzin. Ah, uh, it's and, not. Uh, it's uh, Venerable Pelian. Yes, and I'll be here Oops, for half I can't an hour. Hear one minute. Oh. I'm handing over to you. Passed away today. Yes, Thank and you. I'll I'll be back in an hour. I'm sorry, uh, I can't well, hear you, but I'll just pass over to you now. Oh, thank you. I think it's half an hour. You're back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good morning, everyone. So beautiful. And um, Chen Rezig Institute, thank you so much for all that you do. You know, I think that Venerable Sarah, okay, good, you just sent her, yeah. All right. Good morning, everyone. Um, may all be well. Uh, Regina on the line and the Chen Rezig Institute. Now, um, I'm so grateful to be here this morning from New York City, where I'm currently staying. Um, it's quite cold here today, uh, but uh, the weather has been beautiful. Um, uh, there's uh, a lot of uh, work towards uh, in increasing vaccinations and, uh, but there's a lot of COVID that's spreading in, in New York City and around the country, even in people who have been triple vaccinated. So, uh, and, and we, we're at the top of the chain in, in, in many ways of uh, having received vaccinations and uh, had access to vaccinations. So for everyone in all areas of the world, particularly India, Nepal, places in Africa, mm, may all beings, this world, all worlds, uh, receive all the help they need to be safe, free from suffering. And I did want to also show uh, for anyone who can see. So this is, um, this plant that I have here. This is uh, the nickname of it is a peace plant. This is a Sathophyllum and it has put forth a beautiful flower. And what I just noticed this morning 
is that um, this is a beautiful sign of hope. So you see uh, at the very front there on the bottom of the leaf that's in the front, there's a little white, there's a little white thing poking out. That's gonna be another flower op opening its, its head in no time at all. So um, may there be peace, may there be safety, health, peace. May all beings be free from harm and may all their good wishes be fulfilled. This as motivation and as Venerable Sarah mentioned, um, the, the uh, very precious Thich Nhat Hanh passed uh, yesterday. May he be very well as he transits through the bardo. May all of his students be well. May all beings everywhere be well. May all sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own mind, the Dharmakaya. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidam, and Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own mind, the Dharmakaya. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. And now we'll recite the Mani Mantra, uh, visualizing either if we've had the appropriate empowerment, we can uh, dissolve into emptiness and arise as a deity. Otherwise, we can uh, visualize uh, Avokiteshvara Chen Rezig or a bright, bright white light on the crown of our heads or in front of us. Mm. Is that about the level of the crown of our head? And we are surrounded by all sentient beings, our father, our mother, all those who are our beloved and that we are close to, uh, surrounding us and behind us, all having Avakishvara, uh, bright white light on their crowns. And in front of us, all other sentient beings, including anyone who is a challenge to us, all having Chimrazig, brightest white light on the crown of their heads and flowing down into them and all around them. And so with this visualization, with much love and compassion and, uh, and strength, we will recite the Mani Mantra. Please do it your own pace and I will uh, come back and lead us on in a couple of minutes. Mani
And now we all consider the prayer uh, suggested by Lama Zopa Rinpoche, method to transform a suffering life into happiness, including enlightenment. At the beginning of this, each day, this is recommended. Direct meditation on the graduated path containing all the important meanings is given to us by George Chango Song Jinpa. I'll pause a little bit between each verse for us to have time to just digest a little bit. Essence encompassing all the Buddhas, originator of all the Holy Dharma of scripture and realization, principle of all the Aryas intending virtue in the glorious Holy Gurus, I take refuge. Please Gurus, bless my mind to become Dharma. Dharma to become the path and the path to be without obstacles. Until I achieve Buddhahood, please bless me to be like youthful Norsam and Bodhisattva always crying, incorrectly following the virtuous friend with pure thought and action, seeing whatever is done as pure and accomplishing whatever is said and advised. Please bless me to see that this greatly meaningful body with freedoms and richnesses is difficult to find and easily perishes, that action and result are so profound, and that the sufferings of the evil gone transmigratory beings are so difficult to bear. Therefore, please bless me to take refuge from the depths of my heart in the three real sublime ones, to abandon negative karma, and to accomplish virtue according to Dharma. Independent upon that, even if I achieve the mere higher rebirth of a devil or human, I will still have to experience suffering endlessly in samsara because of not having abandoned and being under the control of the disturbing thought obscurations. Therefore, please bless me to reflect well upon the ways of circling in samsara and to continuously follow day and night the path of the three types of precious trainings, the principal method for becoming free from samsara. Independence upon that, even if I achieve mere liberation, since there is no sentient being of the six types who has not been my father and my mother, please bless me to think I must fulfill their purpose and turn away from the lower happiness of nirvana. Then please bless me to generate precious bodhicitta by equalizing and exchanging myself with others and to follow the conduct of the conqueror's sons and daughters the six parameters, and so forth. Having trained my mind in the common path in that way, I will not be upset even if I have to experience the sufferings of samsara for a long time. However, please bless me to look at sentient beings with extraordinary unbearable compassion to enter the quick path of the Vajrayana teachings. And then 
please bless me to protect my vows and Samayas more than my life and to quickly accomplish the unified Vajradhara state in one brief lifetime of this degenerate time. May I not give rise to heresy for even a second in regard to the actions of the glorious guru. May I see whatever actions are done as pure. With this devotion, may I receive the, ble the guru's blessings in my heart. Magnificent and precious root guru, please abide on the lotus seat at my heart. Guide me with your great kindness and grant me the realizations of your holy body, speech, and mind. And now a verse from Kadampa Geshe Lami Tampa's Eight Verses of Thought Transformation. Determined to obtain the greatest possible benefit from all sentient beings who are more precious than a wish fulfilling jewel, I shall hold them most dear at all times. And a verse from Arisura's Prayer in 70 Stanzas. May I become like a wish granting jewel fulfilling all the wishes and like a wish granting tree fulfilling all the hopes of transmigratory beings. And now some verses from Shanti Deva's Bodhisattva's Guide to the Bodhisattva Guide to the Bodhisattva's Way of Life. May I be a savior for those who lack a savior, a guide for all the beings who enter a road, a boat, a ship, and a bridge for those who want to cross the water. May I be an island for those who seek the safe shore of an island a light for those who want a light, bedding for those who wish for bedding, and for all beings who desire a servant, may I become a servant of them all. May I be a wish-granting jewel and a wish-fulfilling vase, giving rise to whatever is desired, such as food and clothing, powerful mantra accomplishing the actions of pacification, increase, and so forth. Great, <clears throat> great medicine curing every disease, a wish fulfilling tree satisfying every need and a wish granting cow for all beings. Like the four great elements, the earth and so forth, and like the sky, may I always be a means of living in every way for the innumerable sentient beings. Likewise, may I be a means of living at all times and in all ways for the realms of sentient beings equaling the extent of space until they attain sorrowless state. As long as space remains, as long as transmigratory beings remain, until then may I too remain to dispel the suffering of transmigratory beings. And now we'll, here's a little bit of um, information from the backstory or colophon about the prayer that we will consider next. Uh, it is called the prayer liberating sake from disease. Uh, so from the backstory or colophon, once an epidemic was spreading from one person to another at the great seat of the glorious sake monastery in Tibet, whatever the mantra masters tried, red crosses, tormas, medicines, mantras, protection amulets, and so forth had no effect and the monastery was in danger of annihilation. At that time, the great Lord Mahasiddha Tangtang Gyalpo performed the space refuge, recited a number of Mani mantras and proclaimed the prayer that we will do following, after which the entire epidemic immediately ceased independence upon its performance. Thereby it became renowned as the Vajra speech radiating masses of clouds of blessing entitled the prayer liberating Sakya from disease. And uh, on the, the other little square uh, next to below me, there is in the Chen Institute Square, there is a Tonka representing 
Tang Tang Gyalpo, Mahasiddha Tang Tang Gyalpo, who has given us this prayer. So the actual prayer, may all the diseases that set in the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the realms of, such as the harms of Braha spirits, illnesses, and the Bhuttas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leaving an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by, the, by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified, and may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. And we will recite this beautiful, powerful prayer a second time. Prayer liberating sake from disease. May all the diseases that set in the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses, and the bhuttas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases. The mere sounds of these names terrify beings as though they have been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are to the disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified, and may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. And we will recite the prayer, liberating sake from disease a third time. May all diseases that set in the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of Graha spirits, illnesses, and the Bhuttas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified and may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, 
may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. And now we have a little bit of time. I'm going to um, uh, recite for us uh, another prayer that's been given to us by Mahasiddha Tangtang Gyalpo. This one called a request to pacify the fear of famine. A little bit from the backstory, when a great fear of famine caused by bad harvest, frost, hail, and the like arose in Tibet, the great Lord Mahasiddha Tangtang Gyalpo offered an alms bowl full of grain in front of the Joel Rinpoche in Plaza and made prayers. As a result of this, those endowed with the appropriate karma saw Chenrezig area of Okidishvara bringing down a rain of grain from the sky over the land of Tibet. This blessed Badra speech also liberates all living beings from the sufferings of hunger and thirst. Having generated the mind aspiring to the highest supreme enlightenment in order to truly liberate all infinite living beings, you, the compassionate victorious one, completed the two accumulations, the assemblies of gurus, buddhas, bodhisattvas, kiras, prateka buddhas, yidams, bikinis, gurus, dharma guardians of the ten directions, yaksha wealth gods, the lords of treasures, along with your retinues, Please think of these protectorless living beings of the degenerate times with love. And then in order to truly protect these embodied beings who are tormented by sufferings of hunger, thirst, and poverty, let fall a rain of whatever attractive enjoyments are needed. Jewels, food, wealth, grains, bedding, vaccines, and so forth on this world's land of snows, on this world, on all worlds. Please pacify the harms of the four elements, untimely wind, fire, drought, rain, floods, and so forth, and may nourishing grains from crops, harvest, and so forth, ripen and increase like they do during the age of completion. By the force of having made extensive requests with strong entreaties through the force of love and compassion, may the eon of sickness, fighting, and famine be pacified and may we possess a happy long life free from illness. Through the great compassion of the victorious ones and their children and the force of the infallible truth of cause and effect, may the teachings of the victorious ones spread and increase and may all living beings swiftly attain the highest enlightenment. Mm, thank you so much. And now we'll do some dedication prayers. First to actualize bodhicitta. May the precious Supreme Body Teacher not yet born arise. May that arisen not decline, but increase more and more. And a prayer for the sick. However many sick sentient beings there are, may they quickly be freed from all sicknesses. May all the sicknesses without exception of transmigratory beings never occur again. A prayer to meet a perfect guru in all our lifetimes. In all my lives, never separated from perfect gurus. May I enjoy the magnificent Dharma by completing the qualities of the grounds and paths. May I quickly attain the state of Vajradhara. To abide in samsara for sentient beings. As long as any sentient being has not been liberated from samsara, may I abide in samsara to help them, even though I could achieve the highest enlightenment. And to dedicate in the same way as all past Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. I fully dedicate all these virtues to be able to train just like the hero Manju Sri, who knows reality, and just like Samantha Bhadra as well. I fully dedicate all my roots of virtue with the dedication praised as the best by all the gone beyond victorious ones of the three times in order to have good conduct. And for the long life of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the wish-granting, wish-fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. 
and for the long life of Lama Zopa Rinpoche, you who uphold the Sadur's moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Manjana's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplished magnificent prayers honoring the three sublime ones, savior of myself and others, your disciple. Please, please live long. And we will seal the merits of these prayers that we've done this morning with emptiness, due to all the past, present, and future merits collected by me, the numberless Buddhas and the numberless sentient beings <clears throat> who are completely empty of existing from their own side. May I, who am completely empty of existing from my own side, achieve the state of full enlightenment, which is completely empty of existing from its own side and lead all sentient beings who are completely empty of existing from their own side to that state, which is completely empty of existing from its own side by myself alone, who am completely empty of existing from my own side. And so now I, I don't know if Venerable Sarah is with us again. I see that your prayer will has stopped turning, Venerable Sarah. Yes, she is. She's with you. I see that your again. prayer will has stopped turning, Venerable Sarah. Yeah, but that's just because I'm I'm arranging myself. Can you hear me? All right. Yes, very well. We can hear you very well. Can you hear me? Yes, we can Oops. hear you. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, sorry. Yes, she is. <laughs> okay. She's with you. I see that again. Yes. Uh, so sometimes the prayer wheel doesn't turn, and sometimes there's two prayer wheels. So I hope you can see two prayer wheels. There is a small hand prayer wheel. <clears throat> And there is a big prayer wheel. <laughs> Thank you for this for the for the mudras because I, I can't hear anything. I don't know why not. Just can't hear anything. Okay, well, there's my karma. As long as people can hear me. Okay, um, well thank you very much, Venerable Um Pelian. I um I'll take over from here. And uh let me see. <clears throat> right, can you see the second prayer wheel? In my right hand, I'm holding a small prayer wheel, and in my left hand, I am turning a big prayer wheel. Okay. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so Venerable Payan just gave this really wonderful session, and she went through um, <clears throat> Rimshay's transforming. Uh, suffering life into happiness which was very beautiful I was listening to it and I always get very inspired by the fact that she does that <clears throat> so I don't need to do that anymore that is done and um, uh, and then Venua Rubino is, is going to come and she will give lots of wonderful instructions on the practice and be very inspiring so I don't need to worry about being inspiring so <clears throat> what I plan to do now then is um, just do the session straight again, like I did before. I remember Venable um, <clears throat> Renee used to say that uh, sometimes it can take a uh, half hour, one hour, two hours just to recite the refuge prayer to get really get some feeling for it. And I thought that was something very inspiring to share. So I'll recite this um, space uh, refuge prayer uh, several times. And then I'll recite the mantra, uh, probably maybe 15, 20 minutes again. And then I'll do the dedication. And uh, <clears throat> if you weren't here before, then I, I'm Sarah and I'm in um, Boulder. Hang on a minute. In Nepal. And right now, um, 
<clears throat> we're actually at peak COVID time. Um, so many people have COVID and we have new regulations and there are lockdowns at Copen again. So <clears throat> we're not out of the woods yet. So let's imagine all sentient beings around us as they are in fact. And I uh, think that since beginning this time, we ourselves experience numberless sufferings, all the six realms of samsara. Not just once, but numberless times. <clears throat> and we will have to continue experiencing suffering until we cease the causes of suffering. In order to cease the cause of suffering, we need to rely upon someone who has done that, who's accomplished that, and can explain the path <clears throat> and those who can help us to go along that path. So for us as Buddhists, that is Buddha Dharma Sangha, three objects of refuge. And of course, all of those are <clears throat> embodied in the Guru. And the Guru is Buddha, the Guru is Dharma, the Guru is Sangha also. The Guru is creator of all happiness and goodness. Okay, so around us, all sentient beings, and we're all taking refuge. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. <clears throat> we go for refuge to some of Gurus, Yidams, and Dikinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dhammakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. We go for refuge to somebody of Gurus, Yidams, and Dikinis. We go for refuge to Empty clarity of our own minds, the Dhammakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite length space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Dikinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dhammakaya. <clears throat> All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. Go for refuge to some of Gurus, Yidams, and Kinas. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dhammakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, for infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Dikinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings. My mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha and Dhamma and Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Dikinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dhammakaya. So then, as the, <clears throat> the two prayer wheels, you probably can see two prayer wheels turning, big one, small one. <clears throat> but please think that all the prayer wheels in this world are turning. And if you have a prayer wheel, please also turn that. Think that light rays coming from the Omani Femi Hall in all these prayer wheels radiate out. And this uh, six syllables, or many people in in reality, they are the manifestation of courage and Mezig's holy speech. So each syllable making its own sound. 
and the light rays go out and they uh, heal all the sickness in this world. So they heal all the physical sicknesses, COVID, everything else, the other sicknesses, cancers, mental depressions, suicidal thoughts. <clears throat> and they also heal all the causes, they purify the causes, the karma, the delusions, the anger, the jealousy, the pride, the ignorance, the strong craving desire that are behind uh, the negative comers, being uh, all completely healed, completely purified. And then think that the light rays from the Omen of Hemihong, each syllable making its own sound, radiate out, and they fill all sentient beings with all the blessings of Guru Shimmezik, holy body, speech, and mind. Omani Pemil, 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 Omani So try to just focus on the mantra, the sound of the mantra, on the Nibimimum, radiating the space, the light, entering all sentient beings, purifying them, filling them with blessings. <clears throat> they all become chemising inside the mantra. Just try to be present. Not worried about what happened before and what will come afterwards. I'm just present with the mantra. Umani Mamil. 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 Money, 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 money
Omane Mana 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 
So I think that the light rays are coming from the syllables, the six syllables, <clears throat> which are the manifestation, dramatic, holy speech, each syllable making its own sound. The light rays emitted and they heal all the sicknesses and all the cause of sickness or sentient beings, ourselves included. And they also bring all the blessings to the Mosaic Holy Body, Speech and Mind. And we and all sentient beings become Chimrezic. I think that all the sickness is completely eliminated. <clears throat> then we recite the, the prayer. 
May all the diseases sadden the mind of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of Brahma spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realm of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases, that like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases. The mere sounds of whose names terrifies beings. As though they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, 360 evil spreads at home suddenly, 424 diseases, and so forth. And whatever sufferings are due to disturbances of four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified. May the body and mind of radiance and power. Be endowed with long life, good health, and well being by the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the kinis, time protectors, and guardians, and by the power of the truth with the infallibility of karma its result. May all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions such as the harms of grass spirits, illnesses, and the putters, not occur in the realms of the world. But whatever sufferings are from life-threatening diseases, then like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in an instant, do not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases. The mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings are due to disturbances of all elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified. And may the body and mind of radiance and power be endowed with long life, good health, and well being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the dakinis, down protectors, and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma's results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sadden the mind of sentient beings that result from karma. And temporary conditions, such as the harms of grass spreads, illnesses, and putters, not occur in the realms of the world. <clears throat> May whatever sufferings are from life threatening diseases, that like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. The only body beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases. The mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings are due to disturbances of four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified. May the body and mind have radiance and power, be endowed with long life, good health, and well being, by the compassion of gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the kinis, dhammatadas, and guardians, by the power of the truth, the infallibility of karma's results. May all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. So I dedicate all the virtue in doing this uh, prayers. Fulfilling Guru's wishes. <clears throat> Bodhicitta to arise in the minds of authentic beings, including ourselves, where it has arisen to not decline and increase more and more. Now, the Guru is to have long lives, 
Oh no, your wishes be fulfilled. <clears throat> Due to these virtues, the empty existence on my own side. I wish which is completely empty existence on my own side. I quickly achieve a state of Guruji Mesics, enlightenment, which is empty existence on my own side. Lead all sentient beings completely empty existence on my own side to that state by myself alone. Venerable Ravina, where are you? Venerable Ravina? Venerable Ravina is taking over now, yeah? Okay, if you see her, then holler. And in the meantime, I just recite Omen of Henry Hall. I don't know, she can be anywhere. She can be flying in the sky. She can be under the ground. She can be walking on the earth. She can be swimming in the ocean. Oh, man, it's in there. Oh, man, it's in there. The Venerable Rabina. Oh, man, it's in there. 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 Oh my dear. Venerable Rabina, what time zone are you? What time dimension are you? What aspect are you? Which pure abode are you in? Oh my dear. Oh my dear. Oh my dear. Oh my dear. Yes. <laughs> I'm here, Petal. Hello, everybody. Okay. Okay. So, good, darling. Handing over. Hand it over. Thank you, dearest nun. Where are you? In Rome. In Italy. Oh, my goodness. I've got some problem yes. today. I can't hear anything. Okay, oh, I'm going to sign off because I can't hear you. Never mind. And Serena. I'll check up later. Okay. Thank we'll you so up. much. Goodbye, darling. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, sweetheart, Venerable Sarah. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everybody. I'm in Rome on a sunny day. I just come back from a walk, eating a Roman lunch. Actually, it was a Tuscany lunch, apparently. And I was telling my friend that in Australia, we don't have Australian food. There was the Aboriginals first, and then the English came along with their disgusting food. Then the Italians came with their coffee machines in 1950. And then Australian food now is a mixture of about 27 different cultures, but it's very good food. But meanwhile, Italians, I always tell about how we, when we drank coffee in the 1950s, before the Italians came after the war, or they came first, they bought their machines. I think we had Nescafe, and the best cheese you could get was that American processed craft cheddar cheese. So thank goodness for the Italians. And there's still a cafe in Melbourne called Pellegrini's, where we used to go for a real coffee back in the 1960s. We felt so kind of grown up going for a coffee. Pellegrini's is still there. Anyway, I'm in Rome. So there you go. Okay, people, now we talk to, we, we pray to Buddha. We imagine, as always, Lama Chen Rezik is there pervading the universe when we understand the meaning of the word Buddha. It's the Dharmakaya, the, the omniscient, all-knowing, all-compassionate, all-powerful all mind consciousness. And this is, you know, what Jada Rumache is telling us in his last few days in his teachings, you know, in, uh, in Portland, if you've been coming to Jada Rumache's teachings, definitely you should be coming. And he's giving another teaching tonight at seven, eight o'clock, and tomorrow's giving Tara empowerment, by the way. So he's, as he's saying, you know, the one the unique thing about the Buddhist view is that, um, you know, the Christians talk about God, who is the creator, but you never talk about becoming God. You couldn't do that. That's inappropriate. But the Buddha's different. He says everybody has the potential. Everybody's mind has the potential to become a perfect mind. 
to become perfect, to become omniscient, to become infinitely compassionate. And because it's not physical, then it, how can it be confined by space or time or matter? This is logical. So when you're fully developed, your mind pervades the universe. So because that mind is only wishing to benefit others, what drove them to become a Buddha is compassion. Then, of course, they have to manifest in bodies for poor old peanuts like you and me. You can't see past our own noses. So they manifest in the Nirmanakaya, which is called the emanation body, which is the example behind us. Shakyamuni Buddha is a human being in India. And then you've got the subtler one, which is really that tantric aspect, this bodhisattva aspect, radiant light bodies, the great Arya bodhisattvas, the bodhisattvas who can realize emptiness, they can see with their subtle mind. So this is the one we're visualizing, the enjoyment body, the, the, the Sambhogakaya, they call it in Sanskrit. Radiant light body, this uh, bodhisattva style, beautiful, not in the style of a monk, different style. Should energize us, lift us, you know, it's a different level. So it's radiantly beautiful, a manifestation of qualities of goodness, of love and compassion, the essence of all the virtues. Radiantly beautiful, white light body, he's sitting cross-legged on a multicolored lotus in his bodhisattva style clothes, like a royal aspect, you know very radiant and beautiful and silken clothes and jewels around his neck. You see it in the pictures and the statues. <clears throat> and is the emanation of our Lama, you know. Lama meaning the person that we have chosen in human form or more than one. You know, we can think we have many teachers, you know, Lama Zopa's got like 50 gurus, I've got quite a few people I've chosen, whom I've met over the years, whom I've chosen. I have chosen, this is a key point. I've looked into their qualities and have made a decision that they are the Buddha for me. So thinking that this emanation of the Buddha in this Sambhogakaya form, it's your Lama's mind, your Guru's mind manifesting as Chenrezig for your benefit. It makes it really personal, you know. And it's hard for us to imagine, I think it's hard for us to imagine somebody with such love and compassion for us. It doesn't, we, because we have this low self-esteem, because we have this sense of no self-worth, this is the irony of ego. It's hard for us to imagine anybody really loving us, isn't it? It's very curious. One of our problems is we don't trust that a person could have love for us. And love means may you be happy. Compassion is may you not suffer. So we can imagine a person, you know, in human form, whom we have decided is the Buddha, then their love and compassion for us must be absolutely infinite. There's nothing holding it back. There's no delusions there. There's no self-interest there. That's hard for us to imagine. We almost can't trust that. We can't believe that, you know. But that's the confidence we've got to have. And that opens our hearts and makes us, you know, as Lama Yeshe says, we're dying for love. So why not choose a person who will not, you know, who is worthy of your love. I put it like that, you know, choose a Lama, a guru, whom you see as Chen Raising, who is worthy of your heart, who will not let you down, who will not let you down, who only wants you to be happy, who only wants you not to suffer, who only wants to guide you to your Chen Raising nature. You have to have confidence in that. Of course, you'd feel close to a person if you felt they have that, you know, they only care about you. It's pretty intense for our minds, you know. So imagining in the sky, Lama Chenrezig, full of love and compassion for you, but also for the entire universe equally. Not just that, but having the wisdom to see their minds perfectly, which means having the power, the, the wisdom to see how to benefit each one of us and the power to do so. That's Buddha. The more we understand that is what a Buddha is. The more we understand how it's possible to become that, the more we'll understand how we have that potential. And all this increases our confidence in, you know, in uh, the existence of this possibility and the existence of this in beings. So encouraging to us. So thinking like this. Lama Chen Rezik sitting on the multicolored lotus. And then it is white, a white ulm at his brow, a red R at his heart, at his throat, and a blue hung at his heart. And then blue, this is this is called this, this visualization, they call it this the commitment being or the symbolic being. It's like pretend, it's like we visualize, and now we have to invite the actual Chen Raisings from their abodes throughout the universe. 
to come and absorb into our visualization, making it real. So imagine the light going out from Lama Ched Rezig's heart, the blue hole there, and it goes out and hooks the energy of all the Ched Rezigs in the universe in their pure lands, hooks the energy of these holy beings, and it comes back, the energy of their body, speech, and mind comes back with this light and absorbs into the heart of Chen Rezi, filling our Chen Rezi completely with this energy. So now our visualization now becomes real. Zaho, Bamho. They become non-dual. So now we visualize all the suffering sentient beings of the universe, particularly we can visualize, but especially particularly those with COVID-19 and the latest one, the, the, the Delta, then the Omicron, all these latest ones, you know, of this pandemic, this universal sickness we've all got or affected by in some way or other, collective karma of the entire human planet, you know. So we visualize them all in the top form of enemies, friends, and strangers, the objects of attachment, the objects of aversion, the objects of indifference. There's no fourth category. So right in front, you know, all of them, all of them in, the, in the form of humans, which is their form they can get enlightened in, but all of them experiencing their particular sufferings of their particular realm of existence. So right in front, you imagine the objects of our aversion, the so-called enemy, right in front. And to the left, our beloveds, the objects of our attachment. And then to the right and above, to the left, to the right, in front of us, in the right, but also above us, to the left, to the side of us, to the right side of us, below us, in front of us, the whole of the universe full of all this category, these third ones, these objects of indifference, these so-called strangers. So by definition, a friend the object of attachment, you know, we, how do we feel about them? We have love and compassion for them. At least for them, we have it. For the enemies, we don't have love and compassion. And the strangers, we have not, we couldn't care less. We have indifference. Why? This is the logic of samsara, isn't it? Friend by definition is a person who does what my attachment wants. An enemy by definition is a person who proactively doesn't do what my attachment wants or who does what my attachment doesn't want. And strangers do neither. So we adore the friends, we can't stand the enemies and we couldn't care less about the strangers. This is the universe, okay? And this is the, the three poisons, Buddha's you know, analysis of the three main mental illnesses that cause us suffering. And these divide this world into this way. No objective basis. So because we know that all sentient beings want to be happy and don't want suffering, this is the basis of our wish to make them happy and our wish that they do not suffer and that we make that happen. So with this in our hearts, we then, you know, we uh, say these lovely verses from um, the, it's the Vajra speech of Mahasiddha Tantong Gyalpa. Without, from our hearts, determine we wanting this. As you can see, all these verses, may this, may that, may this, may that. That's the meaning of intention. Not motivation, but intention. I will, volition. Every millisecond of our mind, there's an intention. Every second, driving everything we say and do and think. So these prayers, may this happen, may that happen. May sending me be free of suffering. May this, may that. Have this from our hearts, wanting this. Collectively together, you know, we say these prayers, these thoughts. Starting with the, uh, the motivation. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, we rely upon the precious Guru Buddha. We rely upon the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We rely upon the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, Dakas, and Dakinis. And we rely upon the empty clarity of our own minds. So like we've been hearing, if we've been hearing the teachings of John Ramesha, he mentioned yesterday the different views, you know, there's the Sakya view, the Kagyu view, when we talk about Mahamudra, all the different views will come to the same thing. So this is a Sakya way of putting it, you know, it's not Galupa, how we rely upon the empty clarity of our own minds. That's how the Sakyas talk, the Dharmakaya. 
All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, we rely upon the precious Guru Buddha. We rely upon the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We rely upon the assembly of Gurus, Yudamas, Dakas, and Dakinis. And we rely upon the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, we rely upon the precious Guru Buddha. We rely upon the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We rely upon the assembly of gurus, yidams, dakas, and dakinis. We rely upon the empty clarity of our own minds, the dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, we rely upon the precious guru Buddha. We rely upon the Buddha, the dharma, and the sangha. We rely upon the assembly of gurus, yidams, dakas, and dakinis. We rely upon the empty clarity of our own minds, the dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, we rely upon the precious Guru Buddha. We rely upon the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We rely upon the assembly of gurus, yidams, dakas, and dakinis. We rely upon the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. So now, as we say the verses a few times, no, we say the mantra first, don't we? So Lama Chen raising, as we say this, first of all, we visualize the light coming from the blue, the white om at his brow radiant laser beams of light go out and enter our brow and the brows of every single being above, below, behind, to the sides, entering into them, totally purifying all the sickness, particularly this, the pandemic sickness, you know, or, and, um, and all sickness in general, all sentient beings, especially us embodied beings, you know, humans and animals, particularly the way we experience suffering based on these bodies. And then, of course, Crucially, purifying also the karmic seeds we've all planted since beginning of lifetimes by harming others with our bodies in countless past lives, putting atomic bombs under these seeds before they ripen. So both imagine this white light purifying the sickness itself, alleviating the pain from our bodies. Imagine all the people who are sick and all the poor animals who suffer so terribly physically. They can't even get a Band-Aid, you know. They have no one to turn to. And they live in such terror, eating each other, being eaten alive, so shocking. So imagine all these beings alleviated of the suffering of the physical body. How incredible. And free of all the past coming seeds before they ripen. Imagine this, really want this for all sentient beings. Oh, money per me. Om Mani Padme Hum. 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 Om Mani Padme Hum.
humani be me hum. So the Mansion Maze continues to send this light, ray blazing, brilliant laser beams entering into every single suffering center being, purifying every one of them, alleviating all their suffering and all the negativity, as we say the verses from our hearts. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as though they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are from life threatening, whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified, and may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the dakas, dakinis, dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as if they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified, and may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the dakas, dakinis, dharma protectors, and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as though they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified, and may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the dakas, dakinis, dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as if they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the dakas, dakinis, dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth, of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. So don't forget, there are two things here going on, two benefits. First of all, 
And this is something we miss in our culture. We don't understand the power of our own mind. We don't understand the power of thoughts at all. And so we will tend to think, well, what good is this? How can me wanting others to be happy? What's the benefit of that, we think, you know? Well, first of all, we must never, ever forget, and we do, is that even if you didn't help a single living being, just having these thoughts in our mind, we can't even imagine the power of that. For our own sake, this is the most unbelievable practice, you know? It's sort of like, you're studying, you're playing music, and then you've got an audience. So one, you tend to play music and the audience gets the benefit. But, but forget about that. You sit in your own house playing music. Even if nobody hears you, what do you think you're doing with your mind? You're programming your mind with music. That's the first benefit. It's the same here. You are programming your mind with these unbelievable virtuous thoughts. This is your method for becoming yourself, Shen Rezig. We miss this completely in our culture. That's why the practice of generosity, who do you think you're benefiting first? Yourself. The practice of not killing, not stealing, who do you think you benefit? Yourself. We totally miss this, you know, and when we understand this, we'll have extra enthusiasm for practice because first, as they always say in the teachings, and Jada Rinpoche mentioned it a few days ago, for the, you know, for achieving the two purposes, achieving the, your own purpose, which is the wisdom wing, and achieving the purpose of others which is a compassion wing. When we understand this, we'll have much more enthusiasm for the practice because you are, you are turning yourself into a Buddha. So even if you don't benefit another living being, already what you're doing for yourself is inconceivable. So be so happy about this, you know. So we visualize again, continue to visualize Lama Chen Rezik sending all these blissful beams of light, entering the brows of every living being in the planet, removing all their terrible suffering of the physical body, and the karmic seeds from the, all the infinite past actions that haven't yet ripened as suffering from having harmed others in the past with our bodies. Wanting this so badly, visualizing the light entering everybody, achieving this. Oh, money, me, Oh, money, me, Oh, money, pay me home. 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 And remembering, even as we as we chant in our own little house, sitting here quietly together on our own, maybe again forget about the benefit of um, of this visualization, but just saying the mantra, saying in tantra, sound is the wind energy. The sound is the wind energy, the prana. So sound, the purest sound, the best sound, the most powerful sound is Sanskrit sound. All the lamas would say that. They haven't translated. See, they don't translate this, the mantras into Tibetan because they leave it in the original Sanskrit. It's said to be the, the sound is said to be the most pure, most profound. So this sound purifies the, our own wind energies because our mind and our wind energy is connected, as, as Jada Rinpoche told us. So both for purifying our own mind, programming our mind with compassion by saying it, and because it's sound, which is the air, purifying the air energies, which is our body. And then the karmic results from this. So be delighted. And then think of you saying the mantra silently, all the creatures around you, all the spirits and all the animals and the creatures and the bugs living in your body, they'll get the benefit as well. So a multitude of benefits, okay? Oh, money, baby, oh, money, baby.
ูมันนี้เป็นเมฆูสำหรับหัวใจคุณต้องพยายามดูดวงจันทร์ที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสีแดงที่เราใช้ในการแสดงสี I'm trying to think. Those people, the uh, Maharishi, what was his name? And they did they did research on everybody saying mantras in a certain place, it, 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 the effect it has on that place, and that makes complete sense when you think of the Vajrayana model. So all of us all over the world having these thoughts, saying these words wherever we are, bringing an effect there. This is the way karma works, you know. To be very happy about that. Transcendental meditation. That's right. So may all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of g r a h a s p i r i t s illnesses and the Bhutas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases, that like a butcher needing an animal to be slaughtered, <coughs> separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings, as well as animals and humans, be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases. The mere sounds, of whose names terrify beings, as though they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are from life that are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the dukas, dakinis, jama protectors, and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses, and the bhutas, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embody, may whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant. Not occur in the, in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases. The mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as if they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified, and may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, with the power of the darkest d e g i n i s jama protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth and the infallibility of cause and effect. May all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses, and the bhutas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are due to, from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings. As though they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified, and may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, with the power of the darkest d e k i n i s jama protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses, and the bhutas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases, that like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. 
May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified and may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the duckers, dakinis, dharma protectors and guardians, by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. So now again, we visualize the Stam Lama generating, sending a red light as purify all the body and the speech and mind as well. So the red light from the red art is throat entering our throats, every one of us, totally eradicating all the suffering results of past negative speech, which of course, mostly us as humans do this. And all these beings have been humans in the past. So all the results of experience are similar to the cause of not being believed, of being abused with speech, all the environmental results of harsh speech, wrong speech, you know. All of this purified, not to mention the tendencies to, to continue to lie and, and bad mouth and so on. Plus all the karmic seeds we've planted already from wrong speech that haven't yet ripened in all living beings' minds, totally eradicated, this red light filling us. Oh, mani pe me hum. 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 Now visualizing Lama Chin raising so happily, sending radiant beams of laser light from the blue hole in his heart, entering our hearts, completely filling us, and this time purifying our ridiculous minds, okay? Removing these delusions that are adventitious. This is an amazing finding of the Buddha, you know? That these delusions are not intrinsic to us, they're not at the core of our being, they can therefore be removed. Amazing. Imagine this. All sentient beings. And of course, removing all the karmic imprints from the trillions of other imprints from the, in the mind that haven't yet been haven't yet ripened, even the suffering. All of this rare atomic bombs on all of them. Okay, how amazing. Full of this blissful blue light. Oh, money, baby, 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 oh.
How many per me? Who? Full of this blissful blue light. How amazing. Free of the delusions. Imagine this. Every sentient being. Liberated from suffering and its causes. Continue to visualize the white light, purifying the bodies. May all the diseases that stand in the minds of sentient beings and result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of Braha spirits, illnesses, and the Bhutas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases that are like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as though they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interference, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness. Be totally pacified and may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the darkas, dakinis, dhamma protectors, and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sat in the minds of sentient beings and result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases that, like a butcher, eating an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interference, the 360 evil spirits that hunt suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the dakas, dakinis, dhamma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth, of the infallibility of the law of cause and effect, such that everything we think and do and say just naturally programs us and produces who we become in the future. We are our own creators. As His Holiness says, the law of karma is self-creation. What a marvelous idea. Imagine, we create ourselves. Who would have thought? May all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that stand in the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases, that like a butcher leaving an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they've been placed inside the mouth of Yala, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the dakas, dakinis, dhamma protectors and guardians, by the power of the truth, of the infallibility of karma and its results. May all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. So now we do the bit that we do the meditation. We'll do it shorter this time. We visualize um, all the lights coming together. So in other words, imagine that you've achieved liberation from suffering now and its causes. That's what, that's the wisdom we accomplished. We've achieved liberation. But there's more we can do is so by entering into the bodhisattva path, by adding bodhicitta to the mix, by adding the compassion wing to the mix. You know, as Jalaramche told us about this, not in these same words, but like this. You know, the practice of bodhicitta is what makes infinite more power, infinite more power. The realization of emptiness is the same, you know, but it's the bodhicitta that makes a difference. And this helps remove even the subtlest imprints from the mind, even the subtlest. It's like I heard the, the example they say, it's like you put, you know, you take the garlic out of the jar, that's removing the, the, you know, the garlic, and then you have to remove even the smell. This is like the subtle imprints left over 
even though you're liberated, you can't be reborn again in the samsara, but you know, even the subtlest imprints are left, are, are, are removed by the addition of bodhicitta. This is removing the obstacles to omniscience. And we become a Buddha. Every living being, imagine they're all becoming generated. Unbelievable. The three lights together. White to the brow, red to the throat, blue to the horn. How amazing. Om Mani Padme Hum. 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 Oh, my name is Home. And now imagine Lama Chin raising so happily, so blissfully, delighting in his wish to become oneness with our body, speech, and mind. He visualizes the, 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 the throne, does, his lotus dissolves up into his body. And then he um, comes to sit above our crowns, every one of us, all the beings in the universe, every one of us. And then he very happily dissolves into white light, absorbing through the crowns of all of us. And this time merging is the body, speech, and mind of Chen Rezi, and the body, speech, and mind of our Lama, merging with our body, speech, and mind. Every one of us, all of us, thinking like this. Imagine, full of the energy of the Lama Chen Rezi, every being in the universe. How incredible.
And now all these ten directions dissolve into us from all the ten directions. Imagine all merging into all coming from all directions. This energy of ten rays merging into us, one self, full of the energy of all the ten rays of the universe. Imagine this, totally radiant, each one of us. And now you imagine you just expand to fill the universe. No thoughts, no thoughts. Infinite wisdom, infinite joy, infinite compassion. Just. No thoughts, vast, clear. And then we dedicate, thinking, here we've been again this hour, how amazing every tiny thought counts. We've just purified our own minds, by putting atomic bombs under delusions, virtuous practicing virtue. That's our thoughts and our words, how amazing. All these incredible thoughts together we're having all over the world. So marvelous. Be so delighted, so delighted. All these seeds we planted. So may these seeds, when they ripen, no matter how long it takes, is our Buddhahood. May we, not, may we accomplish exactly as we visualized, benefiting every sentient being in the universe taking away their suffering and giving them happiness. And may compassion and body teacher grow and grow in the hearts of all. And may all our holy beings who embody these teachings for us on this planet, as long as the Dalai Lama, Lamzo Rinpoche, Jada Rinpoche, all these holy beings, all our own holy beings, how incredible it is we have them on this planet, showing us the way. May they all live long, long lives. We need them badly. Chang Trup Sem Trup Maki Panam Kyuchi, Kepa Nyampa, Mepa Yang, Gong Ne Gong Du Papa Shok. That's it. Honey child, honey children. Thank you so much, everybody. Lou and Will and Viva and Laura and Jamie and who knows? And Regina and kind people at Chen Raising Institute, day and night, 24 hours, every Saturday they do this. You're amazing, you guys, Chen Raising Institute. And everybody, Helene, Caroline, Tensa Palmer, Susie, everybody. All right, darlings, much love. See you somewhere in the sky, as Lamiyashi would say. Okay, thanks everyone. And we'll start another session in just a moment. So if you wanna take a minute and reground yourself and if you're doing back-to-back -back sessions, uh, refresh yourself in some way, stretch, drink of water or something like that. And in order to revive our motivation, we'll use the swift fulfillment of wishes. Namo Guru, supreme embodiment of the wisdom and compassion of all the victorious ones of the three times, manifesting as a monk wearing the Thetri saffron robes, the spontaneous exalted wisdom Dharmakaya possessing the five bodies. To you, Jetsun Lozandrapa, I make request. Please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. With the nature of primordially pure, clear light, uninterrupted natural expression of the complete Sambhogakaya, great being who unifies body and mind, to you, Jetsun Lozandrapa, I make request. Please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. Displaying an array of manifold Nirmanakaya emanations, appropriate to the limitless living beings, equaling the expanse of space, to you, Jetsun Lozandrapa, I make request. Please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. Through the power of having made single-pointed requests to you, may all the unfortunate natural manifestations of the degenerate age, illness, famine, quarreling, 
epidemic disease, graha spirits, interferers, and so forth be pacified. Then, when I request that the excellent collection of conducive conditions increase, please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. Having completely cleared away the darkness of ignorance and confusion, and fully developed the illumination of supreme intelligence, virtuous friend who causes the hundred petal lotus of the scriptural tradition to bloom, the sun radiating benefit and happiness, to you I make request. Please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. Since I and others, the assembly of faithful disciples, have no other Lord of refuge to turn to for hope, we make requests in all the successions of day and night. Please bless us that the Guru's blessings may enter our minds. Also, at the end of this life, may I see you, glorious Lozong Drapa, along with your retinue, and immediately have a vision of you saying reassuringly, Son, go to the celestial realm of Tashida. Care for me with your compassion, precious Guru. Please bless me that my wishes be swiftly fulfilled. And our wishes today are particularly that all the obstacles related to the pandemic be swiftly dispelled. Of course, our main motivation is bodhicitta to become enlightened for the benefit of all sentient beings. And may anything that delays that full awakening, may any obstacles to that be immediately dispelled. And so we turn to support for Chenrezig Avalokiteshvara, the Buddha of compassion and wisdom, and think that he appears above the crown of our heads, radiant white made of transparent light. Think that he appears above the crowns of every single sentient being, present with all of us, supporting and protecting purifying and soothing. And with awareness of Chenrezig, now we shift to the motivation prayer. All sentient beings, my mothers who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Akinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers who are infinite like space, Go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Akinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Akins. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers who are infinite like space, 
Go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yadams, and Akinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dhammakaya. And then think in response. Streams of white nectar light flow from Chenrezig's heart center down through the crown of your head, down through the crowns of all sentient things. Radiant white light flowing down and through you, purifying your body, speech, and mind. Your body becoming clean and clear like crystal. All of the causes for sickness, all of the causes for viruses to take hold, all of the causes for all the miscellaneous hardships related to the pandemic being purified for each and every one of us. And think that this white nectar light also ripens the seeds of positive karma for happiness, for health, for well being and resources, for a protected body, a protected mind. Think that this is happening for all sentient beings, particularly the humans in this world suffering in the pandemic. Just take a minute to make sure that you're muted. Hello, um, can you please mute me? Thank you. And so then just gently reviving that visualization, streams of white nectar light flowing down. And we add the mantra to the visualization. Om Mani Padme Hum. 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 Om Mani Pen may woom, Om Mani Pen may 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 Om Mani Pen Om Mani Padme Hum. 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 Just connect with the compassionate wisdom nectar, white light, and the mantra under your breath continuously. Oh money pay me, oh money pay me, oh money pay me, oh money.
Money pin me. And then we'll shift to the long mantra of Chen Rezi. Namo Ratna Triaya, Namo Hayaya, Hana Sagara, Erochana Ruharatsaya, Tata Gataya. Ahate samyak sambudaya Namo sawa tata gate be Ahate be samyak sambuda be Namo arya havalokite Shoraya bodhisattvaya mahasattvaya Akarunikaya Tayata Om Tara Dara Diri Diri Duru Duru Ire Vate Sale Sale Prasale Prasale Kusume Kusume Wari Hili Nili Siti Solam Hapanai Soha Namo Ratna Triaya, Namo Hayaya, Sagara, 
Vero chana buharataya, data gataya, ahate samyak sambudaya, namo sawa data gate be, ahate be samyak sambuda be, namo sawa abalokite, Shoraya Bodhisattvaya Mahasattvaya Akarunikaya Tayata Om Dara Dara Diri Diri Duru Duru Ite Vate Sale Sale Prasale Prasale Kusume Kusume Wari ili mili siti sola mapanaya soha Namo ratna triaya namo haya yana Sagara Vero chana ruharatsaya Tata gataya Ahate samyak sambudaya Namo sawa tata gate be Ahate be samyak sambuddha be Namo arya avalokite Shoraya bodhisattvaya Mahasattvaya Akarunikaya Tayata om dara dara Diri diri duru duru Ite vate sale sale Prasale prasale kusume kusume Wari ili mili siti solam apanaye soha and back to the short mantra. Om Mani Padme Hum. 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 And then we do the prayer. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. 
May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being by the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the Takinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of Graha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever diseases, sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. And so think that from the Chen Rezig above the crowns of all of our heads, white nectar light streams down once more, purifying all of the imprints, all that prevents all of our progress on the path. Think that the white nectar light protects and purifies. And then Chenrezig dissolves into light and absorbs into us, blessing our body, speech, and mind. And we dedicate. However many sick beings there are, may they quickly be free from all sicknesses. May all the sicknesses without exception of transmigratory beings never occur again. Mm-hmm. 
mahal everywhere, plagued by sufferings of body and mind. Obtain an ocean of happiness and joy by virtue of my merits. May no living creatures suffer, commit evil, or ever fall ill. May no one be afraid or belittled with a mind weighed down by depression. May the blind see forms and the deaf hear sounds. May those whose bodies are worn with toil be restored on finding repose. May the naked find clothing, the hungry find food, May the thirsty find water and delicious drinks. May the poor find wealth, those weak with sorrow find joy. May the forlorn find hope, constant happiness and prosperity. May there be timely rains and bountiful harvests. May all medicines be effective and wholesome prayers bear fruit. May all who are sick and ill quickly be freed from their ailments. Whatever diseases there are in the world, may they never occur again. May the frightened cease to be afraid and those bound be freed. May the powerless find power and may people think of benefiting each other. For as long as space remains, for as long as sentient beings remain, until then may I too remain to dispel the misery of the world. The wish granting, wish fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, the incomparably kind Supreme Tenzin Gatso, may you have a long life and all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. You who uphold the subduer's moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Manjinath's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplish magnificent prayers honoring the three sublime ones, savior of myself and others, your disciples, please, please live long. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. And uh, handing it over to the next venerable. Hello, Yontin La. Hi, Siliana La. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. How are you? Yeah, good, good. <laughs> Very good, yeah. You're in Australia or New Zealand? I'm, in, I'm back in the United States. I got stranded by uh, COVID. <laughs> ah, okay. So where are you in uh, the States? Uh, I was at Land of Medicine Buddha, and I just uh, came back to Montana to see my family. Mm. Is it very cold? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so winter time for you now, <laughs> not anymore summer, yes. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about winter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Have a beautiful session. Thank so nice. you. I like very much the the turning off the mantra on my view. Could you please share that? Yeah. Um, what is the best way to share? Uh, maybe you can send to my email address, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't have your email, I don't think, but so my, um, my email is Siliana B like Bravo mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Uh easy. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye, nice everybody. to see you. Ciao. You. Ciao. Ciao. Okay. Thank you very much for the people, to the people in Australia that have been so kind, so supportive all these 79 week now that are helping us with this marathon, which is a really, really great opportunity for us, monks and nuns, to meet and uh, so to fulfill uh, what is the wish and the advice of Lama Zaparimpoche, also the advice of many great Lamas, such as on His Iron Sakyatrin, His Iron Zalai Lama. So this is really, really good. And then we can imagine that they're actually making a network around the world of positive energy. And it's so difficult to keep the mind completely in that. Anyway. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jerry's Institute. 
Uh, buon pomeriggio. Ho ringraziato le persone del Cerreseso che ci hanno già 79 settimane che ci stanno aiutando, che ci stanno supportando in questa maratona di preghiera che facciamo tutte le settimane ed è una grandissima opportunità, una gran bellissima cosa poter um, fare una maratona di preghiera di 24 ore con il mantra di Cerresi, il mantra di Cerresi che è il mantra della grande compassione ed è quello di cui abbiamo bisogno in questo momento perché nonostante a parole facciamo ah, la grande compassione, voglio raggiungere l'illuminazione per questo, per quell'altro, per tutti gli esseri sensenti, però quando si tratta che qualcuno arriva e dice e comincia ad essere magari aggressivo con noi dice, no come non puoi essere aggressivo con me è, è così facile perdere proprio la concentrazione sul su quello che è l'obiettivo quello di non farsi prendere dai difetti mentali da, da tutte quante le cose che si sentono intorno e soprattutto perché appunto c'è tanta, 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 tanta aggressività, tanta violenza in giro e tanta insoddisfazione, soprattutto perché siamo degli animali sociali, come dice Santità e Dai Lama, e non abbiamo bisogno di comunicare, di condividere, di fare le cose insieme e questo è veramente molto difficile per i ragazzini, infatti sentiamo anche tutte le cose disastrose che avvengono sia in Italia che all'estero di grande violenza purtroppo una grande tristezza ok allora siamo qui ora ci mettiamo nella posizione di meditazione nel senso che lasciamo andare tutte quante le tensioni che abbiamo nel corpo cerchiamo di tenere il corpo il più possibile è una situazione di stabilità ma con la spina dorsale dritta e questo ci aiuta a far fluire le energie in un modo piacevole, senza ostacoli, senza ostruzioni. Quindi lasciamo andare le tensioni che abbiamo nel, nel volto, le tensioni che abbiamo nel collo, le tensioni che abbiamo nelle spalle, nel busto e così via fino ai piedi. E piano piano portiamo la nostra attenzione al movimento naturale del respiro. Osserviamo il respiro che entra e il respiro che esce. Senza forzare, semplicemente osserviamo. Credo che siamo in grado di portare la nostra attenzione al respiro è perché siamo degli esseri umani e abbiamo questa capacità di riconoscere vari tipi di oggetti, di discriminare fra i vari oggetti e quindi anche di riuscire a portare l'attenzione al respiro, osservare il respiro che entra e che esce e la sensazione che si ha alle, rani, alle, rari, alle narici. Senti la sensazione più fresca quando inspiriamo e più calda quando espiriamo. Il 
Possiamo pensare che quando il respiro entra, porta energia positiva a tutto quanto è il nostro corpo. Se immaginiamo poi della luce bianca che entra dentro di noi, scioglie completamente tutte quante le tensioni. E quando espiriamo possiamo immaginare del fumo nero, delle tensioni, delle malattie, dei problemi che esce nell'aspetto di fumo nero che va oltre l'universo. Abbiamo questo corpo umano che è il risultato di molte cause e condizioni ed è il risultato delle azioni positive che abbiamo compiuto nelle esistenze passate, come aver protetto la vita degli altri, aver praticato la generosità, aver praticato la pazienza. E questo ci ha dato l'opportunità di avere di nuovo questo corpo umano. che come un lampo arriva al momento della morte. Questo corpo umano che è il risultato di tutte queste cause e condizioni, è il risultato anche del sostegno che riceviamo dai vari elementi. In particolare riceviamo dell'energia positiva dagli altri esseri viventi, nel senso che la nostra vita è sostenuta dal lavoro, dall'energia, dallo sforzo e anche dalla vita stessa di innumerevoli altri esseri viventi. Basta pensare a tutti quanti gli oggetti che abbiamo. Vengono dal lavoro, dallo sforzo, dall'impegno di innumerevoli altri esseri viventi e anche dalla vita di altri esseri viventi. Quindi il nostro corpo, la nostra esistenza è praticamente, appartiene quasi agli altri. Abbiamo ricevuto molto di più di quello che noi diamo, o anche di quello che noi facciamo per il nostro corpo. Quindi possiamo veramente sentire questa energia positiva che riceviamo dagli altri, nel senso del sostegno della nostra esistenza. Ed è quasi una cosa logica, una logica conseguenza, il pensare di utilizzare il nostro corpo a fine di dare il nostro contributo, come ringraziamento per tutto quello che abbiamo. Quindi sentiamo questa gentilezza, questa amorevole gentilezza dentro di noi. Possiamo pensare anche di coltivarla ancora di più, pensando alla, alle qualità di Cerresi, alle qualità di Buddha Sakyamuni, o Sua Santità e Dai Lama, o Lama Zoparimpoce. Così pensando a loro, coltiviamo e nutriamo le nostre, la nostra amorevole gentilezza e la nostra compassione. E generiamo veramente l'aspirazione di essere completamente slegati, non farci più intrappolare dai difetti mentali, dell'ignoranza, dell'aggressività, dell'attaccamento e così via, ma cercare il più possibile di avere sempre la mente nell'amorevole gentilezza. Come riconoscere quando appaiono questi sentimenti nella nostra mente, ma non coinvolgersi, guardarli come, qualcosa, come un riflesso nello specchio e invece prendere più fiducia e, ed è sentirsi un tutt'uno con quello che è la vera natura della nostra mente, che è luminosità, amorevole gentilezza e compassione. Quindi 
con questo, questo pensiero di impegnarci in questa pratica per il beneficio di tutti quanti gli esseri viventi. Dal profondo del cuore prendiamo rifugio. Io e tutti gli esseri senzienti, tanti quanti lo spazio infinito, prendiamo rifugio nel prezioso Guru Buddha, prendiamo rifugio nel Buddha, nel Dharma e nel Sangha, prendiamo rifugio nell'assemblea dei Guru, delle divinità meditative e dei Dakini, prendiamo rifugio nella chiesa vuota della nostra mente, il Dharmakaya. Io e tutti gli esseri senzienti, tanti quanti lo spazio infinito, prendiamo rifugio nel prezioso Guru Buddha, prendiamo rifugio nel Buddha, nel Dharma e nel Sangha, prendiamo rifugio nell'assemblea dei Guru, delle divinità meditative e dei Dakini, prendiamo rifugio nella chiarezza vuota, la nostra mente e il Dharmakaya. Io e tutti gli esseri senzienti, tanti quanti lo spazio infinito, prendiamo rifugio nel prezioso Guru Buddha, prendiamo rifugio nel Buddha, nel Dharma e nel Sangha, prendiamo rifugio nell'assemblea dei Guru, delle divinità meditative e dei Dakini, prendiamo rifugio nella chiarezza vuota la nostra mente e Dharma Kaya. Quindi visualizzando Cerresi, la sua santità e Dai Lama, di fronte a noi, immaginiamo che dal cuore di del Guru Cianresi, del suo Santità e Dai Lama, infiniti raggi di luce vengono a toccare il nostro capo e entrano dentro di noi, eliminando completamente tutte quante le oscurazioni. Possiamo visualizzare anche intorno a noi tutti quanti gli esseri viventi, con gli esseri maschili a nostra destra, partendo dal nostro padre, a nostra sinistra tutti gli esseri femminili a partire da nostra madre, Dietro tutti quanti gli amici, di fronte a noi le persone che consideriamo dei nemici, degli ostacoli. E tutti quanti riceviamo così l'energia pura di Cerresi, mentre recitiamo il mantra. Oh mani Padmeo, oh mani Padmeo, oh mani Padmeo. Om Mani Padme Hum, 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 Om Mani Money for me, oh, 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 money for me, Oh 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 Oh money for me, 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 oh 
sacchia delle malattie, cerchiamo di recitare pensando veramente al significato di questa preghiera. Possono tutte le malattie che caratterizzano le menti degli esseri senzienti che derivano dal karma, le condizioni temporanee come i danni causati agli spiriti gra dalle malattie, dai buti e dagli elementi, non verificarsi mai più nei reami del mondo, posto qualunque sofferenza ci sia, dipendenti da malattie potenzialmente letali, che come un macellaio porta un essere ad essere macellato e separano il corpo dalla mente in un solo istante, non verificarsi mai più nei reami del mondo. Posso che gli esseri incarnati essere in lese malattie acute, croniche e altre malattie infettive, di cui semplici sono dei loro nomi, terrorizza gli esseri, come se fossero stati collocati in una bocca di Yama, il Signore della Morte. Possono che gli esseri incarnati non essere danneggiati dalle 80.000 classi di interferenze dannose e 360 spiriti maligni che danneggiano improvvisamente, le 424 malattie e così via. Qualunque sofferenza ci sia dovuto ai disturbi causati causa dei quattro elementi che prima il corpo e la mente di ogni piacere possa essere totalmente pacificato e che il corpo e la mente abbiano splendore e potere, siano dettati in lunga vita, buona salute e benessere, con la compassione dei guru, dei terrari supremi, con il potere dei latini, dei protettori del danno, dei guardiani, con la forza di fare del cano dei suoi risultati possono queste molte dediche preghiere essere soddisfatte appena vengono pronunciate. Possono tutte le malattie che rattestano le menti degli esseri senzienti che derivano dal caro e da condizioni temporanee, come i danni causati agli spiriti gradi, alle malattie, dai buti e dagli elementi, non verificarsi mai più nei reami del mondo, possa qualunque sofferenza ci sia, dipendente da malattie potenzialmente vitali, e con un macellare che porta un essere ad essere macellato, se parla nel corpo della mente in un solo istante, non verificarsi mai più nei rami del mondo. Possono essere gli esseri incarnati e essere illesi di malattie acute e croniche e altre malattie infettive, il cui semplice sono dei loro nomi, terrorizza gli esseri, come se fossero stati collocati nella bocca di Yama, il Signore della Morte. Possono essere gli esseri incarnati e non essere danneggiati da 80.000 casi di interferenze dannose, 360 spiriti maligni che danneggiano improvvisamente le 424 malattie e così via. Qualunque sofferenza ci sia dovuta ai disturbi causati dai quattro elementi che prendono il corpo e la mente di ogni piacere, possa essere totalmente pacificata, e che il corpo e la mente abbiano splendore e potere, siano dotati di lunga vita, buona salute e benessere, con la compassione dei guru, dei terrari supremi, con il potere di Achille, dei protettori di Dharma e dei guardiani, con la forza di infallibilità del caro e dei suoi risultati. Possono queste molte dediche preghiere essere soddisfatte appena vengono pronunciate. Possono tutte le malattie che caratterizzano le menti degli esseri senzienti che derivano dal karma e da condizioni temporanee come i danni causati agli spiriti grado alle malattie dai buti e dagli elementi, non verificarsi mai più nei rami del mondo, possa qualunque sofferenza ci sia, dipendente da malattie potenzialmente letali, e come un macellare che porta un essere ad essere macellato, separare il corpo dalla mente in un solo istante, non verificarsi mai più nei rami del mondo. Possono gli esseri incarnati, essere illesi da malattie acute, croniche, altre malattie infettive, e qui semplice sono dei loro nomi terrorizza gli esseri, come se fossero stati collocati nella bocca di Yama, il Signore della Morte. Possono tutti gli esseri incarnati, hanno essere danneggiati da 80.000 casi di interferenze dannose, 300 
160 spiriti maligni che danneggiano improvvisamente le 424 malattie e così via. Qualunque sofferenza ci sia dovuta a disturbi causati a quattro elementi che prima nel corpo e la mente di ogni piacere possa essere totalmente pacificata, che il corpo e la mente abbiano splendore e potere, siano stati di lunga vita, buona salute e benessere. Con la compassione dei guru, dei creatori supremi, con il potere dei tacchini, dei protettori del danno e dei guardiani, con la forza e l'infallibilità del danno e dei suoi risultati, possono queste molte dei vecchi preghiere essere soddisfatte appena vengono pronunciate. Ora recitiamo anche la preghiera per calmare dal pericolo delle guerre. E in questo periodo abbiamo tantissime, veramente, tantissime situazioni di estrema aggressività, di estrema violenza e c'è questo clima di separazione fra le persone che è veramente tristissimo, veramente una cosa che fa male al cuore, fa male veramente tantissimo e parte tutto quanto appunto dall'ignoranza dall'ignoranza che crede in un mio veramente esistente che deve essere completamente, completamente difeso, quando in realtà è tutta una fabbricazione di noi stessi di avere questa credenza, di questo io, che deve essere difeso sempre io sono più importante degli altri. Quindi cercare di lasciare andare questo e entrare in contatto più con quello che è l'aspetto della natura fondamentale della nostra mente che è luminosità e luce chiara quindi cercare di mandare questo tipo di energia intorno e quando sorgono appunto i difetti mentali riconoscerli e non farsi intrappolare riconoscerli e non cadere vittime di questi difetti mentali Ora recitiamo la preghiera del Massi, da tanto un ghiappo, parole di verità che pacificano il pericolo delle armi. Oh, mani per me, oh, mani per me. Grande, amorevole, vittorioso, Buddha Maitreya, occhio compassionevole, sublime, trascendente, conserva tutto. Vittoriosa, e aggriva, irato, tara, completamente pura e così via. E solo sentire i vostri santi nomi elimina tutti i pericoli, oggetti di rifugio della natura e della compassione. Per favore, prestatemi attenzione. Quando gli esseri senzienti nel tempo dei litigi per prosperare delle cinque degenerazioni sono tormentati dalla sofferenza intensa di conflitti e lotte causata all'esplosione del grande oceano di karma negativo e gelosia, per favore prosciugate a questo cielo tutto ciò con la forza della vostra saggezza, trascendentale e compassione. Facendo cadere grandi piogge di netra di amorevole gentilezza sugli esseri trasmigliatori che sono infiammati dal fuoco dell'odio per avere, per favore concedete le benedizioni affinché sorga il riconoscimento reciproco come padre e madre e così possano aumentare la felicità e il buon auspicio, sconfiggendo le moltitudini di spiriti malvagi che entrando nel continuo mentale di qualcuno lo fanno cambiare immediatamente nella mente di un'azura da porre in poi non venire mai più in questa regione. Per favore fate sì che tutti gli esseri senza morti in guerra, d'ora in poi non abbandonano tutto il karma negativo a causa di effetti e possano rinascere miracolosamente nella terra di beatitudine e condurre tutti gli altri in quella natura, in quella terra pura. Per favore fate sì che tutti coloro che sono nati e che muoiono abbiano una lunga vita senza malattie, possano pacificare tutti i loro litigi e combattimenti e godere delle dieci virtù. Fate piovere nei momenti giusti, avere sempre buoni raccolti affinché tutto l'ambiente sia di buon auspicio per tutti gli abitanti. Bella realtà ultima che pure per natura, causa ed effetto sono infallibili poiché possiedono tale realtà ultima e per la compassione delle guru, di unità, sigillo della mente e dei rari sublimi possono queste pure ed estese preghiere essere realizzate. Ora ci impegniamo nella preghiera di dedica e soprattutto dedichiamo a tutte le persone che recentemente ci siamo sono morte, moltissime persone sono morte in questi ultimi periodi, veramente tantissimo, non ultimo, Tecnatan, il maestro Tecnatan e poi per favore anche dedichiamo per Giorgio Armato che 
alla città del corpo ieri, ed è stato un grande sostenitore dell'Istituto Ramazon Tabla, soprattutto del monastero di Copan, dove negli anni, alla fine degli anni 70, ha cominciato, ha contribuito per la realizzazione della clinica a Copan e negli anni è stato sempre un grande benefattore. E proprio ieri è, ha lasciato il corpo. E quindi ognuno di noi può pensare alle persone che sono morte, le persone che stanno soffrendo, le persone che sono malate, qualsiasi tipo di malattia. Comunque, comunque, dobbiamo pensare di avere l'opportunità quando andremo, quando arriverà la nostra ora, il nostro momento di lasciare questo corpo, perché questo sicuramente avverrà, di essere sereni e di farlo con una mente felice, come tornare a casa. Ok? Quindi il, mi ricordo una, un nostro lama e noi ci meravigliamo quando sentiamo dire quella persona lì è morta, è morta, come se fosse una grande meraviglia, ma in realtà dovremmo essere sorpresi soprattutto del fatto che siamo ancora vivi. Ok, ora facciamo le preghiere di dedica. Mm -hmm. possa la preziosa suprema bodhicitta sorge in chi non ha ancora generata, possa mente che è stata generata non diminuire mai, ma crescesse sempre più. Samsara e Nirvana sono privi perfino di un atomo di esistenza intrinseca e causa di effetto e origine dipendente sono infallibili. Chiedo le tue benedizioni per riconoscere il significato e il pensiero di Nagarjuna che questi due sono mutualmente complementari e non contraddittori. Quindi per i malati... Ovunque ci siano molti esseri senzienti malati, possono essere liberati velocemente da tutte le malattie, possono tutte le malattie degli esseri trasmigratori non avvenire mai più senza eccezione. Ovunque ci siano molti esseri senzienti malati, possono essere liberati velocemente da tutte le malattie, possono tutte le malattie degli esseri trasmigratori non avvenire mai più senza eccezione. Ovunque ci siano molti esseri senzienti malati, possono essere liberati velocemente da tutte le malattie, possono tutte le malattie degli esseri trasmigratori non avvenire mai più senza eccezione. Ora dedichiamo e sigilliamo i meriti con la vacuità per tutti i meriti del passato, del presente e del futuro, accumulati da me dai numerevoli Buddha, numerevoli esseri senzienti che sono completamente vuoti, non esiste la loro parte, posso dire che sono completamente vuota, esiste la mia parte, ottenere lo stato della piena illuminazione che è completamente vuoto, esiste la sua parte, guidare tutti gli esseri senzienti che sono completamente vuoti, esiste la loro parte, a quello stato che è completamente vuoto, esiste la sua parte, da sola che sono completamente vuota, esiste la mia parte. Ora dedichiamo per la lunga vita di Sua Santità Dai Lama e Lama Zapparimpoce. Gioello che esaudisce i desideri, fonte di ogni singolo beneficio e felicità in questo mondo, incomparabilmente gentile e tenzi in ghiaccio, vi supplico possa in questi desideri essere esauditi spontaneamente. Per Lama Zoppa. Tu che ritieni vita e codesso il giocatore che fungi da generoso sostegno di tutto, sostieni i preservi di fondi e la dottrina vittoriosa di Mangionato, che magistralmente compie magnifiche preghiere, che onorano i tre sublimi e supremi, Salvatore mio degli altri, tu discepoli, per favore, ti prego, e a lungo. E così si conclude la nostra sessione. Ringrazio tutti quanti quelli che hanno partecipato a questo incontro e, e vi ricordo che la prossima sessione in italiano sarà alle 7. Ok? Grazie a tutti quanti e buona giornata. Hello, good, good afternoon, no, good morning for you, Carol. How are you? <laughs> good morning, Venerable Siliana. So nice to see you. I'm fine. No, no, no. it's nice to see you too, dear. <laughs> I love your background. Very beautiful. Mm. No, Photoshop. Photoshop. Yeah, but it's great. Yeah, very nice. Uh, no, <laughs> I had to put I had to put this uh, uh what is uh, yes um the stupa fatisha, you know, for the protection. And then beautiful. This is yeah. one image of uh, 
Tantong Gyalpo. Gyalpo. You know? I know. It's perfect. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. So well, I, I, how are you, Dia? I'm doing fine. Thank you. Yeah, good. our numbers, you know, this is crazy right now. We have numbers are up, but um, a lot of people here are vaccinated and boosted. So not too serious. How about, how are you doing there? Things opening up a bit? Not at all. Oh, we have okay. more and more restriction okay. and more and more restriction and people that uh, and are not vaccinated are uh, treated mm-hmm. as uh, kind of uh, people that you should not uh, touch them, you know, and uh, mm-hmm. we are completely confined and they cannot go to do anything, nothing at all. If you don't have mm-hmm. the vaccine. Oh, you know? wow. So mm-hmm. there is a lot of violence that is uh, increasing in the mind of the people, which is really, really bad. So it's mm-hmm. so sad, very, very sad, you know, very sad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so we have a very bad government, very mm. bad government. And um, so what to do? This would happen. Is, yeah. uh, you know, every single day, every single moment, <laughs> we have to watch our aggressivity our hatred you know to not be involved with that you know just like I know. No, this i don't want <laughs> we we went through four years of that so i know what it's like <laughs> it's uh yeah it's very hard. terrible yeah. yes yeah. yeah it's not that biden is better eh? <laughs> he's a lot better than where we were i mean maybe really? things are te- Oh, yeah. And just mindset. There's a kindness there um, that was lacking. And before it was shocking, just the open aggression and encouraging people to hate. It was terrible. Oh, using fear. So this is at least it's it's way a lot better than what it was. It's it's not perfect at all. And it's not great. It's not, you know, but it's manageable. Okay. That's <laughs> it's good. I'm sorry. Happy to hear yeah. this. Happy, <laughs> happy to hear this. Okay. Good. Yeah. You know. Okay. Well, we are just like in samsara, you know. So it's just um, yeah. it's not that it's going to be better. Is uh, yeah. as long as we have a different negative mind. Um, yeah. 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 Anyway. But see you soon, my dear. I think we are going I to have a meeting soon, you. right? Oh, I hope so. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, ciao, 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 ciao. Bye. Nice session. Bye. So, good morning, everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. And welcome to the next session of the Tang Tang Gyalpo prayer. Um, I just want to thank everyone, all of uh, Chen Music Institute, for producing this and for Venable Dancho, who schedules everyone, and for all the Sangha who participate, and all of the, um, all of you on YouTube and in the Zoom room, who have been coming for over a year now. It's pretty amazing. Um, and I really am um, very grateful to Lama Sopa Rinpoche and all of the teachers for encouraging us, making this happen. So, before we get started this morning, let's just take a moment to set our motivation to turn our minds away from, from all the externals, from all the day's concerns, the night, whatever's happening, whatever time of day, just letting go of all the things on your mind, all the things you have to do and allowing the mind to rest on the breath for a moment. And I'm sure everyone knows, uh, I heard yesterday that Thich Nhat Han has passed away. And so just remembering this precious kind being, the power of this meditation and training the mind. He touched so many people, so many lives, brought so much peace. just thinking about the possibilities. Just by changing our minds, just by 
by turning the mind to peace, to letting go of anger, attachment, and seeking wisdom. We make huge changes, and those changes ripple. Um, they ripple out from each person, each mind. Mm -hmm. So thinking about how every single sentient being wishes to have happiness and to be free of suffering. We're all the same in this way. And then knowing that the only way to lasting happiness is through this wisdom path laid out by the Buddha. This way to tame our minds. And then thinking that if I do this just for myself and leave every sentient being behind. So many sentient beings have been kind to me. Have been my parents, my family, my friends. And even those beings who've been difficult to cause me problems have been my teachers. They've taught me patience. They've helped me know my mind. And just recognizing the, the connection we all have in wanting happiness and an end to suffering. Just allow this bodhicitta thought, this, this wish to attain enlightenment to benefit each and every sentient being. Just let that rest on your mind, fill your heart. With this thought, we can recite this motivation, this prayer of Tantan Gyalpo, so needed at this time when so many people are suffering not only from COVID, but all the effects of COVID the, the fear, the anger, the frustration. So, all sentient beings, my mothers who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of gurus, yidams, and dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own mind, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of gurus, yidams, and dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own mind, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of gurus, yidams, and bikinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. Could someone, maybe somebody has their microphone on. Could you make sure you're muted? Thank you. So just setting our motivation in this way. And then as we recite this mantra of chin raise, if you can first do a little visualization. Just imagine yourself sitting in a lovely green meadow with your friends and family to either side of you. And then stretching around in a big circle that goes all the way off to the horizon are all sentient beings in human form. 
So just imagine everyone seated together, just feeling very peaceful, safe, harmonious. It's a very pleasant, pleasant experience. And then in the center of this circle, this chin music, this food of compassion. This thousand, this thousand arms, white in color, just radiating this beautiful white light, looking out at all sentient beings. And as we recite this mantra of chin raises, you can visualize rays of energy or light radiating out from chin raises holy body, coming to your crown and the crown of each and every sentient being. And they begin filling your body with this compassionate energy, this wish to relieve suffering. Oh, money, tell me, 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 oh, money, Oh, money, tell me, 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 oh, money, Oh, money, tell me, 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 tell me, oh, money, 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 tell me, oh, Oh, money, tell me, 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 oh, money, and we've already taken refuge, renewed our refuge in three jewels. <clears throat> we can use this time just to purify all of our negative actions, our, our words, our thoughts, everything that we've done, said and thoughts that's been harmful to others, harmful to ourselves. Just First, by generating regret for causing harm, regret for these actions. Just imagining it's as though I'd swallowed poison. I want to get rid of this. And by doing this practice, reciting this mantra, with this heartfelt kind of regret, with this strong refuge, we can purify the results of all those 
negativity. Oh my And now to complete our purification practice, we can generate the intention not to repeat these negativities, not to have harmful thoughts to avoid harmful speech and to do actions only that benefit others. And this is something we're going to just commit to making our best effort not to repeat these actions and to live according to the, the Buddha's teachings you know, to do no harm and to be a benefit if we can. Oh my God. 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 
And I can imagine that chin raising comes to the crown of your head, emanating countless bodies. And each, each emanation goes to the crown of each sentient being. So everyone as chin raising at their crown, chin raising melts into the white light absorbing into the crown of each and every sentient being. Just, you can imagine being filled with this compassionate energy of trans, of Chinrezik. You can feel, imagine your mind being transformed. Feel that, commit to that. Commit to transforming the mind to this compassionate, compassion of Chinrezik, this wish to be of benefit and to refrain from any harm. Oh many Oh my god. Oh my god. So now with this compassionate heart, we can recite the prayer, the actual Tantan Gyalpo prayer three times. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions such as the harms of Graha spirits, illnesses in the Bhutas not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases, not like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they'd been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. And may whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses and the Buddhas not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute chronic and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as though they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. And may whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being. <clears throat> by the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. So in this final repetition, just imagine that every, every line, every thought, every intention of this prayer is being fulfilled. That all diseases are pacified. Let all sentient beings' minds turn to this compassion and loving kindness are freed from 
from fear, from anger, violent thoughts, attachment, all those, all those harms. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses and the Buddhas now occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases, not like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify being, as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that hung suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified, and may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, <clears throat> by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. So just dedicating in our hearts. May these, these prayers be effective. May all of our minds be transformed. We, we embrace this compassion of Chinese. May all beings be freed of all suffering. <clears throat> so just some dedication prayers to recite. May the precious Supreme Bodhicitta not yet born arise. May that arisen not decline, but increase more and more. I'm just remembering that samsara and nirvana, like even an atom of inherent existence and cause and effect independent arising or unbetraying. I seek your blessings to discern the meaning of Nagarjuna's thought that these two are mutually complementary and not contradictory. Then for everyone suffering sickness, however many six sentient beings there are, may they quickly be freed from all sicknesses. May all the sicknesses without exception of transmigratory beings never occur again. In this verse, may I hold sentient beings as dear as my life. May sentient beings hold me most dear. May all their negative karma ripen upon me and may all my virtue ripen upon them. As long as any sentient being has not been liberated from samsara, may I abide in samsara to help them, even though I achieve highest enlightenment. May I become like a wish-granting jewel fulfilling all the wishes and like a wish-granting tree fulfilling all the hopes of transmigratory beings. Then finish up just remembering emptiness in our heart and a long life prayer for His Holiness, incomparably kind and supreme Tenzin Gyatso, the wish granting, wish fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world. May you have a long life and all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. You who uphold the subduer's moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all sustaining, preserving, and spreading Manjana's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplished magnificent prayers, honoring the three sublime ones, savior of myself and others, your disciples, please, please live long. Thank you so much, uh, Venerable Tendron. I think, yeah. how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, everything's uh, going well. Yeah. Well, as well as it can be, I should say. Right. Good enough. <laughs> yeah. Good enough. Well, thank you so much. Take care and stay well. You nice too. To see you. Bye. Okay. So let's take a moment to really recognize our own suffering. 
the sufferings of samsara, knowing that around the world at this moment, there are many sentient beings who are experiencing sorrow, pain, uncertainty. So we want to think that we are, or we want to do these prayers for all of these suffering sentient beings, ourselves included. But we don't know what we're doing. So we follow the guidance of our teachers, like following the advice of Lama Zopa Rinpoche to do these prayers every week. We turn to the teachings of the Buddha. To rely upon to develop trust in, confidence in. Knowing that the path to a state without suffering is within our own minds and hearts. So imagine sitting here with you as your mother of this life on your left, the father of this life on your right, all your loved ones close behind. Your friends, the Dharma community, all the people of your life, all those that benefit us every day by providing all the things we need for food and shelter and clothing, all the different ways that we rely on countless sentient beings for our existence, all of whom are suffering and really just wish to be happy and free of suffering. And everything we do is towards that end. And we're trying to overcome our unskillful means and develop skillful means by following the advice of the Buddha, our teachers, the Dharma, the true refuge. So just imagine you're surrounded by sentient beings sitting here with you. All the beings in the bardo have passed away recently. All the beings in the different realms, all sitting here in the form of humans, countless sentient beings. And imagine that in the space in front of all of us, it's a large jeweled throne supported by eight great lions, on top of which is a seat of a variegated lotus, moon, and sun mandala. On top of this sits the essence of our own root gurus and the aspect of the conqueror Shakyamuni Buddha. The color of his holy body is the purest gold. He has a eukinesia on the top of his head, 
one face and two arms. His right hand is in the mudra of controlling the earth is left in the mudra of concentration, holding an alms bowl full of nectar. He's wearing the saffron robes of a monk. His holy body is in the nature of transparent light. And he sits in the vajra posture in the center of an aura of light rays. Surrounding him are the direct and indirect gurus, yidams, buddhas, bodhisattvas, heroes, dakinis, host of dharma protectors and guardians. And in front of all these holy beings on faultless thrones sits the dharma in the form of text, having the nature of light. really try to generate a sense of being with all your teachers and all enlightened beings, being surrounded by all suffering sentient beings. We're going to lead them in the refuge prayer, the motivation for this practice. So generating that feeling of that we can totally rely upon their guidance. So we'll recite the motivation. All sentient beings, my mothers who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Dakinis. We go for the refuge, we go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of gurus, idams, and dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. So try to get a sense that all our teachers, all the holy beings, enlightened beings are looking upon us with compassion and love, accepting us exactly as we are in this moment, only wishing to help us be freed from the causes of suffering, to lead us in creating the causes of happiness. knowing that we all have the potential to become completely enlightened Buddhas ourselves. So imagine all the beings dissolving into light in the refuge field, absorbing up into Guru Shakyamuni Buddha, is radiating light rays to all suffering sentient beings. Shakyamuni Buddha comes to the crown of our head with our countless sentient beings with countless all 
translucent, radiating Shakyamuni Buddhas above the crown of everyone's head, sending rays of purifying white light through the crown of each of our heads, purifying all the causes of suffering, pouring radiating golden light filling us with all the causes of happiness. And Shakyamuni Buddha dissolves into light, enters the crown of our head, comes to our heart chakra, where he abides, always ready to help, always there for reliance. Now imagine that in the space in front, thousand arm chin raising arises. Is the embodiment of all infinite Buddha's compassionate wisdom. He stands on a lotus and moon seat. His body is in the nature of white light, youthful and decorated with magnificent jewels. Visualize rays of light emanating from Chinrezik's heart. Entering the all sentient beings and their suffering. Bringing exactly what is needed. And transform into whatever is needed for a temporary and ultimate happiness. So again, refresh your sense of being surrounded by all sentient beings, <clears throat> in particular, all those suffering from this pandemic. <clears throat> and whatever way they may be suffering from the illness itself, from their fears for their loved ones, for the lack of resources to help, all the different ways that we suffer from this pandemic and all the others who are suffering from all the various problems of samsara. And if there are anyone in particular that you're concerned for, bring them foremost in your mind. As we recite the mantra of great compassion, O Mani Padme Hum, we can visualize rays of light coming from Chen Rezik's heart, reaching all the sentient beings, transforming their suffering purifying all the causes of suffering, bringing all the causes of happiness, filling us with all the perfect attributes of enlightened beings. So we do this not with worry in our hearts, but with confidence in the power of enlightened beings and the activities of the Buddhas and the power of our prayers and the power of the mantra, Om Mani Padme Hum. Knowing that we all have the potential to become Buddhas and end all this suffering within ourselves and leading others to that same state. So we'll recite the mantra for about five minutes. Om Mani Padme Hum, 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 Om Mani Padme Hum.
So imagine that Chen Rai Zi is very pleased with us. We can rejoice that we've engaged in his enlightened activities to benefit all suffering sentient beings can rejoice in the offering to Lama Zopa Rinpoche of our practice, fulfilling his advice. And we can rejoice in all the positive actions that have taken place while we were doing this practice, as well as all the positive actions that since beginning this time, that are the manifestations of our Buddha nature, and of course, all the enlightened activities of the three times. How wonderful it is. So we want to dedicate the merits of all these positive actions that have happened in the past that are happening right in this instant that we can feel completely certain 100% that will happen in the future. We dedicate it to the great enlightenment, our sufferings like this pandemic will never occur again. All the sufferings of samsara will be completely finished.
will recite the prayer of Changpong Gyalpo. Marasiri Changpong Gyalpo. So, may all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of Graha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realm of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as that they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the dakinis, dharma protectors, and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings are, are from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the dakinis, dharma protectors, and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. For a final time, may all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as though they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the dakinis, dharma protectors, and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. Now imagine that Chen Rei Zig dissolves into light, entering each sentient being, including ourselves, blessing our body, speech, and mind with his holy body, speech, and mind. And again, rejoice 
and the power of all virtues. And think that we want to be as generous as possible with all the merits that we may have accumulated in this practice, in this life, since we gained this time, and all the merits of all holy and ordinary beings. So we'll recite some dedication prayers from Master Shanti Deva, but the book Guide to Bodhisattva's Way of Life. May all beings everywhere, plagued by the sufferings of body and mind, obtain an ocean of happiness and joy by virtue of our merits. May no living creature suffer, commit evil, or ever fall ill. May no one be afraid or belittled with a mind weighed down by depression. May the blind see forms and the deaf hear sounds. May those whose bodies are warm with toil be restored on finding repose. We'll skip down since I'm running a little late. May the frightened cease to be afraid and those bound be freed. May the powerless find power and may people think of benefiting each other. May the precious Supreme Bodhicitta not yet born arise. May that arisen not decline, but increase more and more. Please bless us that the lives of the glorious gurus be long, that all beings equally in the extent of space be happy that I and others without exception collect merits and purify obscurations and that we quickly achieve Buddhahood. And then remembering emptiness due to all the past, present and future merits collected by us, the numberless Buddhas and numberless sentient beings who exist but are completely empty of existing from their own side. May I who exist but am completely empty of existing from my own side achieve the state of full enlightenment, which exists but is completely existing from its own side, empty of existing from its own side, and lead all sentient beings who exist but are completely empty of existing from their own side to that state by myself alone. And of course, for the long, healthy, happy lives of His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, the wish-granting, wish-fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world. To the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may you have a long life and may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And for Lama Zopa Rinpoche, you who uphold the subduer's more way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Manjana's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplish magnificent prayers, honoring the three rare sublime ones, Savior of myself and others, your disciples, please, please live long. Hello, Venerable Amy. Hello. Lovely to see you. Good Lovely to see you. <laughs> so, I hope take, you're doing well. Yeah, take it away. Okay, thank you so much. Please be well. You too. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you. Welcome to the COVID. Good morning. Conference. Lovely to see all of you. Thank you for joining. I'd like to thank Chin Racing Institute for hosting and um, week after week after week after week for over a year and Venerable Damcha who organizes. So thank you so, so much. Okay, we will begin with the Vajra Armor practice. Take a moment to please set your motivation, really directing our mind in a most positive way for so many beings are suffering around the planet. So if we can do these practices and fold them into our practice to help us swiftly get enlightened, then we're unlimited in how we can best serve all of these beings. And the byproduct is we're happy all the time as well. What could be better? So please visualize and do let me know in the Zoom room if you cannot see one of the prayers. Imagine in the space in front of you, a few feet in front is a blue black Vajrapani surrounded by a transcendental wisdom fire seated on a multi-headed donkey. So in this particular manifestation, it helps to chase out disease. So imagine out of all the pores of his body comes signs of purification, like Garuda's, like this image right above him, scorpions, black pigs, 
iron pigs, black scorpions, things like that, going to the entire planet and ridding the planet of all the variants to COVID and any other pandemics and also imbalances people have body and mind. And also um, imagine those light rays coming, if they're light rays coming over to you, entering your forehead, throat and heart, and again, purifying you of all imbalances, body and mind, and all the karma and that creates the causes for these things as we recite the mantra. Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana 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 Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Tama Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Tama Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Tama Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Om Benza Pe Om Pema Shavari Pe Nembar Shig Nagan and Tayata Sarva Vedita Hana Hana Vajra Nareke Reke Soha Imagine this blue-black Vajrapani now in the space in front dissolves into emptiness. From the wisdom arises Black Manjushri. Over top your crown facing the same direction as you, about six inches in height. He's holding a sword in his right arm. He's standing, black in color. And in this particular form of Manjushri, which is the Buddha of infinite wisdom, he purifies disease. So imagine a similar visualization. 
the light rays um, are descending also down through your crown. So not only chasing illnesses out of the planet and away from all the people who are sick, but coming down through your crown, purifying you of also any imbalances, body and mind as we recite his mantra. Om Daso Juzo Dur Taso Dur Miso Mingo Lacho Kalaja Kam Sham Jambe Peso Ha Om Daso Juzo Dur Taso Dur Miso Mingo Lacho Kalaja Kam Sham Jambe Peso Ha Om Daso Juzo Dur Taso Dur Miso Mingo Lacho Kalaja Kam Sham Jambe Peso Ha Om Daso Juzo Dur Taso Dur Miso Mingo Lacho Kalaja kam sham drum bebe so ha. Om tazo chuzu tur tazo tur miso ningo la cho kalaja. Kam sham drum bebe so ha. Om tazo chuzu tur tazo tur miso ningo la cho kalaja. Kam sham drum bebe so ha. Om tazo chuzu tur tazo tur miso ningo la cho kalaja. Kam sham drum bebe so ha. Om Tazo Chuzo Tur Tazo Tur Miso Ningo Lacho Kalaja Kam Sham Dram Bebe So Ha Om Tazo Chuzo Tur Tazo Tur Miso Ningo Lacho Kalaja Kam Sham Dram Bebe So Ha Om Tazo Chuzo Tur Tazo Tur Miso Ningo Lacho Kalaja Kam Sham Dram Bebe So Ha Om Tazo Chuzo Tur Tazo Tur Miso Ningo Lacho Kalaja kam sham drum bebe so ha. Om tazo chuzo tur tazo tur miso ningo lacho. Kalaja kam sham drum bebe so ha. Om tazo chuzo tur tazo tur miso ningo lacho. Kalaja kam sham drum bebe so ha. Om tazo chuzo tur tazo tur miso ningo lacho. Kalaja kam sham drum bebe so ha. Om Tazo Chuzo Tur Tazo Tur Miso Ningo Lacho Kalaja Kam Sham Dram Bebe So Ha Om Tazo Chuzo Tur Tazo Tur Miso Ningo Lacho Kalaja Kam Sham Dram Bebe So Ha Om Tazo Chuzo Tur Tazo Tur Miso Ningo Lacho Kalaja Kam Sham Dram Bebe So Ha Om Tazo Chuzo Tur Tazo Tur Miso Ningo Lacho Kalaja kam sham drum bebe so ha. Om tazo chuzo tur tazo tur miso ningo la cho. Kalaja kam sham drum bebe so ha. Om tazo chuzo tur tazo tur miso ningo la cho. Kalaja kam sham drum bebe so ha. Om tazo chuzo tur tazo tur miso ningo la cho. Kalaja. Kam sham dram be pe so ha. So before we dissolve the Buddha on our crown, I forgot from the last mantra is, if you have, if you'd like to put your hand over your mouth, we've just blessed our speech with incredibly powerful mantras. So if you'd like, as you, as you breathe, imagine your exhalations are going up your nose. Continuing that purification as you inhale again. If you have a drink, feel free to blow on the surface a few times. And again, taking some sips with, again, that blessed water from your blessed speech. And imagine the blue-black Manjushri on your crown slowly dissolves from the edges into the center of the visualization into a radiant drop of light. That drop melts into your crown. Please feel the blessings of your holy body, holy, of his holy body, holy speech, and holy mind. Our next prayer
This is the prayer liberating Sakya from disease from Mahasita Tantan Gyalpa. So again, uh, for those of you in the Facebook Live universe, um, if you come and join us and register each week in Zoom, you can see all the, all the prayers, all the documents, all the images. Um, I think Ross is on today. Sometimes he posts it in Facebook Live. So that way you can access the texts and the prayers and practices. All sent, we'll, we'll read this motivation. All sentient beings, my mothers, are infinite like space. Go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharma Kaya. We'll do the motivation two more times. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of gurus, yidams, and dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharma Kaya. So thank you, Ross, for just posting the practices so those of you on Facebook Live can follow along. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of gurus, yidams, and dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharma Kaya. Let's recite the mantra of the Buddha of infinite compassion, Omani Pemi Hong. We will recite numerous times for those of you that can see gazing at the image of Mahasiddha Tantin Gyalpo. Oh, Mani Pemi Hong, Mani Pemi Hong. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme. 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 Money pay me on my money, 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 pay me on my The actual prayer we're going to do three times. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of Raha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases. The mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as though they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 class of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, 
depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being. By the compassion of the Gurus and the Three Jewels, by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of graha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings are from life-threatening diseases that like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute chronic and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as though they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health and well-being. By the compassion of the Gurus and the Three Jewels, by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. One more time. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of Graha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute chronic and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose name terrify beings as though they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. Our next prayer. So for all of the violent places around the planet, for all the domestic abuse, all the people suffering from that. This is the words of truth pacifying the danger of weapons. Weapons can also just be people's fists like that. So may this prayer help to pacify some of the violence on the planet, some of the danger like that, uh, physically and emotionally. Omani Pemi Hong. Great loving victorious one, Arya sublime compassion, I looking one, wrathful victorious high griva, perfect pure tar, and so forth. Objects of refuge whose holy names eliminate all dangers upon mere hearing, who are compassionate in nature, please pay attention to me. When the sentient beings of the time of quarreling and a flourishing of the five degenerations are tormented by fighting and intense suffering, from the explosion of a great ocean of evil karma and jealousy, Please dry this ocean up by the strength of your transcendental wisdom and compassion. Also by letting fall a great nectar rain of loving kindness on the transmigrating beings whose hatred is a blazing fire, please grant your blessings for happiness and auspiciousness to increase by the recognizing each other as being like parents. Through your defeating the multitude of vicious evil spirits who by entering someone's mental continuum Change it instantly into the mind of an Asura. From now on, may they never roam in this region. Please also cause all the sentient beings who have died in war, from now on to abandon all evil karma, the cause and result, and be miraculously reborn in blissful land. Please also lead all others to that pure land. 
Please cause all those who are born and die to have long lives and not have sicknesses, to stop all their quarreling and fighting, and to enjoy a life in the 10 virtues. Please make rain fall at the right time, harvest to always be good, and auspiciousness to increase in all habitats and for all inhabitants. By the ultimate reality, which is pure in nature, unbetrained cause and result, which has that ultimate reality, and the compassionate guru, mind sealed deity, and rare sublime ones, may my pure and extensive prayers be accomplished. And for all the poor people around the planet, starving, hungry, that don't have enough food or drinks or fresh water, things like that, clean water, this is a request to pacify the fear of famine. These are all the prayers from Mahasita Tungtin Gyalpo that Lama Zobrimshi has recommended that we do during this pandemic period. Having generated the mind aspiring to the highest supreme enlightenment in order to truly liberate all infinite living beings, you, the compassionate victorious one, completed the two accumulations. The assemblies of guiding Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, hearers, Pratyeka Buddhas, Gurus, Yidams, Dakinis, and Dharma guardians of the Ten Directions, Yaksha wealth gods, the lords of treasures, along with your retinues. Think of these protectorless living beings of the degenerate times with love. And then in order to truly protect these embodied beings who are tormented by the sufferings of hunger, thirst, and poverty, let fall a rain of whatever attractive enjoyments are needed jewels, food, wealth, grains, bedding, and so forth on this world's land of snows. Please pacify the harms of the four elements, untimely wind, fire, drought, rain, floods, and so forth. And may nourishing grains from crops, harvest, and so forth ripen and increase like they do during the age of completion. By the force of having made extensive requests with strong entreaties through the force of love and compassion, May the eon of sickness, fighting, and famine be pacified, and may we possess a happy, long life free from illness. Through the great compassion of the victorious ones and their children, and the force of the infallible truth of cause and effect, may the teachings of the victorious ones spread and increase, and may all living beings swiftly attain the highest enlightenment. So our dedication prayers, I'd really like to dedicate, of course, we've just lost an amazing spiritual leader, Thich Nhat Hanh, who passed away yesterday in Vietnam at the age of 95, an incredibly inspiring being. I don't know how many of you have heard him speak, but he was unbelievable. And so um, obviously, I don't think there will be much problem with his transition, but we could certainly dedicate to his presence and his being still being with all of us in our hearts because he was very extraordinary. For all the other beings on the planet, those who've recently passed away, may they, like my friend Alea, may they immediately take a precious human rebirth to quickly get enlightened to benefit all. I'd also like to dedicate to Ross Lasley, Joanne Lemson, Jody Galt, Barb Hutton, um, Jean Flaherty, um, and all the beings that are suffering from grave illnesses, may they be healed instantly. And for all of your well being, and may we quickly get enlightened to benefit all living beings. Here are our dedication prayers. Jan Ju Sen Jo Rimbo Che Mage Banam Ge Yur Jig Pe Banyam Ba Me Ba Yi Gon Ne Gon Du Bel War Jo. However many sick sentient beings there are, may they quickly be freed from all sicknesses. May all the sicknesses without exception of transmigratory beings never occur again. In all my lives, never separated from perfect gurus, may I enjoy the magnificent dharma. By completing the qualities of the grounds and paths, may I quickly attain the state of Vajradhara.
by the force of the victorious one Tsongkhapa, acting as our direct Mahayana virtuous friend in all our lives, may we never turn away for even a second from the pure path highly admired by the victorious ones. Like the earth, water, fire, and wind, medicines and monastery firewood may always be enjoyed by all sentient beings as they like and without resistance. May I cherish all sentient beings like my own life. May I cherish them much more than myself. May all their negative karma ripen on me and may all my virtue ripen on them. As long as any sentient being has not been liberated from samsara, may I abide in samsara to help them even though I could achieve highest enlightenment. And one of the most important dedications with emptiness is to seal the merits with emptiness. Due to all the past, present and future merits collected by me, the numberless Buddhas, the numberless sentient beings, which are completely empty of existing from their own side, may I, who am completely empty of existing from my own side, achieve the state of full enlightenment, which is completely empty of existing from its own side, and lead all sentient beings who are completely empty of existing from their own side to that state, which is completely empty of existing from its own side by myself alone, who am completely empty of existing from my own side. Whatever understanding you have of emptiness, please reflect for a moment. I fully dedicate all these virtues to be able to train just like the hero Manjushri who knows reality and just like Samantabhadra as well. I fully dedicate all my roots of virtue with the dedication praise is the best while the gone beyond victorious ones of the three times in order to have good conduct. For the long life of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the wish granting, wish, <clears throat> wish fulfilling jewel source of every single benefit and happiness in this world. To the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. For the long life of Lama Zopa Rinpoche, <clears throat> you who uphold the subduer's moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Manjunath's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplished magnificent prayers honoring the three sublime ones, Savior of myself and others, your disciples, please, please live long. <clears throat> so that completes our COVID practices for today for this half hour session. I want to thank you all so much. If you'd like, in an hour, I'll be leading <coughs> an hour meditation. So please feel free if you want to register to be in the Zoom room where you can ask questions and things like that through landofmedicinebuddha.org. You can register and join us and um, look forward to seeing all of you. I hope, uh, please be well. Thank you, Venerable Amy. Thank you, Chen Racing Institute. Let's see, who is, who is next? Who is following me? It looks like Aldo, maybe? Uh, we'll take over, thanks, Venerable Amy. Thank you, please be well. Thank you so much. Thanks. Is that no, correct? No, no, no I, I guess she's over. Is uh, next. Hello, Geshe-la. Oh, Tashi Dele, Venerable. Tashi Dele, Tashi Dele. Venerable, thank you very much. Thank you. Your prayers and dedications. And uh, Venerable Chekila, Tashi Dele, Venerable Fabio, Tashi Dele. Tashi Dele, geshe Thank you. And thank you, everybody, the Terezik, the, yeah. uh, the Bodhisattva Marco. hands behind. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that one. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Venerable. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's 
Yeah, so <clears throat> yeah, we start with uh, simply feeling uh, immense of gratitude, uh, immense of uh, uh, joy uh, for having this uh, one of the most meaningful in the spiritual practice. Uh, <clears throat> whether to do with the accumulation of merit or whether to do with the, the offering benefit to sentient being, <clears throat> or, <clears throat> or whether to do with the purification of karma and defilements. <clears throat> the most powerful spiritual practice is fulfilling uh, Guru's holy wishes. Um, it is stated in the sutras, it is stated in the tantric uh, texts, also stated in the uh, commentaries, <clears throat> uh, just to name uh, one, like Penjin Losan, Chiyi Gyanzen, etc. <clears throat> and all the past uh, great Kadaba masters, uh, uh, everyone, uh, you know, with one, uh, with, with the same statement, uh, when it comes to the vastness of the merit, in numbers, in amounts uh, uh, that one create in relation to <clears throat> fulfilling Guru's holy wishes is far more greater than in any other virtues, even virtues that uh, uh, in making of extensive offerings, you know, uh, the entire universe filled with the Vishkarani jewel and making offerings to numberless Buddhas, uh, even comparing to that, and one moment of <clears throat> uh, you know, fulfilling Holy Guru's wishes, uh, both in uh, sincere thoughts, you know, devotion and, uh, and uh, uh, faith uh, in relation to understanding the Guru's uh, quality is, uh, is Buddha's quality, and Guru is the Buddha, and Guru is the Yidam. And Guru is the Dakatakinis. You know, Guru is the, <clears throat> the source of uh, all sentient beings' happiness. And Guru is the source of, uh, you know, uh, to actualize the, uh, the stages of the path. The Guru is the source of full enlightenment. So therefore, Kyapja Nama Sobarambache, the root Guru of ours, uh, or, uh, put uh, his uh, students, in particularly those um, who are so close to uh, him in relation to the Vinaya practice, the Sanghas. <clears throat> uh, I, am, I am my Sanghas, uh, you know, to, uh, to fulfill Rinpoche's wishes, to bring immense of benefit to the sentient being, in particularly the close karmic, uh, infinited sentient beings, uh, the humans of this southern world, uh, when the human beings are uh, experiencing the one of the most difficult time in relation to this pandemic crisis. So, so for, uh, for anyone, uh, mm, even those of who you know, uh, participate in these practices, uh, whether you are Sangha or not, uh, whether you are, you know, directly have received uh, vows and initiations and teachings from Chapter Lama or not. Uh, but I think whoever comes in, you know, this mandala, uh, directly or indirectly, uh, the vows, <clears throat> the spiritual blessings that we have is, you know, is connected. Uh, to the lineage of Lama Subramache. <clears throat> so that, that is very, very clear. Uh, mm, <clears throat> you know, due to Rinpoche's uh, vision, uh, due to Lama Yishe and Lama Subramache's holy vision, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, even from the very early time, uh, before, you know, Tibetan Buddhism is well spread around the world, in particular in the West, you know, uh, Rinpoche's visions are already uh, is very much the, the studying, uh, the flourish of Buddha Dharma extensively in the West. 
and many centers have uh, established many great uh, Vinaya holders and the teachers have invited <clears throat> then through them you know we get this uh, uh, most precious opportunity to receive Vinaya vows to receive initiations to receive uh, commentaries or transmissions and teachings you know including uh, uh, you know having opportunity to meet and receive direct teaching from many other enlightened gurus like his son Dalai Lama and, and your rest of the other holy gurus so so that itself you know what I mean the guru is the source of our spiritual uh, development in the spiritual path uh, for enlightenment and guru is the source where we can bring immense of benefit to the sentient being <clears throat> like like this practice uh, like like engaging in this practice so therefore take a moment to just simply feel uh, the dharmakaya aspect of Rinpoche's, uh, uh you know holy uh, enlightened quality is uh, lively present uh, within our heart <clears throat> in particular those of you who have received initiation from Rinpoche, in particular high school tantric initiations or any genang or vows then you know your heart is uh, you know Rinpoche's dharmakaya heart dharmakaya quality so just uh, <clears throat> remind oneself this uh, the inner guru yoga or the inner guru which is uh, oneself uh, inseparable oneness uh, with with the with the guru like Rinpoche, <clears throat> who is uh, once meditational deity who is uh, once uh, uh, the uh, the Buddha figure, the Daga, the Guinea figure, mm. and at the same time, the Dharmakaya is pervades uh, in entire existence. Then, uh, entire our pores, you know, cells uh, within our body, physical body, and every single. Uh, thoughts that we have, <clears throat> every single moment of past, present, future thoughts, then every single outer uh, uh, environment on every single atoms on the, on the ground, on the soil, and every single um, the, um, the air that we breathe, that <clears throat> um, <clears throat> or any existing, you know, in, in, in entire space, completely, uh, you know, uh, in the existence, in, in the existence of uh, Guru's Dharmakaya. Since Dharmakaya is pervades in entire existence. And to be in that, uh, mandala to be in that energy to be to be to be able to be in that being you know is it's like actualizing resultant a uh, guru resultant buddha uh, uh, you know by ourselves uh, and and this is a very powerful practice uh, of of um, causal stage of the Dharmakaya practice, um, where we establish strong imprint, strong uh, meritorious cause for us to, you know, simply uh, actualize the Guru Buddhahood. So visualize, like you know, um, in the light form, uh, and which is the Guru, which is the Buddha and the deity, is completely filled in or out of every single existence.
So with the vivid awareness of this, then we take refuge in Guru Buddha Dhamma Sangha accordingly with the text. <clears throat> All sentient beings, my mother, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own mind, the Dharmakaya. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and the Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own mind, the Dharmakaya. <clears throat> then, <clears throat> so that uh, the Guru that uh, uh, we just have uh, uh, visualized and gain conviction you know, through understanding uh, the various reasons as presented. And that Guru, that Buddha, that Yidam, that Dakini, to whom just we took refuge, uh, is compassionate Buddha, the Chenrezig. Now, the, um, hmm, uh, the refuge field, the Guru Buddha Dhamma, the Guru Buddha Dhamma Sangha, um, you know, uh, dissolve into the uh, the light, which is in nature, is the Dharmakaya. Mm? So empty of the, the many different figures and different visualizations, from that empty, then <clears throat> there's a white lotus uh, petal, then. Uh, in the center of lotus petal, there's a, a mundis. Mm. The lotus petal, you know, feel uh, not kind of like ordinary flower lotus. It looked like a flower lotus, but then again, in the nature of the uh, and the expressions of uh, voidness, the expressions of in the nature of the dharmakaya, you know, which appear as a lotus. Then the mundis, you know, very soothing, very comfortable, very vast, uh, luminous. Uh, then in the center of that, then, uh, you know, a white syllable, uh, free. And from, from this white syllable free, then miraculously, you know, arise the compassionate Buddha. <clears throat> so on the crown of myself and all sentient beings pervading space is the white lotus and the moon. On top of it, from free arises the supreme Arya Chenrezig, white and clear, radiating five color light rays, smiling and looking with eyes of compassion. Of your forearms, the palm of the first two are joined, and the lower two hold crystal rosary, a white lotus. You are adorned with the silk and precious jewelry, and wear a deer skin upper garment. Amitabha adores your head. You are seated with your leg in the Vajra posture. A stainless moon is your back's rest. In nature, you encompasses all object of refuge. Uh, 
Now think that oneself and all sentient beings are making the following requests as if in one voice. Lord, your body is white in color, unsoiled, unsoiled by fault. A complete Buddha adorned your head. You look at living beings with the eyes of compassion. To you, Cherezik, I prostrate. Lord, your body is white in color, unsoiled, and unsoiled by faults. A complete Buddha adorned your head. You look at living beings with the eyes of compassion. To you, Cherezik, I prostrate. Lord, your body white in color, unsoiled by fault. A complete Buddha adorned your head. You look at living beings with the eyes of compassion. To you, Cherezik, I prostrate. Requested uh, uh, making this request, then. <clears throat> mm. Then think like this, through having met a request one pointedly in that way, light radiates from the body of, Ar body of the Arya and purify impure karmic appearances and mistaken mind of yourself and of the rest of the sentient things. So visualize this infinite light rays. Uh, with that light rays, infinite nectars, you know, abundance of nectar uh, flow. And that purifies the conventional uh, ordinary being that oneself and as well as the rest of the other sentient beings, in particular this time, <clears throat> this prayer is specifically dedicating uh, to the southern world's uh, you know, humanity to purify all the fear, um, all the, uh, the dangers uh, from this pandemic and those who have passed away through this disease, you know, purify their coming imprints and uh, pacified all the fear and the suffering of intermediate state and uh, three lower realms and actualize you know, higher rebirth where they meet, meet perfect Mayani Guru and actualize the entire path and Buddhahood, you know, without delaying. Mm. And also dedicate this practice, uh, you know, what's it, the, the light rays and nectar goes out also to those, uh, you know, frontliners, uh, those who are directly engaging to take care of the sick people, for them to have uh, the protection wheel of the light rays that, you know, sent by Cherezik and the, um, the human that which received through the, uh, the nectar. Mm. So then, uh, not only that, you know, that blesses their heart uh, to, to overwhelm with compassion and joyous effort and uh, uh, courage, uh, confident, uh, patient, concentration, wisdom, etc and generosity, etc., so that they can able to, you know, take care of all those who are in most need of uh, care and help. Mm, then <clears throat> the environment become uh, so, 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 uh, so now you uh, we visualize mm. through you know uh, uh, due to the light rays and the nectar from compassion of Buddha uh, the purifies all the impurities then actualize the environment uh, into a pure land then our our own body speech and mind as well as the rest of the other sentient beings and uh, those um, uh, they, uh, you know in particularly here. Uh, you know, the, the humans, you know, everyone um, actualize uh, the compassion of Buddha's um, mm. holy body, speech and mind. Mm. So according with this uh, text, the one of the other prayer that composed by Tantong Gyalbo, the environment becomes Sukhavati pure land, 
and the body, speech, and mind of its inhabitants, living beings, become body, speech, and mind of powerful cherizic uh, appearances, sounds, and awareness inseparable from emptiness. So now, <clears throat> do a short <clears throat> uh, visualization or med short meditation that uh, in the taste of emptiness, then, uh, you know, uh, uh, without any doubt, uh, whatever the purification that I have done through this visualization and whatever, you know, um, the positive qualities that we are able to abide through our visualizations, you know, such as um, sentient beings, body, speech, and mind, you know, uh, abide into the uh, the state of compassion and Buddha, the impure samsari environment, you know, uh, actualized into pure sukhavati. Uh, in in the taste of emptiness, is literally it's, it it happens. <clears throat> uh, um, this the samsara, uh, you know, still continue to remain to the uh, impure uh, perceptions and hallucinated perceptions. Mm. Uh, right this very moment, you know, there are practitioners who, who, who achieve enlightenment. And right this moment, those who are achieving enlightenment, in the first, first moment, you know, before they actualize Dharmakaya, before they actualize enlightenment, you know, the entire existing, you know, cannot uh, actualize uh, as a pure land and as an enlightened being. But then the next moment when they when they have actualized the full enlightenment, that same continuum of uh, continuum, uh, which samsaric uh, environment and samsaric being, you know, now for that perception of enlightened being, see everything is pure. <clears throat> so that is the the reason, uh, you know, samsara, nirvana, purified, not purified, is everything is, is just play of perception. So whether unpurified and purified perception, so that, that brings the difference. So therefore, uh, according with this, uh, you know, this prayer, in emptiness, then all appearances, all the sounds, all awareness, you know, uh, inseparable from Dharmakaya, inseparable from uh, the Cherezik's uh, qualities. And by meditating on that, um, like people like us, that who has a deep, uh, you know, imprint of hallucination, uh, you know, uh, still very difficult to, you know, directly see that, you know, directly see the, 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 the actual reality. We still caught up with the hallucinational uh, appearances. So by doing this meditation, help us to purify this impure view and gradually, you know, we get closer uh, to have uh, uh, the same perception as the Buddha has. So just simply feel complete voidness, but at the same time, in that releasing of grasping of hallucinational apprehension, the feel of voidness brings sense of bliss, sense of relief in your heart. So try to remain in that uh, emptiness experience.
Okay, so then now uh, we recite Om Mani Padme Hum. <clears throat> <clears throat> so while reciting the um, the mantra, then um, <clears throat> try to do the the similar visualization that we have done before. Uh, <clears throat> the compassionate Buddha Chenrezig, who is embodiment of all the gurus, uh, you know, idams and uh, Buddhas, Dagadakinis, etc., and emanating infinite light rays and the nectar, then that brings uh, the purifications of hell realm, hungry ghosts, animal god demigods, humans, uh, and uh, specifically, you know, um, <clears throat> uh, as guided before, that we, you know, uh, send these uh, protections of lights and the blessing of nectar to those uh, who work on the front line and also those who are sick uh, and those who are in danger, <clears throat> then purify them, then abide them in the state of uh, genesis. So all these visualizations are uh, can do. Then once a while uh, uh, along the recitation, you know, individually can take a time to meditate on emptiness like as we just did before. So uh, uh, in emptiness, you know, really, you know, uh, try to gain a conviction, firm conviction that in emptiness really, you know, what you have uh, done is really works. You see, the more the conviction that we have, uh, uh, then there's a you know concentration on visualization is there. Then the powerful mantra Om Mani Padme Hum is there. Then the sincere heart of your compassion, compassion and heart to help you know whole sentient being uh, is there. So, so all these you know interdependent conducive conditions will definitely bring immense immense benefits. <clears throat> Merci, Venerable Ilio. Eh bien, bonjour. Donc, on va prendre le relais pendant cette, cette heure à venir. Comme, comme d'habitude, il y avait un peu de, de soucis au démarrage. Donc, on va essayer. Donc, euh, bon, euh, cette fois-ci, je vais faire deux sessions parce que, parce que le, le, le planning n'était pas, pas rempli. Donc, voilà. Et j'ai pensé quand même qu'avant de, avant, au, lieu, au lieu de faire la motivation habituelle, comme vous savez peut-être que Maître Tignatan est décédé euh, euh, aujourd'hui, enfin, ce, ce matin, donc, je voulais peut-être en profiter pour lire un poème de Tignatan. Hein? Ne dites pas que je pars demain, car j'arrive encore aujourd'hui. Regardez bien, j'arrive à chaque seconde pour être un bourgeon sur la branche au printemps, pour être un petit oiseau aux ailes encore fragiles qui apprend à chanter dans un nouveau nid, pour être une chenille au cœur d'une fleur, pour être un joyau qui se cache dans la pierre. J'arrive encore pour rire et pour pleurer, pour avoir peur et espérer. Le rythme de mon cœur est la naissance et la mort de tout ce qui vit. Je suis l'éphémère qui se métamorphose à la surface de la rivière et je suis l'oiseau qui, lorsque vient le printemps, arrive à temps pour gober l'éphémère. Je suis une grenouille, nageant gaiement dans l'eau claire de l'étang. Et je suis la couleuvre qui s'approche en silence pour se nourrir de la grenouille. Je suis l'enfant ou grandé, tout en peau et en os, mes jambes sont aussi minces que des tiges de bambou. Et je suis le marchand d'armes qui vend ses armes de mort à l'Ouganda. Je suis la fillette de 12 ans, réfugiée sur une frêle embarcation, 
et qui se jette à la mer après avoir été violé par un pirate. Et je suis ce pirate, mon cœur ne pouvant pas encore voir et aimer. Il faut que je passe à la suite. Je suis un petit peu... Voilà. Là. J'ai perdu le texte. Voilà. Et tellement de textes ouverts que ça se chevauche. Je suis un membre du bureau politique et j'ai le pouvoir entre mes mains. Et je suis l'homme qui doit payer sa dette de sang au peuple et qui se meurt lentement dans un camp de travaux forcés. Ma joie est comme le printemps, si chaude qu'elle fait éclore les fleurs dans tous les chemins de la vie. Ma peine est comme un fleuve de larmes, si pleine qu'elle emplit les quatre stéans. Appelez-moi par mes vrais noms, afin que je puisse m'éveiller et que les portes de mon cœur puissent s'ouvrir, les portes de la compassion. Donc là, maintenant, je reviens. Donc là, on a rendu hommage à Maître Tignatan, qui est décédé donc aujourd'hui, qui est vraiment un très grand maître, et donc qui nous, qui nous voulait, par ce poème un peu dur, hein, nous enseigner la, la compassion. Et donc, euh, toujours dans cet esprit de compassion, on va faire aujourd'hui cette pratique pour, euh, pour, les, pour, pour, les, pour, les, pour les malades. Et on va... Euh, j'ai toujours un problème pour afficher, pour afficher les textes, mais ça viendra parvenir. Voilà. Je suis désolé, je prends toujours du temps. Hein. C'est... Mais quand, quand j'ai plusieurs textes ouverts, ça fait un bazar. Bon, mais bon je crois que je, je, du mal à y arriver aujourd'hui. Hein. Ah, je, voilà. Donc voilà, on y est. Donc là, on va, on va faire maintenant cette visualisation de Chen Rezi. Et d'abord, les quatre pensées à commencer. Comme ce serait merveilleux si tous les êtres demeuraient dans l'équanimité, libres de l'attachement qui les rapproche des uns et de la haine qui les éloigne des autres. Puisse-t-il demeurer ainsi Puisse-je faire en sorte qu'il demeure dans cet état Maître Bouddha, Veuillez me bénir afin que je puisse accomplir cela. Comme ce serait merveilleux si tous les êtres obtenaient le bonheur suprême de l'éveil et les causes de ce bonheur. Puisse-t-il les obtenir Puisse-je faire en sorte qu'ils les obtiennent Maître Bouddha, veuillez me bénir afin que je puisse accomplir cela. Comme ce serait merveilleux si tous les êtres étaient libérés de la souffrance et des causes de la souffrance. Puissent-ils en être libérés Puissent-ils faire en sorte qu'ils en soient libérés Maître Bouddha, veuillez me bénir afin que je puisse accomplir cela. Et comme ce serait merveilleux si tous les êtres n'étaient jamais séparés du bonheur de renaissance supérieure et de la libération. Puisse-t-il ne jamais en être séparé Puisse-je faire en sorte qu'il n'en soit jamais séparé Maître Bouddha, veuillez me bénir afin que je puisse accomplir cela. Et donc, nous visualisons Tchadaisi, donc sur le sommet de notre tête et de celle de tous les êtres, dont les nombres est aussi vaste que l'espace. Donc, nous visualisons un lotus blanc. 
et un disque de lune. Et sur ce disque de lune apparaît la scénarie qui est blanche et qui se transforme en Tchangrezi. Tchangrezi lui-même est également blanc, lumineux, et il diffuse des rayons des cinq couleurs. Son sourire est magnifique, son regard est plein de compassion, et de ses quatre mains, les deux premières sont jointes au niveau du cœur et tiennent un joyau qui exauce tous les souhaits, et les deux autres tiennent un rosaire de cristal et un lotus blanc. Il est paré de soirées et d'ornements de joyaux. Une peau de biche couvre son épaule et le Bouddha Amitabha, le Bouddha de lumière infinie, couronne sa tête. Il est assis avec ses deux jambes dans la posture adamantine. Il est adossé à une nuit immaculée au sommet de sa tête, à sa gorge et à son cœur, se trouve la syllabe « Om, A, Om ». Donc en essence, il en présente tous les refuges réunis. Et donc en regardant vraiment à l'esprit cette présence au-dessus de nous de Tchenrezi, et donc on va commencer la prière. Tous les êtres, mes mères, aussi nombreuses que vaste est l'espace, prennent refuge dans le précieux maître Bouddha. Nous prenons refuge dans le Bouddha, le Dharma et la Sangha. Nous prenons refuge dans l'assemblée des maîtres, des déités de méditation et de Dakini. Nous prenons refuge dans la clarté et vacuité de notre propre esprit, le Dharma Kaya. Tous les êtres, mes mères, aussi nombreuses que vaste est l'espace, prennent refuge dans le précieux maître Bouddha. Nous prenons refuge dans le Bouddha, le Dharma et la Sangha. Nous prenons refuge dans l'assemblée des maîtres, des déités de méditation et des Dakini. Nous prenons refuge dans la clarté vacuité de notre propre esprit, le Dharmakaya. Tous les êtres, les mers, aussi nombreuses que vaste est l'espace, prennent refuge dans le précieux maître Bouddha. Nous prenons refuge dans le Bouddha, le Dharma et la Sangha. Nous prenons refuge dans l'assemblée de maîtres, des déités de méditation et des Dakini. Nous prenons refuge dans la clarté et vacuité de notre propre esprit, le Dharmakaya. Et maintenant, nous pouvons réciter le mantra de Wadi Pemeung en ayant présent au-dessus de notre tête. Donc, la présence de Tchernazi. Et donc, on va réciter donc le mantra, justement, pour lui demander d'exaucer la prière que nous allons dire tout à l'heure pour que la pandémie puisse enfin cesser. Oh, Oh, my God, 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 oh,
Omani Pama, 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 Come <laughs> Omani Pame, Omani Pame, Omani Pame, Omani Pame, Omani Pame, Pame, Omani 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 Pame, Pame, Omani Pame, Omani Pame, Omani Pame, Omani Pame, Omani Pame, Mani Pame, Mani Pame, Mani Pame, Mani Pame, Mani Pame, Pame, Mani 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 Pame, Pame, Mani 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 Pame, Oh, my God. 
faisons la coutumée, nous récitons une strophe et après nous dirons quelques mantras et ainsi de suite. Donc sans oublier évidemment, comme nous l'avons fait depuis le début, que nous avons Chenrezi au-dessus de notre tête, dans son apparence lumineuse et que c'est lui que nous invoquons par cette prière composée par Tandong Gelpo pour euh, lui demander d'aider à mettre fin à cette pandémie puis toutes les maladies qui font souffrir les êtres en raison du karma et de conditions soudaines telles que les méfaits causés par les esprits, les maladies et les éléments, ne plus advenir en ce monde. Puisse toute les souffrances liées aux maladies graves qui tel a bouché menant sa victime à l'abattoir, c'est par le corps de l'esprit en un instant ne plus advenir dans ce monde. Puis tous les êtres incarnés ne plus se faire d'épidémies aiguës, chroniques ou autres, dont le seul nom suffit à semer la terreur et à se sentir aspiré dans la gueule de Yama, le seigneur de la mort. Puisse tous les êtres incarnés ne plus être victimes des 80 000 espèces de fauteurs de trône, des 360 nuisances subitement infligées par des esprits maléfiques, des 424 maladies, et ainsi de suite. 
、おまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおまにためおPleinement exacé. Peut-être on a le temps de la redire une fois sans les mantras. Puis toutes les maladies qui font souffrir les êtres en raison du karma et des conditions soudaines, telles que les méfaits causés par les esprits, les maladies et les éléments, ne plus advenir en ce monde. Puis toutes les souffrances liées aux maladies graves qui t a i n t un boucher menant sa victime à l'abattoir, c'est par le corps de l'esprit en un instant ne plus advenir en ce monde. Puis tous les êtres incarnés ne plus souffrir d'épidémies aiguës, chroniques ou autres, dont non seulement s u f f i s à semer la terreur et à se sentir aspirer dans la gueule de Yama, le Seigneur de la mort. Puis tous les êtres incarnés ne plus être victimes des 80 000 espèces de fauteurs de trous, des 360 nuisances subitement affligées par des esprits maléfiques, des 424 maladies et ainsi de suite. Puis toutes les souffrances dues au dérèglement des quatre éléments privant le corps et l'esprit de tout plaisir disparaître à tout jamais et puis ce corps et l'esprit rayonner de vitalité, jouir d'une longue vie, demeurer heureux et en bonne santé. Par la compassion des maîtres, des trois rares et sublimes, le pouvoir des dakini, des gardiens et des protecteurs du dharma, et par la force infaillie du dharma et de ses effets, puisse, dédicace et prière, être pleinement exaucé. Et donc maintenant, on va essayer de faire la dédicace, puisqu'on est arrivé à la fin de cette session. Plus de joyeux suprême de la bodhicitta naître où il n'est pas né, de ne pas dégénérer là où il est déjà né, et s'accroître de plus en plus, grâce aux mérites accumulés par ses actions vertueuses, puisse rapidement atteindre l'état d'un maître Bouddha. Et conduire tous les êtres sans exception à cet état d'éveil. Grâce au mérite des trois temps, accumulé par moi-même, les Bouddhas, la Bodhisattva et tous les êtres, puissent les guerres, la famine, la torture, la pauvreté, les problèmes économiques et tous les dangers liés à la terre, à l'eau, au feu et au vent être immédiatement pacifiés. Et puissent la paix et le bonheur parfait remplir le cœur et la vie de chacun. 
que ces enseignements du Bouddha duraient longtemps, et puissent les êtres de ce monde rencontrer les enseignements du Bouddha et atteindre l'éveil aussi vite que possible. Grâce au mérite du passé, du présent et de l'avenir créé par moi-même, au mérite des trois temps accumulés par les innombrables Bouddha et les innombrables êtres qui sont entièrement vides une existence propre, puis sais-je moi qui sont entièrement vides une existence propre atteindre l'état de plein éveil qui est entièrement vide une existence propre et mener tous les êtres qui sont entièrement vides une existence propre vers cet état qui est entièrement vide une existence propre uniquement par moi-même qui suis entièrement vide une existence propre. Pour terminer la prière de longue vie, de sa sainteté d'Alaï Lama, Mourir à Wepoetikandi, Pendant de Wamaludumwedi, Tendre de Wanta de Yatsodi, Champé si te bando de Gyoti. Et celle de la base de Paris Petit. Tout est, entière, est terminé. Et sur le terminé, donc, euh, en ce qui me concerne, je vais repartir pour, euh, pour euh, une, une autre session. Voilà, donc ceux, ceux qui veulent continuer, on continue. Ceux qui doivent partir, qui veulent partir, etc., pour toutes les bonnes raisons, il n'y a aucun problème. C'est déjà bien d'avoir consacré euh, ce, ce, ce temps-là à la pratique. Et donc, euh, voilà, il est 18h30, et donc je continue avec euh, et qui même me suit, là, comme on dit. Hein. Donc voilà. Et comme j'avais fait tout à l'heure pour la première session, et donc je vais commencer, euh, puisque donc, tout ça, c'est un... Puisque tout ça, c'est une... Euh, c'est une activité de la compassion, donc je vais et qu'aujourd'hui, un grand maître du, du bouddhisme est décédé, puisque le maître Thich Nhat Hanh a quitté son corps, je crois, hier soir ou, ou cette nuit. Et donc, euh, on, va, on va, en hommage à lui, hein, en guise aussi d'éveil de, de, de la compassion, euh, je vais lire un poème de, de maître Thich Nhat Hanh, qui s'appelle « Appelez-moi par mes vrais nés ». Alors, si je ne si m'embrouille pas les pieds avec... Euh, voilà. Alors, je ne fais pas le partage de grappes, c'est trop compliqué. Ne dites pas que je pars demain, car j'arrive aujourd encore aujourd'hui. Regardez bien. J'arrive à chaque seconde pour être un bourgeon sur la branche au printemps, pour être un petit oiseau aux ailes encore fragiles qui apprend à chanter dans un nouveau nid pour être une chenille au cœur d'une fleur, pour être un joyau qui se cache dans la pierre. J'arrive encore pour rire et pleurer, pour avoir peur et espérer. Le rythme de mon cœur est la naissance et la mort de tout ce qui vit. Je suis l'éphémère qui se métamorphose à la surface de la rivière et je suis l'oiseau qui, lorsque vient le printemps, arrive à temps pour gober l'éphémère. Je suis une grenouille nageant gaiement dans l'eau claire de l'étang. Et je suis la couleuvre qui s'approche en silence pour se nourrir de la grenouille. Je suis l'enfant au gandé, tout en peau et en os. Mes jambes sont aussi minces que des tiges de bambou. Et je suis le marchand d'armes qui vend ses armes de mort à l'Ouganda. Je suis la fillette de 12 ans, réfugiée sur une frêle embarcation et qui se jette à la mer après avoir été violé par un pirate. Et je suis ce pirate, mon cœur, ne pouvant pas encore voir et aimer. Je suis un membre du bureau politique, et j'ai le pouvoir entre mes mains. 
et je suis l'homme qui doit payer sa dette de sang à son peuple et qui se meurt lentement dans un camp de travaux forcés. Ma joie est comme le printemps, si chaude, qu'elle fait éclore les fleurs dans tous les chemins de la vie. Ma peine est comme un fleur de l'arbre, si pleine qu'elle emplit les quatre océans. Appelez-moi pour mes vrais noms, afin que je puisse m'éveiller et que les portes de mon cœur puissent s'ouvrir, les portes de la compassion. Donc il doute que Maître Titatan, qui était un être réalisé, parti dans les champions des Bouddhas, et que peut-être il reviendra sous d'autres formes. En ce qui nous concerne, on va donc continuer la pratique maintenant, avec l'introduction habituelle. Si je ne m'emmêle pas les pinceaux, on a dans la recherche de texte, évidemment. Parce que c'est chaque fois... C'est à chaque fois une galère. Voilà, j'ai perdu. J'ai perdu, voilà. Alors, on va y être. Hein. On va y être. Désolé, je prends chaque fois un temps fou. Non, je n'arrive pas. Je ne vois pas pourquoi je ne retrouve pas ce texte qui pourtant... Désolé. Hein. J'arrive pas à l'afficher. Écoutez, donc je vais le lire. De toute façon, c'est une visualisation. Hein. Donc on commence par hein, les quatre pensées incommensurables. Ouais. Comme ce serait merveilleux. Si tous les êtres demeuraient dans l'équanimité, libres de l'attachement qui les rapproche des uns et de la haine qui les éloigne des autres, puissent-ils demeurer ainsi Puissais-je faire en sorte qu'ils demeurent dans cet état Maître Bouddha, veuillez me bénir afin que je puisse accomplir cela. Comme ce serait merveilleux si tous les êtres obtenaient le bonheur suprême de l'éveil et les causes de ce bonheur. Puisse-t-il les obtenir Puisse-je faire en sorte qu'il les obtienne Maître Bouddha, veuillez me bénir afin que je puisse accomplir cela. Comme ce serait merveilleux si tous les êtres étaient libérés de la souffrance et des causes de la souffrance. Puisse-t-il en être libéré Puisse-je faire en sorte qu'ils en soient libérés Maître Bouddha, veuillez me bénir afin que je puisse accomplir cela. Et comme ce serait merveilleux si tous les êtres n'étaient jamais séparés du bonheur, des renaissances supérieures et de la libération. Puissent-ils ne jamais en être séparés Puissent-ils faire en sorte qu'ils n'en soient jamais séparés Maître Bouddha, veuillez me bénir afin que je puisse accomplir cela. Et maintenant, nous visualisons, au-dessus de notre tête, nous visualisons Tienrezi. Donc, au-dessus de notre tête, et également de celle de tous les êtres, nous visualisons un lotus blanc, et sur ce lotus blanc, un disque de lune. Sur le disque de lune, nous visualisons la lettre germe Marie, qui est également blanche, et cette lettre germe se transforme en Chenrezi. Chenrezi lui-même également est blanc, lumineux, et il diffuse des rayons de cinq couleurs. Son sourire est magnifique, son regard est plein de compassion, 
de ces quatre mains, les deux premières sont jointes au niveau du cœur et tiennent un joyau qui exauce tous les vœux. Et les deux autres tiennent un rosaire de cristal et un lotus blanc. Il est paré de soirées et d'ornements de joyaux. Une peau de biche couvre son épaule. Le Bouddha de lumière infinie, Amitabha, couronne sa tête. Il est assis. Ses deux jambes sont dans la posture adamantine. Il s'adresse contre une lune immaculée. Au sommet de sa tête, à sa gorge et à son cœur se trouvent les syllabes OM, A, ONG. Et donc, en essence, il représente l'ensemble de tous les refuges. Et donc maintenant, je vais... Ah ben non, ben non, ben non, il arrive. Alors. Voilà. Ceci, nous l'avons. Un jour, je saurai le faire complètement, il hein, ne faut pas s'inquiéter. Avant que je sois vieux, je vais y arriver. Donc voilà, donc, donc là, cette, cette belle prière de Tantum Gelpo, qui est donc une invocation à Chenrezig pour, pour aider à donc, résoudre, à faire cesser cette pandémie. Tous les êtres, mes mères, aussi nombreuses que vaste et l'espace, prennent refuge dans le précieux maître Bouddha. Nous prenons refuge dans le Bouddha, le Dharma et la Sangha. Nous prenons refuge dans l'Assemblée des Maîtres, les déités de méditation et des Dakini. Nous prenons refuge dans la clarté et vacuité de notre propre esprit, le Dharmakaya. Tous les êtres, mes mères, aussi nombreuses que vaste et l'espace, prennent refuge dans le précieux Maître Bouddha. Nous prenons refuge dans le Bouddha, le Dharma et la Sangha. Nous prenons refuge dans l'Assemblée des Maîtres, les déités de méditation et des Dakini. Nous prenons refuge dans la clarté et vacuité de notre propre esprit, le Dharma Kaya. Tous les êtres, mes mères, aussi nombreuses que vaste et l'espace, prennent refuge dans le précieux maître Bouddha. Nous prenons refuge dans le Bouddha, le Dharma et la Sangha. Nous prenons refuge dans l'assemblée des maîtres, des déités de méditation et des Dakini. Nous prenons refuge dans la clarté et vacuité de notre propre esprit, le Dharma Kaya. Maintenant, nous pouvons réciter le mantra de Tienrezi, toujours en ayant présent au-dessus de notre tête qui va de Tienrezi. Oh, 
Donc de la prière proprement dite, avec comme d'habitude, on récite une strophe et ensuite quelques, quelques mantras, et ainsi de suite. 
Et s'il reste du temps, on récitera une deuxième fois la prière sur les, sur les mantras, puisque l'on aura déjà dit beaucoup. Puissent toutes les maladies qui font souffrir les êtres en raison du karma et de conditions soudaines, tels que les méfaits causés par les esprits, les maladies et les éléments, ne plus advenir en ce monde. Au mani pame, au mani pame, au mani pame, au mani pame. Puis toutes les souffrances liées aux maladies graves, qui telles un boucher menant sa victime à l'abattoir, c'est par le corps de l'esprit en un instant, ne plus advenir en ce monde. Les êtres incarnés ne perspirer dans la gueule de Yama, le Seigneur de la mort. incarné, ne plus être victime des 80 000 espèces de fauteurs de troubles, des 360 nuisances subitement affligées par des esprits maléfiques, des 424 maladies, et ainsi de suite. Oh, 
。おまにてめよ、おまにてめよ、おまにてめよ、おまにてめよ、おまにてめよ、おまにてめよ、おまにてめよ、おまにてめよ、おまにてめよ、おまにてめよ、おまにてめよ、おまにてめよ、おまにてめよ、Puisque tes souffrances, Dieu des règlements des quatre éléments, privant le corps et l'esprit de tout plaisir, disparaîtra tout jamais. Et puisse le corps et l'esprit, rayonner de vitalité, jouir d'une longue vie, demeurer heureux et en bonne santé. Par la compassion des maîtres et des trois rares et sublimes, le pouvoir des Dakini, des gardiens et des protecteurs du Dharma, et par la force infaillible du karma et de ses effets, puisse dédicacer ses prières et être plein de Donc maintenant, on va faire les, les dédicaces. Si je les retrouve, à chaque fois, je les perds. Aujourd'hui, c'est un jour où je, où je perds tout. Voilà. Puisse le joyeux suprême de la Bodhicitta naître là où il n'est pas né, ne pas dégénérer là où il est né. Déjà né, mais ça croît de plus en plus. Grâce aux mérites accumulés par ces accumulés par moi-même, les Bouddhas, les Bodhisattvas et tous les êtres. Puissent les guerres, la famine, la torture, la pauvreté et les problèmes économiques et tous les dangers liés à la terre, à l'eau, au feu et au vent être immédiatement pacifiés. Et puisse la paix et le bonheur parfait remplir le cœur et la vie de chacun. Puissent les enseignements du Bouddha durer longtemps. Et puissent les êtres de ce monde rencontrer les enseignements du Bouddha et atteindre l'éveil aussi vite que possible. Grâce au mérite du passé, du présent et de l'avenir, créé par moi-même, au mérite des trois temps accumulés par les innombrables Bouddhas et les innombrables êtres qui sont entièrement vides d'existence propre, puissais-je, moi qui suis entièrement vide d'existence propre, atteindre l'état de plein éveil qui est entièrement vide d'existence propre et mener tous les êtres qui sont entièrement vides d'existence propre vers cet état qui est entièrement vide d'existence propre uniquement par moi-même qui suis entièrement vide d'existence propre. 
et les prières de longue vie de nos maîtres. Ça, ça te Dalayama. Il a pris de longue vie de la base par une petite. Tout tout tant et voilà, donc avec cette, cela, nous avons terminé euh, la, la pratique, la, cette pratique, donc, euh, euh, qui est-ce qui prend la suite C'est... Ah, c'est Vénérabrita Oui Ah, oh, je te reconnais ah. Alors, ben, je te laisse la place, je suis content de te voir. Euh, et puis, oui, ben, moi aussi, tiens. Voilà, on se retrouve ouais. dans de bonnes occasions comme celle-ci, c'est bien. Voilà. Alors, oui. je, je, je te laisse la place et à tous merci. les amis. Je dis à bientôt. Et... Merci beaucoup, puis merci et... à tout le monde d'avoir participé, c'est formidable. Ça, voilà, fait, voilà. ça fait beaucoup de joie de vous voir tous là, de faire voilà, les prières pour... avec euh, Venable Tenzin Donieu. Voilà, je suis, je suis content. Je, tout seul, j'ai peur, hein, donc ils me font compagnie et vraiment, <rire> je suis très content de ça. Tu vois. Ah ben, voilà. Allez, bonne continuation et à Merci. très bientôt à tout le monde. Et Léo, et puis prends, prends bien soin de toi. Hein. Oh, Okay, so hello everybody. So what we will do, we will um, of course do the prayers, taking refuge, and then before we do the Chenresic practice, then we will recite the Chenresic, the, the requests to Chenresic, which were really beautifully um, translated by Lama Zopar Rinpoche, and then recite the prayer, and then the dedication. So first of all, again, I would really like to thank Chenresic Institute and everybody who is participating in doing these prayers. I mean, the world really needs it. So it's, uh, it's really fantastic and wonderful to see how people give their time to do these prayers um, together. So we start by taking refuge. And so it's quite good also to not just to say the words, But also to think in our own mind, you know, what does it mean for me to take refuge? So you can visualize in the space in front of you. I think it's always good to first to visualize your guru in his, his or her form that you know, him or her, and then watch the state of your mind. Because whenever we think about the guru, the heart opens. It's as simple as that. We feel protected. We feel accepted the way we are. We don't have to be in any special way. If we think we have to be special, then it's not because of him or her. It's because we want to be special. So then we put ourselves under pressure totally unnecessarily. So to see that this being that we call the guru really only wants our best. And not just, you know, temporary happiness, but to give us the methods and guide us and lead us and give us the advice that we need in order to um, be liberated from samsara, to be liberated, not to be under the control of karma and our unhelpful emotions. I mean, what better person can you, could you imagine? Then we try not to see the guru as just a human being, but being oneness with the Buddha. So because we do chinresic practice afterwards, you can visualize chinresic either with a thousand arms or four arms, whatever you feel more comfortable with. And then to have that trust and that faith that through the Buddha, from where we have the Dharma, which are the methods, we apply them, we can attain, we can fulfill our fondest wishes. Like, again, when we think about our values, 
you know, we have values of generosity, love, compassion, good connections, having harmonious relationships, being kind, and all this, but we have them. We would like to be able to live them, but sometimes we're not. And sometimes we do exactly the opposite. Even because we want to be happy, sometimes we create negative karma because uh, we're guided by our self, self-centered or self-cherishing mind, right? So, um, so we, it's good to have a really strong wish to be able to live these values naturally, spontaneously, continuously, and, and, and special, especially effortlessly. You know, that this becomes not our second nature, but our first nature. To feel this yearning to be good, and not only to be good because we want to please others, but to feel this yearning because we want to be of benefit to all people. Because we become aware that since beginningless lifetimes, you know, we were so dependent on so many beings. Just today, if you think, you know, you take maybe, I don't know, one shoe, one sweater, the cushion you're sitting on or the chair, if you would have to count how many beings were involved in creating this object, I mean, you wouldn't, you couldn't finish. And this is, you know, just for a very ordinary thing. So we have a connection with each of them. But in this life, we have very special connections. So these people are also very important for us so we always start with the ones that you know that are the most important ones is your parents so you visualize your mom at your left side your dad at your right side and in case there was problems you know which is let them all go in case your parents are still alive and maybe very old and sometimes we think they are a little bit bothersome then if we can just remember they have given us this body and they still care for us mentally they only want our happiness they never want us to be unhappy and then if they do you know unskillful things then it's because their own confusion not because they want but most of the parents we know we have this very spontaneous gratitude towards them that they make thanks to them we have the life that we have now so they're there then the people that we make us nervous not for the people we don't like or the people that make us nervous or uncomfortable or people we make nervous or uncomfortable we put in the space in front they're very important for us for our dharma practice because we see where we're standing and and then again the strong wish to be able to undo these knots that we have towards these people so that we can next time we meet them or or after we practice to, the, to dissolve these knots, we can meet them with an open heart, totally calm, without fear, without aggression, without aversion, without shame, because they bring out our negative sides. So they're important for our practice of patience and for to be able to transform our mind. We need these people to train. Then the people behind you, those are the people that very spontaneously, just thinking about them. So try to be specific so that you experience these feelings, sensations in your body. So people that your heart spontaneously open. Now don't be too general. Think about people, you hear their name, you see them approaching, or you see that, you know, they're calling you, oh, the heart is open. And we wish for their happiness very spontaneously, very naturally. So they are important for us, to, uh, even though our love and compassion for them is mixed with attachment, but at least we experience love and compassion. We know how it feels. Then we have the yearning or the wish or the aspiration to have this kind of um, attitude towards all sentient beings because this is just in this life like this. You know, people sitting in front of us, People who make us nervous, people behind us, the ones we are attached to, the ones we love. But then in other lives, we've had numberless lifetimes. All the other universal beings who live in this universe, at one point they were sitting behind, at one point they were sitting at the back, sometimes in the same lifetime, 
people we can't stand, all of a sudden we start to like them or vice versa. People we're not interested in, all of a sudden they go into the category friend or antagonist. So we shouldn't be so fixed on these, these ones I like, these ones I dislike. And a strong wish not to limit ourselves to just these few people um, that are sitting behind us to have an open heart and to be kind. And to be helpful without, you know, needing any effort. So we think about all universal living beings, all the beings in this universe, like the hell beings, the hungry ghosts, the animals, the humans, beings in the, in the demigod and god realms, beings in the pardo, beings in the form and formless realm. We would have to count them absolutely impossible numberless sentient beings and we had had contact with them in each life now we have the strong wish i want to repay that kindness that i receive every day every hour every minute even if i'm not aware of it but because people do their job properly i can live the life i live because people allow me to love them and to be close to them i get to know these wonderful feelings and sensations that we have, attitudes. So we think to repay that kindness, I want to guide them, lead them to a state which is the state of Chinresi, which is in front of us, which is our Guru. The same way our Guru is inspiring us now, and the same way our Guru is giving us these practices so we can attain that state of full awakening, I want to be able to have the skills, the love, the compassion, wisdom to lead all beings to that state and we think we are leading or guiding them in taking refuge and like this you know bodhicitta is generated the wish the understanding i have to attain full awakening in order to lead all beings to that state very strong wish very strong aspiration most important thing in the world in the world and as Shantideva says, you know, as we develop bodhicitta, our joy in living becomes stronger and stronger. And His Holiness is repeating that verse from the seventh chapter very often. How can you be depressed if you're riding on the horse of bodhicitta, which leads you from joy to joy? So beautiful. So meaningful. Okay, so we recite refuge. All sentient beings equal to space go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of gurus, meditational deities, and Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharma Kaya. All sentient beings equal to space go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of gurus, meditational deities, and Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds. The Dharmakaya is so important, that last line, that we totally trust our own innate and natural goodness, spaciousness, and uh, wisdom that we have in our mind. That is just obscured. We only have to eliminate what is covering it so that it can come to its surface. All sentient beings equal to space go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of gurus, meditation deities, and Dakinis. <clears throat> we go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds the Dharmakaya. And then before we do, um, is this correct? before we do the Chinresic practice, we do this request, uh, which is actually to protect us. So if we are in any of these situations and we remember to ask Chinresic for protection, he will, we will not create more negative karma, which makes more layers um, to cover up that beautiful, pure, clean mind that we have. 
So Rinpoche says, if you keep compassion, Buddha, who is enriched with supreme power in your mind, you will be protected from all dangers, especially the danger of creating more negative karma. The negative karma that we have already created, like Chandrasi, cannot really protect us that it will ripen unless we we purify it, because otherwise Chandrasi would become an omnipotent god, which there is no such thing in the universe. This is what Buddhism says. But he can, you know, he can inspire us or protect us from acting out our unhelpful mind states, yeah, so that we don't collaborate with them anymore. They arise, but we don't react on them. So first request Chenresik for the following things to happen to you. Then think that you caused them to happen to all other sentient beings. This is an extremely effective way to generate bodhicitta and the good heart cherishing others. So in a way, we always think bodhicitta is so complicated. It's not, because it's all mother sentient beings. That's the most important thing in bodhicitta, that we're not excluding anybody. So it's simple. We don't have to choose. It is all sentient beings. We want to guide or lead to full awakening. Namo Guru Lokeshwaraya. Please look at me with compassion, universal being enriched with power. Please be my guide and save me, perfect, pure treasure of compassion. I request you, supreme Arya, compassionate eye looking one, please be my captain, liberating me from the great ocean of beginningless samsara, compassionate eye looking one. Make it a bit bigger, maybe better. When I am obscured by the darkness of ignorance, Please be my illuminating light, compassionate eye-looking one. When I have a blazing fire of anger towards my enemies, please be the waterfall that extinguishes it, compassionate eye-looking one. When I have violent waves of attachment toward my friends, please help me realize the ultimate nature, compassionate eye-looking one. When I am bound to my possessions by the knot of miserliness, Please be my manager of giving, compassionate eye-looking one. When I am intoxicated by the five poisonous delusions, please be my king of medicine, compassionate eye-looking one. When I am disturbed and frightened at the time of death, please show me your face and introduce self-nature, compassionate eye-looking one. When I am surrounded by the karmic messengers of Yama, please be my refuge and guide, compassionate eye-looking one. When I am traveling the unknown, dangerous path of the intermediate state, please be my close relative, compassionate eye-looking one. When I am wandering, seeking an uncertain birthplace, please take me to your pure land, compassionate eye-looking one. When I am experiencing the suffering of karma in the womb, please cover me with the tent of light, compassionate eye-looking one. When I have taken the body of an unknowing baby, please be my supreme virtuous friend, compassionate eye-looking one. When I always visualize you on my crown, make offerings and praise you, please be my root guru, compassionate eye-looking one. When I visualize you on my heart lotus, make offerings and praise you, please be my mind seal deity and the host of deities, compassionate eye-looking one. When I experience the obstacles of bad outer and inner conditions, please be my Dharma protector and pacify them, compassionate eye-looking one. When my mind is tormented by hunger, thirst and poverty, please grant whatever attainments I wish, compassionate eye-looking one. When I make requests with the continual sound of the six syllables, please always look at me with compassion, compassionate eye-looking one. So then, before we do the Chinresic practice, of course, if you have initiation, then you visualize that the Chinresic in the space in front of you comes to your crown, melts into light, absorbs into you. So if you don't have initiation, maybe better let, let leave Chinresic in the space in front of you, and then the light comes from him. But we can really do, you know, to, to fasten this path that we dissolve our ordinary being, so Chinresi comes to your crown, melts into light, that light very slowly, like, you know, liquid honey, but not sticky, 
kind of you know pours down your central channel into your heart chakra as it is doing this you think you dissolve your five contaminated aggregates if you don't know what i'm talking about it's fine don't worry but many people will know what i'm talking about so you whatever creates samsara is these five contaminated aggregates together with the 80 conceptions that we have that come from either attachment aversion or uh, wrong views and we kind of just think oh everything just dissolves like in a movie theater when you have the screen that goes blank because then we can kind of start to put on an other movie one that is pure one that it has as causes uh, compassion and wisdom not like now you know we have a causes of course the positive causes to it having attained precious human rebirth but also attachment to existence and attachment to the eye which creates suffering so then you can visualize yourself as genresic either again four-armed sitting or a thousand-armed eleven head standing whatever you feel more comfortable with the body is totally translucent in your heart is a moon disc on top of it the silver kri around it, the mantra, Mani Peme Hum, and from there, very bright light rays are going out, first filling your body, which is, of course, made of light, and then like the sun, you know, the sun cannot contain its light, it just kind of spreads out or streams out um, in all directions, like a light bulb or like the sun. And you think that as we recite the mantra, the light kind of touches each and every sentient being, especially the ones who are affected by the COVID, either directly or indirectly, physically, mentally, financially, having fear, depression, loneliness, and all the people who work in order to help us human beings with this um, COVID pandemic, not to so that we don't die or that we can recover, we get oxygen and all this. And psychologists who help us you know mentally when we are depressed and all this that they have enough energy enough courage to keep on doing their work all the people in the labs also who work for a remedy for an antidote may they find it so that we can go back to a so-called normal life but anyway the so-called normal life also has problems as we tend forgetting because the covid is the biggest problem at the moment for many of us so you think that all of these people are being touched by the light rays and all the other universal beings as well and immediately we uh, kind of transform into generic no mani peme o mani peme o o mani peme o O mani peme o, 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 O mani peme o. O mani peme o, 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 O mani peme o. O mani peme o, 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 O mani peme o. O mani peme o, O mani peme o, O mani peme o.
Then with the confidence of being Tong Tong Gyalpo, we can recite this prayer and with the confidence that it's making a lot of difference in the world. You know, sometimes people say, oh, but we're practicing, nothing changes. Well, we don't know how the world would look if we wouldn't do these practices. So definitely it doesn't do any harm. And by, you know, because we generate bodhicitta at the beginning, it's really, really helpful for our practice. Also, we connect with others when we see them. So, um, yeah, it's very, very beneficial. With the confidence of being Tong Tong Yalpo, we think I'm reciting this prayer short term in order to help with the pandemic long term for all beings to attain full awakening. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions such as the harms of spirits, illnesses, and the elements not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading a being to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other infectious diseases, the mere sound of whose names terrify beings as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of harmful interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every pleasure, be totally pacified. May the body and mind of radiance and power be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being. By the compassion of the Gurus and the Triple Gem, by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the strength of the infallibility of karma and its results, may these many dedications and prayers be fulfilled as soon as they are made. May all the diseases that sadden the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harms of spirits, illnesses and the elements, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading a being to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other infectious diseases, the mere sound of whose names terrifies beings as though they had been placed inside, inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of harmful interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every pleasure, be totally pacified. May the body and mind of radiance and power be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being. By the compassion of the Gurus and the Triple Gem, by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the strength of the infallibility of karma and its results, may these many dedications and prayers be fulfilled as soon as they are made. And for protection, we can recite these three mantras. They were given out at the beginning of the pandemic by Kapchis Oparimpoche, and he said, you recite them. Then you put your hand under your chin, you blow into it, you breathe it in so that you have, you know, special spiritual protection. Of course, we still wash our hands, we still keep distance, and we still wear the mask. Om Padma Shavari Pe Neng Parashig Naganan Tayata Sarvavirita Hana Hana Vajrena Raksha Raksha Soha Om Trasa Chusa Turtasa Turmisa Ningo Lacha Kala Cha Kam Sham Trampe Peso Ha Om Taretu Tare Ture Sarva Vidya Ditsora Prashama Na Yeso May the precious supreme Bodhicitta not yet born arise. May that arisen not decline but increase more and more. Due to this virtue, may I quickly become a Guru Buddha and lead all transmigratory beings without exception to that state. The wish granting, wish fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. 
Xavier of the Land of Snow, Teachings and Transmigratory Beings, who extensively clarifies the path that unifies emptiness and compassion to the Lotus Holder, Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And the long life prayer for Gyatso Zopar Rinpoche, but also, you know, for all teachers teaching true path to full awakening, you who uphold the Zapturus moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Majunat's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplishes manic magnificent prayers honoring the three sublime ones, savior of myself and others, you, your disciples, please, please live long. Due to all the merits of the three times collected by me, the numberless Buddhas, numberless sentient beings, May all wars, sicknesses, pandemics, famine, torture, poverty, and economic problems in the world, and all dangers of earth, water, fire, and wind be pacified immediately. May perfect peace and happiness prevail in everybody's hearts and lives. May the Buddha Dharma last for a long time, and may the sentient beings in this world meet the Buddha Dharma and achieve enlightenment as quickly as possible. Due to all the past, present, and future merits collected by me, and all the merits of the three times collected by the numberless Buddhas and numberless sentient beings, which are completely empty of existing from their own side, may I, who am completely empty of existing from my own side, achieve the state of full enlightenment, which is completely empty of existing from its own side, and lead all sentient beings who are completely empty of existing from their own side to that state, which is completely empty of existing from its own side by myself alone, who is completely empty of existing from my own side. And I would like to especially kind of dedicate the merit to Venerable Punsok, an Israeli monk, who is fighting for his life. He's had a few strokes and, uh, you know, um, blood in his brain, and he is in Israel, he's in hospital, he's in intensive care. And at the moment, he has very high fever, and uh, they keep changing the antibiotics, and it doesn't seem to work. Yesterday, he was quite well. He opened his eyes, and he seemed to be half here. Uh, today is, like, again, very bad. And I especially also dedicate for his mother, who is totally alone in the situation, but luckily the Israeli Sangha is helping her wherever she can. But she already lost her daughter seven years ago, at the same time, like also like two days ago in January. So, of course, she's very, she's not in a very, how to say, she's very grateful that we're doing the prayers. We do prayers for them on Zoom every day for Punsok. And then he, you know, she puts the Zoom next to him and so she listens. It's uh, very difficult. So, I'd like to dedicate all the merits for, so that he will survive and totally recover. He was just standing before his Geshe degree. And he's not even 50, so he's quite young. Okay, so I don't know. Is anybody here to take? Thank you, Venerable Rita. Chenrezi Institute will take over. Okay. Thank you. Who? <laughs> Thank you, Chenrezi Institute. Thank you very Thank you. much. Then uh, I leave you and uh, see you next week. And thanks Thank very you. much for taking such good care of us. Really, you were fantastic. You're really wonderful. Okay, please everybody take care and um, see you next week maybe. Bye. I want to make this bigger. Is this the same? Burkina Faso, that's it? Yeah, can I have this salt and pepper stone? That salt and pepper stone. Oh, yeah, you're live now. Hello? 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 Yeah, I am the next one. Normally. Okay, can you still? Yeah, are we on? Yeah. Okay.
Welcome, everybody. We are here in Maratika. I thought she said she's the next yeah. one, but it's not clear. Somebody else was saying that. Um, yeah. So it's not someone else is expecting? Like Sarah? Yeah, this is Sarah. This is Sarah. Sarah is yeah. two monks in Maratika. We're, yeah, we are here in Maratika. Sarah, Sarah, and Denzingache, and then yeah. Namjong. Yeah. So welcome to Maratika in Kotan District. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we are actually going to uh, do this on the roof with the view of Padma's cave. Uh, but the moment we got up to the roof, it started raining. So I guess we must have some uh, obstacles, but that's okay. It's good to do some purification. So we're here now, uh, this is underneath in the kitchen. Uh, you can see it right behind me out the window. There's a bit of a view of the mountains in the distance. So let's start it. Uh, since we're all here, maybe we can just sit quietly for a few minutes before we start uh, with the prayer. So just uh, sit quietly to get centered and um, you know settle your mind a bit so that we're fully present for the practice. Okay, so I think all of you who are tuned in will know that this is the prayer, one of the prayers, but one of the main prayers that uh, Lama Zephyr Vishay has recommended uh, for dealing with the COVID epidemic. So I don't need to really go into the details of the, that because I think all of you know. Um, so we can think that we're doing this practice uh, you know, to pacify the effects of the epidemic um, and to help uh, find a, a cure or to help humanity work through this difficult time. 
but ultimately the reason we do the practice, of course, is to become enlightened. As long as we're in samsara, uh, we cannot avoid experiencing uh, sickness and old age uh, and death. These are what the Buddha was very clear about. There's no way to escape this, but conventionally, uh, as much as we can offer uh, support, you know, such that people can move through this difficult time, uh, we can also have a prayer for that. Um, so we'll start with the motivation, and then we can do the Amani Mantra, maybe for about uh, 10 minutes. Um, we'll start with the long mantra, actually. If any of you know it, you can do it. If not, you can just listen, and then we'll do the, the, the short uh, mantra of Tenrizik. And then we'll recite the prayer uh, continuously for the rest of the session. Uh, so let's start here. Motivation, uh, on page one. All sentient beings, my mothers who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Idams, and Dakinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dharmakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge the assembly of gurus, idams, and akinis. We go for refuge the empty clarity of our minds and our makaya. All sentient beings and mothers who are not like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge the assembly of gurus, idams, and akinis. We go for refuge the empty clarity of our own minds and our makaya. Namurandraya Namaya Jahanamzai Gara I'm 
Now we will recite the prayer for the remaining time in the session. We do it as many times as we can. May all the diseases that sat in the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, the harms of Raha, spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas that occur in the realms of the world. Whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant not occur in the realms of the world. The all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they had been placed beside the mouth of the Yama, the mode of death. The all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 blessings of interferers, the 160 evil spirits that harm suddenly, 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever suffering there are in disturbances of the four elements depriving the body and mind of every happiness be thoroughly pacified. May the body and mind have radiance and power and be in have a long life good health and well being. By the compassion of the gurus and the free jewels, by the power of the dakinis and the protectors and guardians, by the power of the truth and availability of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. All the diseases that sat in the mind of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, which the harm of Gara's spirits, illnesses, and Buddha does not occur in the realms of the world. Whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all in body beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases. The mere sounds of those names terrify beings, as though they had been placed inside the mouth of the Amma, the Lord of Death. The no, only body no. beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are to do services of four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness before it pacified, and the body and mind have radiance and power, being down a long life, good health, and well being. The compassion of the Guru and the three jewels, by the power of the Dakinis, our protectors and guardians, by the power of the truth and the accountability of permanence and slums, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sat in the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the harm of the Graha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. Whatever sufferings there are from life written diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, Separate the body from the mind in the mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all the body beings be unharmed by acute chronic of their endemic diseases. The mere sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they had been placed inside the mouth of the Yama, the Lord of Death. May all the body beings be unharmed by the ease of this class of 
years, he had a sixty evil spirits that harmed suddenly, what is twenty four diseases and so forth. Whatever the sufferings are, the disturbances of the four elements depriving the body and mind of every happiness, we totally pacify. May the body and mind have radiance and power in the end of a long life health. The compassion of the gurus and three jewels by the power of the Dakini is our protectors and guardians. The power of the truth and the infallibility of karma is its results. May all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sat in the mind of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions. This is the harms of our spirits and this is the fruit that has not occur in the realms of the world. Whatever suffering there are, my threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, Separate the body from the mind in an mere instant, but occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute chronic and other epidemic diseases. The mere sounds of whose name terrify beings, though they have been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the pain and oppression of the interferers. The 160 evil spirits that harm suddenly, 424 diseases, and so forth. May there ever suffering to are the disturbance of the four elements, deprived of the body and mind of every happiness, totally pacified. May the body and mind have radiance and power, may the now of long life, good health, and well being. The compassion of the birds and free jewels, for the power of the Dakini and the protectors and guardians, for the power of the truth and the availability of karma and its assaults, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. You know, the diseases that sat in the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions. This is the harm of the Brahma spirits and the Buddha that occur in the realms of the world. Whatever suffering there are from life threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. You know, the body beings be unharmed by acute chronic and other epidemic diseases. Mere sounds of whose name terrified beings. To the end of the place of the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all the body beings be unharmed by the end of the class of the terror. The end of the 60 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May all their sufferings are hard to do service of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness that is classified. May the body and mind of radiance and power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well being. For the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, for the power of the Dakinis, our protectors and guardians, for the power of the truth and infallibility of karma and its assaults, may all these medications and prayers be fulfilled. Now, the diseases that sat in the mind of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, which is the harms of Graha spirits and the the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. Whatever sufferings there are from the life lifting diseases that like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the mind from the body in an instant that occur in the realms of the world. May all the body beings be unharmed by acute chronic and epidemic diseases. The mere sound of the root being terrified being, but in the place inside the belt of the almond or of death. May all the body beings be unharmed by the end of the classes of interferers. The hundred sixty evil spirits that harm suddenly, all hundred twenty four diseases and so forth. Whatever sufferings there are due to the disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of very happiness, pacified, and may the body and mind of radiance and power be endowed in one life with health and well being. For the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, for the power of the dakinis and our protectors and guardians, for the power of the truth and infallibility of our and its assaults, may all the dedication and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sat in the mind of sinning beings that result from karma and temporary conditions. The harm of the grass, fear, and illnesses, and the Buddha does not occur in the realms of the world. And whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases, that, like the consumption of getting an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind and the mirrors, did not occur in the realms of the world. The only body beings be unharmed by the acute chronic and other epidemic diseases. The mere sound of his name terrified beings, as though it was placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. The only body beings be unharmed by the evil of the classes and the mirrors. The hundred and sixty evil spirits that harm suddenly, four hundred and twenty-four diseases, and so forth. Whatever sufferings there are, there are the the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, totally pacified. The body and mind of every power and the endowment of long life to help all be. And the compassion of the goods and free jewels, by the power of the Dakinis and protectors and guardians, and the power of the truth and the fallibility of the themselves, and all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled.
In all the diseases that sudden the mind of sending beings is that a result from our contemporary conditions. The harm to God's spirits, illnesses, the Buddha is not occur in the realm of the world. Whatever sufferings there are from life hurting diseases that they can put an Indian animal to be slaughtered. So when the body from the mind in a mere instant not occur in the realms of the world. The only body beings be unharmed by acute chronic and other metabolic diseases. Mere sounds of whose name terrify beings, so they've been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. The all embodied beings be unharmed by the eight thousand classes of interference, 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, or 24 evil diseases, and so forth. Whatever sufferings there are to determine the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, totally pacified amid the body and the radiance of power, and being down in all night for health and well being. When the passion of the is free tools, so the power of the Dakini is more protected to guardians. From the power of the truth, the infallibility of karma is dissolved. The only medications and prayers be fulfilled. The only diseases that sat in the mind of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions. Since the harm to Brahma's spirit, the illnesses of Buddha has not occurred in the realms of the world. Whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal, will be slaughtered. Separate, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all the body beings be unharmed by acute chronic and neurodegenerative diseases, mere sounds of whose name terrify beings, as though they have been placed inside the mouth of Yama, Lord of Death. May all the body beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, mere 160 evil spirits that harm suddenly, 424 diseases, and so forth. Whatever the differences there are, sufferings there are, the determinants of the four elements, the private the body and mind, and every happiness, be totally pacified and made the body and mind of radiance and power, and be endowed with long life, good health, and well being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the Dakini and the Dharma protectors, by the power of the truth, the infallibility of comments and results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that sat in the mind of sentient beings that result from temporary conditions, from temporary conditions, the humble from the spirits, illnesses, and buddhas, that occur in the realms of the world. Whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other endemic diseases. The sound sounds, sounds of whose names terrify beings who have been placed inside the mouth of the Amal or of death. The all body beings be unharmed by the needless and classes of interferers, the fear of the evil spirits, and harm suddenly, 424 diseases, and so forth. Whenever the suffering through our disturbance of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, or the classified, the body and mind of radiance and power, and being now a long life, grow up and all being. The, the compassion of the gurus, the three jewels, for the power of the dakini and the number of protectors, and the power of the truth, for the infallibility of karma and the results, may all the dedications and prayers be fulfilled. Okay, one more time. Now all the diseases that sat in the mind of sentient beings, they result from karma and temporary conditions. Just the harm of the Braha spirits, illnesses, and the Buddha might occur in the realms of the world. For whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases, that like, like a bush of eating an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind and the mere instant not occur in the realms of the world. The all embodied beings be unharmed by the acute chronic and other epidemic diseases, the sounds of whose names terrify beings, as though they have been replaced in the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. The all embodied beings be unharmed by the thousand classes of interferers, 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever no, sufferings there are due to disturbances of different elements, driving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified, and the body and mind of innocent power be endowed with long life, good health, and well being. May the compassion of the gurus and free jewels, but the power of the dakinis of our protectors and guardians, but the power of the truth and infallibility of karma and assaults, may all those dedications and prayers be fulfilled. Okay, so now we will dedicate the merit. I want to say something briefly. Um, it's important when we pray not to hold too tightly to a particular desired result. Um, you might know from teachings on mind training, uh, it's suggested when we pray, we can pray, if it's best for me to be sick, may I be sick. If it's best for me to recover, then may I recover. Because as I said at the beginning, 
uh, our main prayer is not to be free of illness because that's not possible in samsara, but our main prayer is to be free of samsara. And sometimes uh, experiencing suffering, um, you know, although it's difficult, uh, can actually be beneficial and if it allows us to generate renunciation if we learn uh, and increase our understanding. And if we look at the situation in the world, it can seem very sad. His Holiness the Dalai Lama once said, you know, when we hear about sad news, it's always important to think about it from several different angles. You know, if we think about it only from one point of view, it might seem very sad. Um, but we need to think in two, two dimensions instead, or three dimensions, four, five, six dimensions. Then from that perspective, what might be seen as an obstacle or as a problem, you know, can actually, in the lo long run, or from a broader perspective, we can see, uh, you know, how it is actually beneficial. Um, but that being said, you know, we do the best we can when we pray uh, to offer our positive intention um, and whatever positive, um, you know, motivation we have. Um, and with the blessing of the prayer, we offer that and it may be beneficial in whatever way uh, it can be for all the people who are suffering. So let's just take a moment to dedicate them. So I think we're out of time. I want to overlap with the next people. So thank you very much. Hello. Good. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm slightly delayed. Let me just help to do that. Oh, time flies. Good evening, let's have a look who's with us this evening. Jin, you see, hello, Jin. Hello, Chenrezi Institute. Hello, Christine. Hi, Rina. Uh, hello. Thank you very much for, for joining uh, this session. Thank you very much for supporting all the wonderful uh, Sangha before me and the ones that are still following. Thank you for everyone who's joining us online on YouTube. Uh, again, I just wanted to, <clears throat> in case you try to, to uh, follow us last week, we had a small technical glitch, as you probably gathered. And we were temporarily um, off air on YouTube. So, uh, but there you go. It's just one of those things uh, in our life, uh, one of life's challenges. Uh, but we're back, and that's that's an important bit. And uh, so, yeah, thank you very much for all your patience and support and your kind words. And uh, just take a, a moment to um, to just uh, bring the focus back in, particularly as I just sort of rush to the mic. I should have been here a bit earlier. So if we're thinking about our motivation for being here this evening or morning or afternoon, depending on where you are in this world. What's your reason for being here? I know for some of you, it's to be, yeah, uh, it's, it's being part of following Rinpoche's advice to say these prayers for the benefit of mother sending beings to these pan, uh, times of the COVID pandemic, but not just exclusively the pandemic, but for all sources of suffering that we may support all sending beings. Some of you may have experienced uh, the effects of COVID uh, yourselves, uh, either being sick, having seen family members and friends be sick, maybe passed away, suffering maybe long-term consequences of ill health, maybe have been affected by the socioeconomic impact of, of the pandemic with its lockdowns. You may be here because it's also a nice way of coming together to practice together. Um, for the benefit of mother sentient beings. You may be here because you just uh, stumbled across this, this channel for the very first time and you trying to work out what this is about. So we're here to uh, say prayers to benefit mother sentient beings through these difficult times of the pandemic and to minimize and reverse the impact of, of COVID. 
And you don't have to be Buddhist to join us in these sessions. You just have to have a, an open, compassionate heart for all sentient beings who experience suffering. And you're invited to even take part in the meditations and the prayers and where we do our visualizations from a Buddhist point of view, you're welcome to visualize the deities you most closely associate with love and compassion. And those of you who feel uncomfortable with uh, visualizing deities or engaging with deities of any, any description, uh, just visualize a clear light uh, that is filled with love and compassion for all mother sending beings. And in a way, we already summarized many of the reasons why we could be here. But as many of you know, who've listened to me before, I do like to start with four verses from the King of Prayers. Again, to set out, to outline our reasons for being here, to benefit others, to ease suffering. Again, coming together as a community, not just the community of ordained um, Sangha, but also as a community of individual beings who have the same aim and uh, aspirations to benefit others. And we acknowledge our precious um, teachers and, uh, and anyone who really gives us the inspiration to, to try and make a difference in this world. And then, of course, long term that we ease the suffering and eradicate suffering wherever possible so that others may experience the happiness that is free from suffering. So the setting of uh, universal compassion or bodhicitta. May is the suffering in the lower realms and in the many directions and dimensions of the universe. May I guide all wonders and samsara to the pure bliss of awakening and be of worldly benefit to them as well. May I always have the friendship of those whose path is like mine and with body, words and also mind, may we practice together the same aspirations and activities. May I always meet a spiritual mentor and never displease that excellent friend who deeply wishes to help me and expertly teaches the Bodhisattva way. Limitless is the end of space. Likewise, limitless are living beings. Thus, limitless are karma and afflictions. May my aspirations reach be limitless as well. And in the light of people or beings who inspire us, we don't always have to just look at our own traditions. We can look across the board, all the, the universal big characters who really make an impact, who leave a mark uh, for the benefit of the sentient beings. So we recently uh, had the passing of um, uh, Desmond Tutu, one of his holiness's close friends. And sadly, we uh, uh, really learned today about the passing of uh, Thich Nhat Hanh, uh, the great ma Vietnamese master, and why he may have taught in a different tradition. He has been influential to many Buddhists and non-Buddhists alike in his, um, in his, in his approach to spread harmony and peace and mindfulness. And many of us probably will find a quote that we either have seen on social media and we do like particular, maybe from one of some of his books, maybe some from, uh, from his, uh, his chants. And there are two Real big things I, I, I feel very inspired by uh, something uh, Tish and Ha said. 
One is in the great bell chant. May the sign of this bell, you know, reach sentient beings, you know, the furthest corners of the universe. So basically to, to bring out, you know, when we speak our voice, let our voices be like the bells as well. Reach out, let the, let the love and compassion reach beings to end suffering. That I found very, very inspiring. But also in the bell chant, it says at the end, um, in the garden of my heart, the flowers of peace bloom beautifully. And I find that very, very uh, 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 inspiring, that little phrase. It's, our heart is like a garden, we need to nurture it. If we want peace, we need to sow peace. We need to sow peace within ourselves to bring compassion and love. And if we're at peace, we're not seen as a threat. If we're not seen as a threat, we can reach out. And if we're at peace with ourselves, it doesn't matter what the, what the storm weather's outside, if we can keep calm within. On his passing, many will, will be filled with sadness, and many would also be filled with sadness who has lost loved ones. And Titchen had a wonderful way of explaining, uh, you know, the cycle of death and rebirth. And I remember him, uh, I remember a little clip of a young girl asking uh, Master Tai, and he, she said, you know, my doggy just died, you know, what can I do to not be so sad? And he brought the example of the cloud, that when we look at the cloud in, in the sky, we think our oh, wonderful cloud, and as it disperses and it disappears, we think the cloud is gone. But that the cloud has taken on a different form as rain, as snow, has it fallen to earth, you know, gone into the rivers, gone into the ocean, be reborn, you know, through evaporation, this continuous cycle taking on different forms and shapes, but continuing to be there. And I thought that was so beautifully put to that young girl. And uh, it is also so simplistically true in many ways when we think, you know, what, what is there? You know, is there a beginning? Is there an end? Was it the cloud first? Was it the river first? It's a continuous cycle. So, and uh, yeah, he will be missed from, uh, you know, from being amongst us. May have a fortunate rebirth. And I'm sure that given um, his, uh, his deep, deep knowledge and wisdom that he has accumulated, um, we will hopefully, you know, have him back amongst us in one way or another uh, to continue sharing that wisdom with us. And in the meantime, we will think about all his uh, students and followers and everyone uh, whose heart he's touched. Uh, may they all be filled with love and, um, and uh, happiness. May that be returned. And um, yeah, thank you very much, Master Tai, for all your teachings. So <clears throat> we take then a moment to visualize our guru in the aspect of Chenrezig, the Buddha of compassion. And again, it's compassion that we need. The world needs much more compassion right now. When you think about the, uh, the tensions with Russia right now, tensions that come sort of from you know, other countries who wish to sort of forcefully expand by whatever means. Disharmony that's being caused by misinformation on many levels, bringing mistrust or trying to sow mistrust. And sometimes, you know, makes you think about the old saying, divide and conquer. Divide society and you can, you can run roughshod over it. But we all have a part to play, to protect the peace, to bring peace and harmony. And when we see those who wish to, to, uh, to sow disharmony and those who wish to, uh, to, uh, to engage in, in war and violence, we must also compassionate, we must be compassionate towards these beings as well. As hard as it sometimes may seem for us to achieve, 
what's what's being achieved by hiding these beings that would just be val just a validation uh, in their eyes you know see there's an opponent there's an enemy we need to we need to do worse but what we should see is the suffering that creates these actions these desires for power for the need of attachment to 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 um, self elevation the need to to keep people oppressed if you're comfortable with yourself why do you need to oppress people why do you need to oppress beings why do you need to make them suffer if you're really comfortable these actions are born out of a degree of insecurity wrong views fear so we need to be compassionate their actions are their karma. Our actions are our karma. So let us be the ones who sow so peace. Peace for ourselves and peace for others. Let us be the bearers of hope and love to make sure that the balance of harmony is tipped in our favor so that all sentient beings can benefit in the long run. If you visualize um, light emanating, from the Guru's body in all 10 directions across the six realms and to the furthest corners of the universe. And each light beam finding one of the infinite number of mother sentient beings, wherever they are, it may be right next to us, it may be right at the other side of the universe, the furthest, furthest corners. But the loving purifying light of the Buddha finds them nonetheless and fills them with love and compassion and purifying light nectar, cleansing away all negative karma and delusions, atom by atom and between those atoms, washing away all the samsaric dirt, scrubbing away all these residual stains, cleansing away all these nasty tastes and smells. And clearing away all the, the, uh, the crustiness of our eyes so that we can see clearly again, lifting the weight so that we can stand tall again, feel fresh again. We're just rejoicing and being freed from all that negativity, allowing us to not just get along, struggle along, but also to appreciate the happiness that we all have missed. And as we look around, we can see our mother sending beings feeling exactly the same irrespective of their appearance. No being wants to suffer. No being wants to be thought about negatively, spoken to or about negative, negatively, treated negatively. We recognize it through the actions of our body, speech, and mind that we have contributed to the suffering of others. The way we thought about them, where we made prejudgments, wrong views, where we treated them and spoke about them in a way that was disrespectful and inaccurate. Because of out of our own fears, out of our ignorance, and our own insecurities.
And maybe sometimes we thought we can just say something that's funny. And to us, it may have been a harmless joke. But even though words can hurt, they can cause pain, especially when the joke was not, not, under, not understood or was well misplaced. And for that, we also take responsibility. If we wish to transform, to benefit all mother sending beings to the best of our ability, here right now, until we reach enlightenment, when we can be of maximum benefit to all mother sending beings effortlessly all the time. So we ask mother sending beings for forgiveness of our actions of body, speech, and mind of time gone by and make the pledge to be of benefit to them. And in return, we will benefit ourselves. So planting the seeds of compassionate heart, a peaceful heart, and that we too, may a flowers of peace bloom beautifully in the garden of our hearts. With that in mind, we now recite the uh, um, motivation and refuge. Let's recite these uh, these verses again. Think about your voice being like the sound of a bell that carries on to reach all sentient beings wherever they are, so that they may follow the sound of your voice to liberation and peace and harmony so that we all can share in a better world and ultimately share the path to enlightenment. All sending beings, my mothers who in fed like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yudams, and Akinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our minds, the Dharma Kaya. All sentient beings, my mothers who infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yadams, and Akinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our minds, the Dharma Kaya. All sentient beings, my mothers who ain't fed like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yudams, and Akinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our minds, the Dharma Kaya. Having taken refuge in the Guru and invited mother sentient beings to do the same, the Guru is pleased that so many have answered the call. And the Guru smiles, and as the Guru smiles, we can feel the purifying light that intensifying, revealing more and more of our true nature, our Buddha nature, as more and more crimes destroyed and removed. And we begin to glow atom by atom, so much so that our bodies fill with purifying light, and we exchange light back to the Guru and to mother sentient beings, who likewise exchange themselves with the Guru and one another. We all become one with the Guru, we become one with one another. We become one source of love and compassion for all mother sentient beings. And like a bright beacon, we shine brightly for those who are still lost in the darkness so that they can find their way out to liberation. And like a searchlight, we seek those who aimlessly are still wandering in that darkness so that we ourselves may fulfill the bodhicitta of ours to enter the darkness, to lead them out into the light and liberation. And 
before we recite the the Mani mantras, we uh, we're going to overlap the Mani mantras with the uh, praises of the Sublime Chinwizi to remind us of the nature of the six realms, the causes of entering these six realms, so that we can ourselves reflect on the accurate behavior, the correct behavior to avoid these realms and to, um, to keep, you know, at least in the human realm, to be of maximum benefit, to, to um, find uh, enlightenment through the path here so that we cannot guide others uh, to enlightenment as well. So now we're about to recite the Mani Mantra as well. Let's remember that Om represents body, speech, and mind in its defiled form, the one that we have been used to for so many lifetimes, with all its flaws and, um, and quirks. But we wish to transform, we wish to benefit. So we need to acquire the holy aspect of body, speech, and mind of the gurus and buddhas. In order to do that, we need to acquire wisdom and compassion, mani and patna, and combine the transfer into the holy aspect of om, of body, speech, and mind of the gurus. So what we're going to do is we're reciting, we're opening up with the uh, praises to the sublime chinrezi, and then we recite one mala each uh, for each of the realms. And keep on visualizing how you exchange yourself with the Guru and all mother sending beings with true love and compassion so that they too may be liberated. I pray to you, Lama Chinrezi. I pray to you, Yidam Chinrezi. I pray to you, Most Sublime Chinrezi. I pray to you, Great Refuge and Protector Chinrezi. To you, I pray, Loving Protector Chinrezi. Please hold us with your compassion, compassionate Buddha. For all beings who have been wandering countless numbers of times in endless samsara, and who endure unbearable torments, there is no other refuge than you, great protector. Through the power of bad actions accumulated since beginningless time under the influence of hatred, one is born in the hells. May all beings who endure the tortures of heat and cold be reborn in your presence, great symbol of perfection. Oh, money, bed me, 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 oh, Oh, my little man, little man, little man, little man, little man, Money paid me more money, paid me more money, paid me. Through the power of bad actions accumulated since beginningless time under the influence of avarice, one is born in the realm of craving spirits. May all beings who endure the tortures of starvation and thirst be reborn in your presence in the perfect pure land of the Potala. Money bed me home, 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 money Oh, 
Oh, my bedroom, my bedroom, my bedroom. Oh, my bedroom, my bedroom, my bedroom, my bedroom. Oh, my bedroom, my bedroom, my bedroom, my bedroom, my bedroom. Oh, money pet me, oh, money pet me, oh, money pet me. Through the power of bad actions accumulated since beginningless time under the influence of ignorance, one is born as an animal. May all beings afflicted by the suffering of stupidity and dullness be reborn in your presence, O protector. Oh, money pet me, 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 oh, money pet me. No money pet me, no money pet me, no money pet me, no money pet me. No money pet me, no money pet me, no money pet me. No money pet me, no money pet me, no money pet me, no money pet me, no money pet me. No money pet me, no money pet me. Oh, money pet me, oh, money pet me, oh, money pet me. Through the power of bad actions accumulated since beginningless time, under the influence of desire, one is born in the realm of men. May all beings who endure the pains due to excessive activity and constant frustration be reborn in the perfect pure land of devotion. Oh, money pet me, home or 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 money pet me. Money pet me, home money pet me, home money pet me, home money pet me. Through the power of bad actions accumulated since beginningless time under the influence of jealousy. One is born in the realm of jealous demigods. May all beings who endure the pains of fighting and quarreling be reborn in the pure land of the Potala. Oh, money pet me, 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 oh, money pet me. No money with me, 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 no Oh, money pet me, oh, money pet me, oh, money pet me, oh, money pet me. Through the power of bad actions accumulated since beginningless time, under the influence of pride, one is born in the balm of the gods. May all beings who undergo the suffering of transmigration and fall be reborn in the pure land of the Potala. Money pet me, home, money pet me, home, money pet me, home, money pet me, home, money pet me.
No money paid me home, no money paid me home, no money paid me home. Throughout all my existence, may I, by deeds like those of Chinrezi, all celebrate play, uh, beings in impure places, and spread the supreme sound of the sixable mantra, Omani Pet Me Hum, throughout the ten directions. By the power of thus praying to you, most sublime one, may all beings I will have to train, pay the greatest of attention to karma, strive to act virtuously, and practice the Dharma for the sake of all beings. So having acknowledged our faults of past lifetimes through the actions of body, speech, and mind, having made the pledge to from now on engage in wholesome actions to the best of our ability, subject of course to um, our training and understanding and our awareness, uh, we will now really do what we can to be of benefit to others even if it's just like smiling at someone, opening a door, offering somebody a seat. And where we can't help, at least let's not do any harm. And as we progress, we will still maybe have some stumbling blocks because we're so conditioned to act a certain way from all these people beginning this lifetimes. We don't see them as, an, as a reason to quit. Instead, we look out for anything we now do that we that we can see to be less beneficial than we could be and we use that as an acknowledgement to improve until we reach the full enlightened level where we can be you know perfect in any way as Mary Poppins would say but keep on trying don't give up don't give up on yourself don't give up on your own welfare and on your own happiness. And don't give up on other beings. Okay, so we are, um, how are we time wise? Let's have a quick look, 36. We have time to include um, some uh, extra prayer. So if we uh, recite the Tara mantra, as recommended by His Holiness, uh, the 14th Dalai Lama, as part of these, uh, um, to, to overcome the obstacles within um, uh, within our practice, also the obstacles, you know, to find a solution to this pandemic and other sources of suffering. So may we dedicate um, these uh, these mantras, uh, recitations to the long life of so as the 14th Dalai Lama, maybe with us for a long, long time, and this in our future lifetimes may be guided by his wisdom and compassion. But obviously also may Tara remove any obstacles that arise for all those who are sick to be restored to good health. May uh, cures be found for all those diseases and epidemics. May all those who are entering the body, who have entered the body, who have swift transitions and favor rebirth. May all those experience hardships uh, have the obstacles removed so that they may receive whatever resources are necessary for them to overcome uh, these hardships and uh, be restored to a place of happiness that is free from suffering so that they may take care of themselves, their friends, family, their community and all mother sentient beings at large. So if we uh, visualize uh, Mother Tara in the space in front of us, emerald green in color and light radiating from Tara's body in all 10 directions and again each light being finding one of the infinite number of mother sentient beings each being having their own set of obstacles 
uh, in many ways. Maybe also think about having the obstacles removed for ourselves so that we have a, a, a pure practice, a good practice, uh, um, and that all oh, our, our dedications and prayers, um, you know, uh, can fall on fertile ground and, and bring about the difference and the changes that are necessary to help on ascending beings. So I'm a green color, light radiates out from, from uh, Mother Tara. And uh, if we remind ourselves that Om again represents the holy body, speech and mind of Tara herself. Uh, Tara liberates us from samsara. To Tara uh, liberates us from the eight fears of ignorance, hatred, attachment, pride, jealousy, wrong view, doubt and miserliness. If you think about that list, when we went through the uh, praises to the Splunch and Rezi, many of those terms came up. Yeah, the gateways to, to the lower realms. So, um, you know, may, may the, all that be removed. May we all be freed from these so that we can, you know, keep the, the doors to enlightenment open for ourselves and others. And two liberates us from diseases and illnesses, both physical and mental. So we do a wonderful uh, mana of Tara Mantra. Uh, the first few out loud and then the rest on breath. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Suha 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 um Dar tu tar tu so Dar Um tare tu tare tu re so um tare tu tare tu re so so if you visualize that all the obstacles have been removed um, from our practice and from other sentient beings. So basically prepare the space. First, we prepared ourselves by, uh, by purifying uh, through acknowledging our faults, uh, making the pledge, taking refuge, and uh, reciting money mantras while exchanging ourselves with the guru and other sending beings. So we now prepared the, the space. Now we call upon the, uh, the guardians to join the team again to, uh, for um, virtual armor so that we have a protective layer uh, put around us and all mother sentient beings so that may be um, unaffected by the outside forces, but also from our end that we uh, do not pass on any contagions because we haven't maybe purified enough. So it's, if you think about it like a surgical gown, where it protects the surgeon from anything that may come from the patient, but likewise not cross-contaminating the patient from anything from the surgeon. So it, it, it's really, you know, beautiful thing to think about it that way. So for Vajra armor, we uh, visualize a dark blue Vajra Panya with his two feet stretched out. And he holds a Vajra on his right hand and his neck does so on the left. His body is ablaze with transcendental wisdom fire. 
And from his body, I admitted fire, garudas, iron, scorpions, black pigs, wind, fire, noxious vapors of poisonous gases, which like violent winds and hailstorm destroy all disease, epidemics, spirit harms, and interferers. So again, here with the interferers, we need to be careful. We do not wish to destroy beings, um, you know, unnecessarily. What is unnecessarily? I mean. You know, ideally, we don't want to destroy any being because uh, the actions are dictated by the programming. What we wish to destroy is the the root seeds, are the root seeds for the motivation to act a certain way. And if they're programmed to, to create harm because of the, the karma, uh, then what we wish for them is to break out of that cycle so that they can engage in wholesome actions that benefit them by creating positive karma and therefore finding a way to liberation. So I recite the Vajra Arma Mantra seven times. Um Vajra Pedum Padmaswari Pene Vajene Ganan Taita Savarita Hana Hana Vajna Raksha Raksha Su Um Vajra Pedum Padmaswari Pene Vajene Ganan Taita Savarita Hana Hana Vajna Raksha Raksha Su Um Vajra Pedum Padmaswari Pene Vajene Ganan Taita Savarita Hana Hana Vajna Raksha Raksha Su Um Vajra Pedum Padmaswari Pene Vajene Ganan Taita Savarita Hana Hana Vajna Raksha Raksha Su Om vaja pet um pat maswari pet ne vaja ne ganang tai ta savari ta hana hana vaja na vaksha vaksha su om vaja pet um pat maswari pet ne vaja ne ganang tai ta savari ta hana hana vaja na vaksha vaksha su om vaja pet um pat maswari pet ne vaja ne ganang tai ta savari ta hana hana vaja na vaksha vaksha su so what we can do also we can um, blow up uh, blow into our hand so if we put the hand over our nose and then inhale uh, so we are also protecting our insides. And uh, we could also blow all of our drink or, or gently over drink and food of those who are sick that they may be protected. But again, obviously with uh, COVID restrictions, you know, be careful that you sort of don't uh, cough or splatter too much over somebody's food, even if it's a goodwill, you know, don't think it would be appreciated if you sort of suddenly, you know, end up spitting in their food. So just, you know, gently, gently does it. So we now call upon Black Manjushri to join the team. So if you visualize a wrestler looking uh, on Jushri, uh, and um, and his, um, uh, uh, yeah, I got uh, three eyes. And in his two hands, he holds a scripture in the left hand and a sword in the right. And uh, he's adorned with precious bone ornaments. And he stands in the midst of a massive fire and flames of clear light emanate from his heart pervading inside and outside of our bodies and the bodies of all mother sentient beings, purifying away all negative karma, obstructions, sicknesses, spirits. And again, think about what we just said before about the interference. Same applies to those spirits. May they also be liberated and freed and all dangers and burning away all black magic, curses, and so forth. So we recite the mantra seven times. Um tat chu chu su du tu su du mi su ningo la chu ka la cha kam shantam be pe su ha um tat chu chu su du tu su du mi su ningo la chu ka la cha kam shantam be pe su ha um tat chu chu su du tu su du mi su ningo la chu ka la cha kam shantam be pe su ha um tat chu chu su du tu su du mi su ningo la chu ka la cha kam shantam be pe su ha chu chu su du tu su du mi su ningo la chu ka la cha kam shantam be pe su ha um tat chu chu su du tu su du mi su ningo la chu ka la cha kam shantam be pe su ha um tat chu chu su du tu su du mi su ningo la Chakala chakam shantam be pesu ha om tam chu chu su du tu su du mi su ningo la chakala chakam shantam be pesu ha. Okay, so having now fully prepared ourselves, maybe we now recite the the main prayer of Tang Tong Yao Bu. We have. Uh, let's do three. I'm just looking at the clock, so we uh, make six. Should be okay with six. Let's do six recitations. If you have a chance, we might do seventh one. So we do six recitations. Why we want to do six? Because we spoke earlier about the six uh, six realms and some beings across the six realms. So if you had more time, we could maybe do three recitations per realm. Uh, you know, again, when you pick, when you when you recite, make sure you you put your 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 reasoning behind a certain number. So in this case six recitations for the time that we have, one for each realm. If we have more time, we could do three, one for body, speech, and mind. 
the suffering of those uh, segments. If you haven't got the time, then do one prayer, you know, but really with the fullest of love and compassion for all mother sending beings across the six realms. If you have a bit more time, you can do through, uh, through three, you know, across for body, speech, and mind for all sending beings. So rather than trying to get numbers up, for the sake of getting the numbers up, make sure you know why you want a certain number. It makes you connect uh, to these prayers and it also makes you connect to the practice and other sentient beings. So I always again do it from a compassionate point of view. Okay. May all the disease that send the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions such as arms of grass, pits, illness, and the Buddhas not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases, the lack of butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind and means not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unknown, by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases. May a son of whose name is ever beings, as though they have been placed inside the mouth of Yam or the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unknown, by the 80,000 classes of interference, the 360 evil spirits that I'm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body mind of every happiness, be totally pacified. And may the body mind of radiance and power be endowed with long life, good health, and well being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the dakinis, dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the disease that's in the minds of sentient beings that result from calm and temporary conditions, such as sounds of grass, pits, illness, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases, are like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind and means not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases. May a sign of whose name is death are beings as though they have been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interference, the 360 evil spirits. I'm sorry, 424 diseases and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body and mind of radiance and power be dark with long life, good health and well being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the disease that's had in the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the hounds of grass, pits, illness, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases, so like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind and means not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases. May sound of whose names there are beings as though they have been placed inside the mouth of Yah, Mother Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interference, the 360 evil spirits that I'm sudden, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness, be totally pacified. May the body and mind of radiance and power be endowed with long life, good health, and well being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. May all the disease that's had in the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the arms of grass, pits, illness, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases, the lack of butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind and means not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases. The sound of whose names death are beings as though they have been placed inside the mouth of Yam or the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interference, the 360 evil spirits that I'm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements deprive the body mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body mind of radiance and power be dealt with long life, good health, and well being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the dakinis, dharma protectors, and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. 
May all the diseases that turn the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions, such as the hearts of grass pits, others, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind and means not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases. In the sign of whose names there are beings as though they have been placed inside the mother of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interviews, the 306 evil spirits that I'm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements deprive the body mind of every happiness be totally pacified. May the body mind of radiance and power be dealt with long life, good health, and well being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the Takis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. So we recite the prayer one more time. We have recited individually, really, six, six prayers for each of the one for each realm. So still thinking of, you know that realm, that realm, that realm. So now we do one collective prayer for all beings. Visualize them now all as one, uh, as one big family, irrespective of who or what they are, what appearance they have, what suffering they go through. We just acknowledge that all beings are suffering and we wish them all to be freed from that suffering. May the sick be restored to good health. May those who have entered the body, uh, have entered the body already be reborn under favorable conditions. And may all those experience Experience hardships, give whatever resources necessary to overcome these hardships and achieve a state of happiness that is free from all suffering and may we be the cause for them to achieve all this. May all the disease that's in the minds of sentient beings that result from harm, sorry. May all the disease that's in the minds of sentient beings that result from karma and temporary conditions such as the arms of grass pits, illness and the Buddhas not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases that like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind and means not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic and other epidemic diseases. The mere sound of whose names terrify beings as though they have been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that I'm suddenly, the 424 diseases and so forth. You may whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements deprive the body mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body mind of radiance and power be endowed with long life, good health and well-being and by the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels. By the power of the Dakinis, Dharma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. I really visualize how, uh, through your compassion and the power of this prayer, the root causes for all suffering. Are being destroyed at seed uh, seed level so that they do not rise give rise again and uh, we started the seeds uh, to stop the regrowth and then we can deal with the uh, with the more obvious uh, matter that is around uh, you know like you know like you do a garden when you turn the hatches back you know if you want to get rid of the hedge you don't just clip its leaves you start at the roots you're trying to get them out and stop it from regrowing and the same is here Okay, where are we? Four minutes. Okay, okay. Let's uh, um, see our dedications. May we dedicate um, to the long life and well being of our mother sentient beings. May they be free from suffering and its causes. May they achieve enlightenment and um, meet, the, uh, meet, meet the Dharma, achieve enlightenment as quickly as possible. May we the cause them to achieve others. May we dedicate to the long life and well being of all the precious Sangha, not just our own tradition, but all traditions around the world for preserving the Dharma and uh, making sure that uh, the teachings uh, are accessible um, through translations and teachings being given and for all the wonderful Sangha engaging in studies to ensure uh, that these teachings may continue. May the all of long and healthy lives never be separated from the Dharma and virtuous friends. May we dedicate to the long life and well-being of the wonderful lay community who through their kind actions, given their support, um, um, through encouragement, time, um, expertise, and financial support to make sure that Dharma centers and monasteries can continue to flourish 
and the teachings being preserved. May they never be separated from the Dharma and the community and virtuous friends, and may they achieve enlightenment as quickly as possible. May we dedicate to the long life and well being of all our precious gurus, who, if they haven't done so already, may achieve enlightenment as quickly as possible. May we continue to be guided uh, by the kindness and compassion this in all future lifetimes, and may all the holy wishes be swiftly fulfilled. May we particularly dedicate to the long life and well being of His Holiness, the 14th Dalai Lama, great beacon of love and compassion for all of us. How fortunate we are to be here in human form to be able to listen to and access his teachings and be guided by his wisdom. May we continue to do so in this in all future lifetimes. May all his holy wishes be swiftly fulfilled and may we see him be reunited with his people in Tibet in this lifetime. May we also dedicate to the long life and well-being of Lama Zorba Rinpoche, who tasks us with his wonderful prayers to be of benefit to mother sentient beings and by doing so engaged us in deeper practices and brought the community of the IMI Sangha globally much closer together as a community but also make sure that we as a community engage in a wider community with everyone who's kind enough to follow us online uh, on Zoom and YouTube as a recording our life. May all his holy wishes be swiftly fulfilled. May we continue to be guided by his wisdom and compassion in this in all future lifetimes. Due to the matter of these virtuous actions, may I quickly attain the state of Guru, Buddha, and lead all living beings without exceptions into the enlightened state. May the supreme jewel of Bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow. May that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. Due to all the matter of these virtuous actions, uh, sorry, due to the matter of the three times collected by me, the numbers Buddhas and the numbers sending beings, may all war, sickness, famine, torture, poverty, and economic problems in this world, and all dangers of earth, what if I went be pacified immediately and may perfect peace and happiness prevail in one's hearts and lives. May the Buddha Dharma last for a long time and may the sentient beings in this world meet the Buddha Dharma and achieve enlightenment as quickly as possible. To do all the past, present, and future merits collected by me and all the merits of the three times collected by the numberless Buddhas and numberless sentient beings, which are completely empty of existing from their own side. May I, who am completely empty of existing from my own side, achieve that state of full enlightenment, which is completely empty of existing from its own side, and lead all sentient beings who are completely empty of existing from their own side to that state, which is completely empty of existing from its own side, by myself alone, who is completely empty of existing from my own side. Long life prayers for soldiers, the Lama Zupa. Gangri rawe ke we shingam di penal de wa malu jungwe ni chen re si kwan den ding gya tsu yi sha pe si te pa du ten kyu hu chi. Nama so pam tu tsu shang jing yam gyan gya we ten jing gyan pe we kun zu du po tse chuk sun ke we lek mun tu tu. Padak sok to Hulje Gundu Shop Ten Shu. Thank you very much, everyone who joined me online. Thank you very much for being here on Zoom. Thank you very much, Invisi Institute, for all your wonderful support and keeping us on air. Thank you very much to all the wonderful Sangha before and those who are still following. And there is the Dharma Fiesta uh, group of, of all the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people. We've got here. Paloma, hello, Venerable Paloma. Lovely to see you. Venerable Fabio, lovely to see you. Hello, Begonia, brother, see you. hello you? Venerable Gonya. Have we got the Juans? There's one Juan. Hello, Juan. How are you? And um, yes. oh, one, 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 one. Kimf Kimfin is here as well. Thank you very much Tini, for joining us <laughs> hello, on, uh, on Zoom today. How are, how's everyone? Fine, thank you. And you? Thank you. Yes, not Hi. too bad. Not too bad. Back on track. <laughs> are you happy? You happy? Uh, are you? They are, the, are you in London? Uh, I'm, I'm at the moment back uh, in Eastbourne. I'm going back to Leeds tomorrow, oh. and uh, and then yeah, I'm full oh. program next week with Leeds as SPC, and uh, you know, so uh, it's, it's a lot going on, and uh, yes, I just had a few a few more items to pick from, up that year. Eastbourne, uh, Dancho, you are from Eastbourne. Oh, you Eastbourne. Leave, yeah. yeah, but I'm moving to, um, but I moved to Leeds last week and I'm just down here to pick more things up. Uh, because the director of our center, he's from Eastbourne. No. Yes, yes, yes. yes there yes. you go, Papa Sa Sunshine Coast man. <laughs> and, you know, Claire lives not too far from there. Yes. Oh, yeah. isn't, isn't that a small world? I was talking to... Uh, <laughs> Ben will Tenzin uh, Denison this morning and his brother, you know, lives outside Leeds. Yeah. <laughs> and you go like, pardon? You know, it is really, really, really such a small world. It's it's yes. amazing. Yes, it <laughs> anyway, I'm eating into your time. Lovely to see you yeah. all. Bye. All right. Yeah. Thank you for all you do. Nice to see you all. Thank Love you. Congratulations. Bye-bye, everyone.
thank you for your help. <laughs> thank you for your, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kumpen. Have a nice session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bueno, eh, oye, creo que estoy empezando a tener conexión inestable. Os quería pedir que apaguéis las cámaras porque eso ayuda a que sea más fuerte la, vale, la conexión. Vale. Haremos vale. de nuestra no... visión, por supuesto, pero en fin. <risa> <risa> Espero que aún así no, no falle, pero bueno, es que dicen que ayuda. ¿eh? Gracias por estar aquí, a los venerables, a Juan, a Begoña, a Paloma, a la gente que estáis en, en YouTube y también a los que supongo que os estáis conectando ahora desde México. A todos, pues nada, muy buenas tardes, de, si estáis allá en el otro lado del océano, muy buenas noches, si estáis aquí en Europa o en España. Y da igual donde estemos, lo importante es hacer la práctica, entonces, como cada sábado, en, nos, nos subimos, nos montamos a esa corriente de méritos y de energía positiva que desde esta mañana, bueno, desde esta madrugada se lleva haciendo. Ya sabéis que son 24 horas de recitación, que llevamos año y medio haciéndolo cada sábado sin faltar ni vosotros que estáis al otro lado ni nosotros, así es que es un motivo de enorme regocijo. Esta es una oportunidad única que nos brinda, bueno, pues en primer lugar las circunstancias ¿no? de la pandemia y luego la amabilidad de nuestro maestro la Maza Parrimpoche, que enseguida nos puso a, a, a que nos reuniéramos y a que recitáramos y a que rezáramos, que en el fondo es una manera de, de acumular méritos nosotros, entonces es un regalo el que se participe en esta sesión tanto como alguien que la lleva, como alguien que la escucha, alguien que la difunde, alguien que la hace en su casa, alguien que conecta con esta práctica, con esta pequeña oración, que es pequeñita pero es muy bonita y es muy poderosa, porque proviene del Mahasira Tantong Yalpo. Y en una ocasión, recuerdo que al principio, cuando Gese Tensin Sopa guió una de las, de las, de las sesiones, explicó el por qué las oraciones, aunque sean muy cortitas o muy concisas, si provienen de alguien muy realizado, tienen mucho poder. Y decía que es que eso proviene de la mente del Dharmakaya, de ese ser. Es decir, proviene de, de, de la pura realización, de la pura experiencia, de la pura cualidad que es esa mente, ¿no? de sabiduría y compasión. Entonces, repetir constantemente esta oración compuesta por un ser así, es como poner en marcha, o reactivar constantemente todas esas bendiciones, todo ese poder y todo ese mérito acumulado. ¿no? De ahí que el que recitemos en grupo esta oración, como nos pide Rinpoche, es una manera de que en grupo creemos las causas que contribuyan a purificar el karma que hacen que esta pandemia todavía esté activa ¿no? y sin visos de solucionarse de momento. Así es que... Sin más, podemos generar la motivación pensando en todo esto, pensando en los seres que sufren, pensando en todas las enfermedades, no solo la pandemia, sino todas las enfermedades, problemas, dificultades que los seres experimentan. Los seres de los seis reinos, por ejemplo, el monje que me ha antecedido, que me ha antecedido Venerable Dancho, ha hecho seis recitaciones, una para cada uno de los seis reinos de existencia. Entonces... Cada uno puede inspirarse en, en la estructura de la oración que más te guste, que más te llene. Nosotros ahora pensamos en los seres, los seres que nos rodean. Podemos visualizar a nuestra derecha, meditando igual que nosotros, a nuestro padre y a todos los varones de nuestra familia, abuelos, tíos, hermanos, primos, todos ellos en la misma actitud, meditando serenos, tranquilos, no importa si ya no están, no están lejos o hace mucho que no ves. Ahora los traes aquí, al lugar en el que tú estás y los colocas a ese lado, a la derecha. Y a tu izquierda, tu madre y todas las mujeres de tu familia, abuelas, tías, hermanas, en la misma actitud. <coughs> Detrás, si tú has a tus seres más queridos, más cercanos, aquellos con los que tienes más afinidad, compañeros, conocidos, hijos, nietos, pareja, 
animales, incluyes a tus mascotas, reconociendo en ellos a seres que también buscan ser felices, de acuerdo a su estructura mental, los animales y otros seres que no vemos también buscan ser felices. Ese es el impulso básico que mueve a todo ser. Eso es lo que hemos de recordar siempre. Y delante, cara a cara, frente a nosotros, situamos a esa persona que nos agita o que nos agitó en el pasado, que nos altera, que nos molesta, ya con la que estamos teniendo, hemos tenido problemas. También meditando, sereno, tranquilo, casi luminoso, buscando la felicidad, acierte o no en encontrarla. Y alrededor están todos los seres del universo. Hay tantos que tus ojos no alcanzan a ver el final. Los incontables seres de todos los reinos de existencia que componen el samsara. El reino de la forma, el reino sin forma, el reino del deseo con sus devas, asuras, humanos, pretas, animales de todas clases, seres de los infiernos. E incluimos a los seres del bardo. En particular aquellos que han entrado en él en los últimos 49 días. Y que están buscando desesperadamente tener un cuerpo nuevo. Sobre el que crear una nueva identidad con la que identificarse. Un nuevo yo con el que identificarse. Poniendo en movimiento de nuevo la rueda del Sansara. La rueda de los doce vínculos de la originación interdependiente. Y así constantemente. Por eso es urgente que pongamos fin a las causas del samsara en nuestra mente. Que son los oscurecimientos y el karma. Por eso es imprescindible que contemos con la ayuda de los seres que ya lo han conseguido de los tres raros y sublimes, de las tres joyas, de todos los gurus, de todos los budas, de todos los aria bodhisattvas, del supremo campo de méritos. A quien visualizamos en el espacio frente a nosotros en el aspecto de Chenresi. El que te sea más cómodo, más confortable. Cuatro brazos, dos brazos, mil, de pie, sentado, el que quieras. Pero sobre todo sintiendo que es indiferenciable de nuestros maestros. Que es uno con ellos. En especial de su, con su santidad el Dalai Lama. Que es el Buda Chenresi en este mundo. Lama Yese. Kyabje Lama Zopar Rinpoche. Todos tus maestros personales. En esencia son todo lo mismo. Chenresi. La Deidad. Que te mira y te sonríe. Mientras de su cuerpo surge una luz. Muy cálida, muy acogedora. Que te reconforta mucho a ti y a todos esos seres que te rodean. Teniendo todos la misma experiencia que tiene un niño pequeño en presencia de su padre o de su madre amoroso, amorosa. Te abandonas a esa experiencia con total confianza y fe en el Guru, Deidad, en Chenresi, que es tu maestro, que es uno con tu maestro. Meditamos así con fuerza unos momentos, transformando nuestra mente en la devoción al Guru, que es la base de todo el camino. Y pensando así tomamos refugio en nuestro nombre y en el de todos los seres que nos rodean. Como si los guiáramos en la oración, como si los estuviéramos llevando directamente a la iluminación. Todos los seres vastos como el espacio y yo mismo, desde ahora hasta que alcancemos la esencia de la budidad suprema. Buscamos refugio en los maestros puros y gloriosos, buscamos refugio en los victoriosos budas perfectos. 
Buscamos refugio en el Dharma puro, buscamos refugio en la sangre superior. Todos los seres vastos como el espacio y yo mismo, desde ahora hasta que alcancemos la esencia de la Budidad Suprema, buscamos refugio en los maestros puros y gloriosos, buscamos refugio en los victoriosos Budas perfectos, buscamos refugio en el Dharma puro, buscamos refugio en la sangre superior. Todos los seres vastos como el espacio y yo mismo, desde ahora hasta que alcancemos la esencia de la Budidad Suprema, Buscamos refugio en los maestros puros y gloriosos, buscamos refugio en los victoriosos budas perfectos, buscamos refugio en el Dharma puro, buscamos refugio en la Sangha superior. Tomamos refugio en la asamblea de maestros espirituales, las deidades de meditación y las dakinis. Tomamos refugio en la claridad vacía de nuestra propia mente, el Dharma Kaya. Recitamos ahora el mantra Om Mani Pernahum, mientras visualizamos que del sagrado cuerpo de Chenresi en el espacio frente a nosotros... De cada uno de sus poros surge luz con la que inunda todo el universo. Ningún rincón del universo queda sin ser bendecido y tocado por esa luz. Que llena a todos los seres y a ti mismo, concediéndonos a cada uno lo que precisemos. Exactamente lo que necesitemos en este momento. Pero a todos nos concede la visión correcta de la realidad. La mente que conoce que las cosas carecen están libres de existir por sí mismas. Meditamos en que el sonido del mantra acrecienta esa experiencia en nuestra mente y en la de todos los seres. Mani pe me hum, o 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 mani pe me hum. O mani pene hum, 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 o mani pene hum. Empezamos con las recitaciones de, de la oración del Mahasira Tantón y Alpo y hoy invertimos el orden, si os parece, y si queréis dedicar, en dirigir la, la motivación, pues quizá, Venerable Juan, por favor, activa cámara y micrófono y, y dirige esa motivación para el propósito que quieras.
¿Ya está? Ya. No, sí. Buenas noches. Hola. Bueno, es motivaciones y dedicaciones a infinitas, pero sobre todo para que todos los seres alcancen la iluminación para que nuestras actividades, pensamientos y sobre todo actitudes, no solo palabras, se dediquen a, primero, a no dañar a ningún ser, dos, a crear causas para la iluminación de todos los seres. Gracias. Gracias a ti. Bien, pues pensando en lo que acaba de decir el Venerable, recitamos. Puedan todas las enfermedades que, que afligen la mente de los seres y son producto del karma y condiciones temporales, tales como el mal infligido por espíritus, las enfermedades y los elementos, no volver a aparecer en los reinos del mundo. Puedan todos los sufrimientos que provienen de enfermedades que amenazan la vida, como el carnicero llevando un animal al matadero, que separan el cuerpo del espíritu en un solo instante no volver a aparecer en los reinos del mundo. Puedan todos los seres encarnados no ser tocados más por enfermedades agudas, crónicas o infecciosas, cuyo solo nombre aterroriza a los seres como si los colocaran en la boca de llama el Señor de la Muerte. Puedan todos los seres encarnados no ser más afectados por los 84.000 seres que interfieren, por los 360 espíritus malignos que atormentan de repente, por las 424 enfermedades, etc. Puedan todos los sufrimientos provenientes de los desarreglos de los cuatro elementos que privan al cuerpo y mente de todo placer, pacificarse totalmente y pueda el cuerpo y la mente tener luz y fuerza, gozar de una larga vida, una buena salud y bienestar. Por la compasión de los maestros y de las tres joyas, el poder de las daquinis, los guardianes y protectores del Dharma y por la fuerza infalible del karma y de sus resultados, que puedan todas estas dedicaciones y plegarias ser atendidas desde el momento en que son pronunciadas. Humanidad, 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 O mani bene, o mani bene, o mani bene, o Venerable Paloma. Vale, pues para que podamos todos desarrollar un muy muy buen corazón y especialmente que tanto en esta como en todas nuestras vidas seamos guiados por maestros perfectos, podamos poner en práctica sus enseñanzas y poder eh, lograr rápidamente la iluminación para poder beneficiar a los seres y para que podamos tener, eh, crear las causas para volver a tener pronto enseñanzas presenciales con su anciana Dalai Lama, la Mazupa Rinpoche y con los diferentes maestros. Muchas gracias. Pues pensando en lo que acaba de decir la Venerable Paloma, recitamos y recordamos que es importante mirar la imagen de vez en cuando de, del Mahasira, como aconseja Rinpoche. Puedan todas las enfermedades que afligen la mente de los seres y son producto del karma y condiciones temporales, tales como el mal infligido por espíritus, las enfermedades y los elementos, no volver a aparecer en los reinos del mundo, que puedan todos los sufrimientos que provienen de enfermedades que amenazan la vida, como el carnicero llevando un animal al matadero, que separan el cuerpo del espíritu en un solo instante no volver a aparecer en los reinos del mundo. Puedan todos los seres encarnados no ser tocados más por enfermedades agudas, crónicas o infecciosas, cuyo solo nombre aterroriza a los seres como si los colocaran en la boca de llama el Señor de la Muerte. <coughs> puedan todos los seres encarnados no ser más afectados por los 84.000 seres que interfieren por los 360 espíritus malignos que atormentan de repente, por las 424 enfermedades, etc. Que puedan todos los sufrimientos provenientes de los desarreglos de los cuatro elementos que privan al cuerpo y mente de todo placer, 
pacificarse totalmente y pueda el cuerpo y la mente tener luz y fuerza, gozar de una larga vida, una buena salud y bienestar. Por la compasión de los maestros y de las tres joyas, el poder de las dakinis, los guardianes y protectores del Dharma y por la fuerza infalible del karma y de sus resultados, que puedan todas estas dedicaciones y plegarias ser atendidas desde el momento en que son pronunciadas. O mani bene o mani bene o mani bene o me da vergüenza. Sí, pues yo quiero dedicar para la terminación y el control de esta pandemia para que todos los enfermos que están en cuidados intensivos o delicados se recuperen, para que los contagios sean mínimos y pueda controlar esta enfermedad como si fuera una enfermedad más, más suave y más, más corriente. Y también para los conflictos que pueda haber o que siga habiendo, las tensiones que siga habiendo entre Ucrania y Rusia que no sé exactamente cómo está, pero bueno, era, era muy, muy, eh, daba mucho miedo, ¿no?, de cómo podía ponerse la situación, pues por todo eso. Está tenso, pero no va a pasar nada, ya verás. Espero, ¿eh? No pasa nada. Eh, vale, pues pensando en todo lo que ha dicho la Venerable Begoña, recitamos. Puedan todas las enfermedades que afligen la mente de los seres y son producto del karma y condiciones temporales, tales como el mal infligido por espíritus, las enfermedades y los elementos no volver a aparecer en los reinos del mundo, puedan todos los sufrimientos que provienen de enfermedades que amenazan la vida, como el carnicero llevando un animal al matadero que separa en el cuerpo y el espíritu en un solo instante no volver a aparecer en los reinos del mundo, puedan todos los seres encarnados no ser tocados más por enfermedades agudas, crónicas o infecciosas, cuyo solo nombre aterroriza a los seres como si los colocaran en la boca de llama el Señor de la Muerte, puedan todos los seres encarnados no ser más afectados por los 84.000 seres que interfieren, por los 360 espíritus malignos que atormentan de repente, por las 424 enfermedades, etc. Puedan todos los sufrimientos provenientes de los desarreglos de los cuatro elementos que privan al cuerpo y mente de todo placer, pacificarse totalmente y pueda el cuerpo y la mente tener luz y fuerza, gozar de una larga vida, una buena salud y bienestar. Por la compasión de los maestros y de las tres joyas, el poder de las Dakini, los guardianes y protectores del Dharma, y por la fuerza infalible del karma y de sus resultados, que puedan todas estas dedicaciones y plegarias ser atendidas desde el momento en que son pronunciadas. Y hacemos una última recitación de la oración, de manera especial por toda la Sangha, aquella que está enferma, que está en necesidad, como Venerable Nerea, Venerable Chesare, Venerable George Urinov y Venerable Chancho Punso, para que toda la Sangha eh, tenga todo aquello que necesite para hacer retiro, traducir, estudiar, para todo ello, que tenga todas las condiciones que se lo permitan hacer. Y muy en especial, eh, también recitamos para que los maestros que se nos han ido en el pasado y que se nos están yendo, recientemente el venerable Thich Nahan, vuelvan muy pronto y podamos seguir recibiendo sus preciosas enseñanzas y sobre todo que tengamos el mérito en tanto que discípulos que hace posible que el Guru permanezca muchos años. Pensando así, recitamos. Puedan todas las enfermedades que afligen la mente de los seres y son producto del karma y condiciones temporales, tales como el mal infligido por espíritus, las enfermedades y los elementos no volver a aparecer en los reinos del mundo, puedan todos los sufrimientos que provienen de enfermedades que amenazan la vida, como el carnicero llevando un animal al matadero que separa en el cuerpo del espíritu en un solo instante no volver a aparecer en los reinos del mundo, puedan todos los seres encarnados no ser tocados más por enfermedades agudas, crónicas o infecciosas, 
cuyo solo nombre aterroriza a los seres como si los colocaran en la boca de llama el señor de la muerte. Puedan todos los seres encarnados no ser más afectados por los 84.000 seres que interfieren, por los 360 espíritus malignos que atormentan de repente, por las 424 enfermedades, etc. Puedan todos los sufrimientos provenientes de los desarreglos de los cuatro elementos que privan al cuerpo y mente de todo placer, pacificarse totalmente y pueda el cuerpo y la mente tener luz y fuerza, gozar de una larga vida, una buena salud y bienestar. Por la compasión de los maestros y de las tres joyas, el poder de las dakinis, los guardianes y protectores del Dharma y por la fuerza infalible del karma y de sus resultados, que puedan todas estas dedicaciones y plegarias ser atendidas desde el momento en que son pronunciadas. Y tal y como acabamos de pedir, pedimos de, solicitamos de corazón y rogamos que los gurus permanezcan mucho tiempo hasta el fin del samsara, comenzando por su santidad el Dalai Lama. Y te Ende Maruba Gale Juve Sampe Legisino Cadri Gitsume Tensi Joya que concedes y colmas los deseos, fuente de todo beneficio y felicidad en este mundo. A ti de bondad incomparable, Tenzin Yacho, te suplico que tengas una larga vida y que todos tus sagrados deseos se cumplan espontáneamente. Pedimos lo mismo para la Mazopa Rinpoche, que pueda la vida de Rinpoche ser larga, firme, estable, que podamos ir muy pronto a sus enseñanzas de manera presencial. Ahata soto llegó tu Posees la ética del sabio y sostienes la doctrina del victorioso. Mayor seré protegiéndola y extendiéndola, actúa soportándolo todo con firmeza. Realizas con maestría oraciones magníficas que honran a las tres joyas. Eres mi protector y el de los demás discípulos. Ruego que tengas una larga vida. Y por último, hacemos las dedicaciones personales que quieras hacer. Piensa en tus propias necesidades, proyectos, dificultades, los de tus seres queridos y le dedicas todos estos méritos. En especial dedicamos por todos los fallecidos, enfermos, gente en dificultades. Nos acordamos especialmente de Esmeralda, de María José Reyes y de Ginés Fernández. Ye <tose> Muy bien, pues muchísimas gracias, venerables. Nos vemos el sábado que bye viene bye. con Venerable Paloma hasta la mañana. Muy si bien. El karma lo permite. <risa> thank you, thank you, Chelsea Institute. Gracias. Thank you. Hola, Tenda. Hola, Tenda. Hola, Tenda. Hola, Tenda. Hola, Tenda. Hola, Tenda. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, COVID in uh, Institute of Ajugini now these days. So uh, the whole whole Nyung Day group was uh, tested positive. Wow. So yeah, that's uh, quite serious. Uh, the number of um, the number of uh, uh, infections. Yeah. Wow. 
And uh, uh, also I heard in Copan there is also many monks, you know? Jones. Now it started again, yeah, the second round, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. In Alanda, it's okay in Alanda? Uh, one monk came back positive from uh, holiday, uh, I think after traveling, and then one lady who from Labor who worked in the kitchen last week tested today also positive. She, she worked on Thursday in the kitchen. And then uh, one um, girl, she, she lives very close uh, to Nalanda, and she did also the Nyungne, and I think she got infected there, so she, she stays yeah, with uh, Fe Fenebra Irene in house. But this is individual, but it does not seem yet. Yeah, so far, we not discovered that the virus was spread here, but um, yeah. Are the monks uh, with the vaccine or there are some monks that they don't receive the vaccine? No, we are, uh, uh, represent the, um, the, the population. So there's uh, two, three who don't want a vaccine, yeah. yeah. Also the, the lady who was uh, fact, um, did the new name and also not got uh, positive, she did not want vaccine as well. Yeah, so there's quite some anti facts here and there, but in, in general, the, by far, the, the majority, I think nine of the 10 have a uh, vaccination, yeah. Yes, recently one, the sister of one friend that uh, she didn't receive the vaccine, she died of COVID, you know? It's very sad, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, what to do, you know, we cannot force people, it's their own uh, choice and... Uh, and yeah, yeah. And, uh, and yeah, everyone can become sick, but uh, yeah, the, the chance that they get more sick is uh, more uh, severe. And it's bit sad, yeah, yeah. but some people choose for it. Um, yeah, and uh, so far, I, I, I also don't look for good reasons, but uh, I never hear good reasons actually. It's most fear or yeah, superstition, yeah. and maybe it's the, it's a bit sad, but anyway, it's, it's like this, yeah. yeah. Wait, take care, please, everybody. <laughs> tender, tender, how much people you say is, uh, is infected in Barayogini? Uh, uh, at least six, at least from the Nyungne group, the whole, whole Nyungne group. I think there are six or all seven. All, wow. Including yeah, I think, include Fenerbahce, Charles. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I got also another request, Fenerbahce, Tashi, Chosu. I don't know who, it, it seems to be a monk. Also, it's uh, positive, so if we can do prayers and dedication to him. So uh, yeah, it goes around. So <laughs> yeah. And do you have do you have any news about uh, Chan Chuk Sok in Israel? Uh, no, I have no updates. No, uh, he's still alive. So okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, but um, yeah, we, we got a message from uh, Roger or Lama Zobrimiche. Somehow it looked like he, he will die very soon. <laughs> but uh, then the Israelian said, "No, we really hope. We really hope." But he had two times and. Uh, an okay. attack, uh, yeah, in the uh, Afasi, and then uh, also a bleeding in the head. So that was the th third time. So it was quite serious, but still, they do so many prayers every day, and that uh, and they hope that um, that he will uh, still recover. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Tenda. Yes. Thank, thank you. you so much. Take care, please. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. Open and All of you. Right. Thank you so much. See you next yes. time. See you next time. Thank you so okay. much. <laughs> yes, you. I have now two, bye two bye. slots. Bye bye. Two slots bye. to go. Ciao, ciao. Hola. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but what is good Adios. evening? In, what is good evening in Spanish? I always say buenas noches. Or, um, uh, we say buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Okay. <laughs> yes, buenas noches. Buenas noches. <laughs> Okay, well, that's not this. Ciao, ciao. Oh, thank you. How is it in Australia? Any news? In Australia, it's good. It's quite the same. Mm. All the time, same, yeah. yeah. Little bit changing up and down, but yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I spoke yeah, this morning with. Uh, yeah? Sorry? No, you, 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 you can continue. Sorry. Yeah, here in Resig, we are, we are quite lucky. Uh, we had a Lamrim retreat. It went very smoothly and was really amazing. So, mm. yeah, we're quite lucky here. Oh, yeah. good. Thank you so mm. much. <laughs> yeah. And you, uh, how are you? Yeah, for, uh, I have no problems. So uh, I, I took my third shot um, 10 days ago, something like that. Mm. For one day, I had a little bit. I felt like maybe something around at a heart, kind of a loom, but uh, next day it was gone. So, yeah, yeah just uh, take it easy such a day. Yeah. yeah. Relaxed. Yeah. yeah. I spoke with Malgo, so she is a bit nervous about this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for what you do. Thank you. And have thank a nice you. session. Yeah, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I still have to learn how to use my screen better because uh, that's easier for the people, I think. Uh, anyway, so far I've been lazy not to, to uh, share the screen uh, with the text. Let's see, yeah. No, you see that the, the documents are not in, in this page which turns up. Anyway, I will learn sooner or later. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so good morning, afternoon, evening, good night, wherever you are. Fantastic that you choose to do some prayers with us for the Sanctum Gyalpa prayers uh, to fight the COVID. So um, the prayers you can find if you're on YouTube, you can find below on the, on the screen. The prayer liberating the, shak uh, the liberating Shakya from the seas. It has turned out in the past that it was a very powerful prayer. They also, yeah, then Tang Tung Gyalpo, who composed it, was seen as a Buddha himself. Uh, he, he made also many, many bridges. He had many, many students and did many, many retreats and composed many, many texts. And so it was quite an extraordinary person. And um, he made this very st strong prayer. And Amazon Primitia advised us to do this prayer for the welfare of all city beings, especially for the pandemic, to reduce the negative consequences, the negative, the suffering of this pandemic, because many people are hit by this pandemic, uh, or they got the virus, so may they become healthy again. Then there's people in um, have died, have lost their life, so may they get a good, precious human rebirth, or a good rebirth in a pure realm, and. Many people are hit economically or socially or emotionally by the pandemic. They lost loved ones or are very isolated or all the trade collapsed, like many people in India, Nepal, uh, especially in uh, uh, countries which we regard in general more as poor. Uh, economy is, is very, very bad, the, especially when tourists are not coming. So many people suffer from poverty, uh, having poor food, and uh, worries to feed their children. So we, uh, we take all, um, all those uh, into consideration. And we can do it by visualizing all city beings around us, in general, the males on our right side, the females on our left side, those uh, we feel close to, those who support us, have nice words, are supportive in our goals, are behind us including all our friends and family, so those uh, we like. And then in front of us, those who create obstacles to our goals. Uh, because sometimes we see them as enemies on an emotional level, or we can also visualize um, uh, corrupt politicians and uh, dictators who uh, have killed many people also in the past. So we visualize all sentient beings around us from all 10 realms, so from all 10 directions. So also from other world systems, also all animals in human forms, all the hell beings, all the heaven beings, those who are there at this moment, temporarily. So we visualize all of them around us because we do this practice uh, for the welfare of all sentient beings. And in front of us is the guru. This is a compassion practice. So uh, compassion means that we hope that others suffer as less as possible and we try to contribute to reduction of suffering of others, especially when they are vulnerable. So in front of us is uh, Guru Chandrasik. So we offer him a throne out of respect for all his powers and possibilities and capacities and um, his big compassion that he has, she has, or Guru. It is um, generating as one with our guru. So you can call him or she, her, doesn't matter, doesn't mind, doesn't matter. So because Buddha is the symbol of all good qualities and Buddha of compassion, especially everything related to help other sentient beings, freeing them from suffering, teaching Dharma so that people learn themselves all the techniques to stop 
creating new causes for suffering and can go out of samsara and evil develop the bodhisattva stages in order to become a Buddha. So uh, there's also teaching is also a very compassionate act. But also um, helping all sentient beings on their own level or whatever they need. So um, you can visualize that from the, in the heart of the Buddha um, is a moon disk. Um, the moon disk is Om Mani Padme Hum. It's uh, clockwise and from it a radius of light goes out into all 10 directions, uh, touching all sentient beings everywhere. And uh, you can visualize that they get what they are looking for. So if they look for protection, that has protection, but they look for finances, that they get uh, resources, if they look for good health, if they get good health, if they look for a good leaders and a good next body, but they find a good rebirth. So you can visualize that uh, this, the Buddha has the power to help all those who ask and um, look what they are looking for. So we can visualize this very strongly while we do the mantra further on. We start with doing the motivation. So the text on YouTube, you can find the link uh, below the screen. So the motivation. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and the Kinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dhammakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidams, and the Kinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds, the Dhammakaya. All sentient beings, my mothers, who are infinite like space, go for refuge to the precious Guru Buddha. We go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We go for refuge to the assembly of Gurus, Yidam, Sadikinis. We go for refuge to the empty clarity of our own minds. So then we can do this uh, mantra, Om oh, Mani Padme Hum. So, um, you can also visualize the Buddha and the Guru on the top of our head, looking in the same direction as us. If you have an initiation, you can visualize yourself as generating yourself. So we do a few together, and then you can do it in your own uh, pace. And, uh, at the same time, I will, the Lama Sopajmichi will be on the background uh, doing the mantra Mani Padme Hum.
to uh, a few minutes more of um, Amazon Prime Budget. So it's really important that we continue to to visualize also the beings around us and that we do this with um, pure motivation that we want to benefit other into beings as much as possible with this mantra.
โอมันเดไปมือหุ้มจะไปคอนติเนียร์ไปต่อเพลย์เลเบอร์เรตติ้งชักยาจากเดซิสจะเป็นเพลย์เลเบอร์เรตติ้งชักยาจากเดซิสจะเป็นเพลย์เลเบอร์เรตติ้งชักยาจากเดซิสจะเป็นเพลย์เลเบอร์เรตติ้งชักยาจากเดซิสจะเป็นเพลย์เลเบอร์เรตติ้งชักยาจากเดซิสจะเป็นเพลย์เลเบอร์เรตติ้งชักยาจากเดซิสจะเป็นเพลย์เลเบอร์เรตติ้งชักยาจากเดซิสจะเป็นเพลย์เลเบอร์เรตติ้งชักยาจากเดซิสจะเป็นเพลย์เลเบอร์เรตติ้งชักยา May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases. The mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings that are due to disturbances of the four elements depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have a radiant of power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the takinis, dharma protectors and guardians, by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. Do this two times more. In a bit chanting manner. May all the diseases that set on the minds of sentient beings that result in calm and temporary conditions, such as the harms of grand spirits, illness, and the Buddhas, not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, to separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all embodied beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all body beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interference, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements, depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. And may the body and mind have radiance of power and be endowed with long life, good health and well-being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the kinis, dhamma protectors and guardians, and by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications prayers be fulfilled. May all the diseases that set in the minds of sentient beings that result from common temporary conditions such as the harms of ground spirits, illnesses, and the Buddhas not occur in the realms of the world. May whatever sufferings there are from life-threatening diseases that, like a butcher leading an animal to be slaughtered, separate the body from the mind in a mere instant, not occur in the realms of the world. May all the body beings be unharmed by acute, chronic, and other epidemic diseases, the mere sounds of whose names terrify beings as though they had been placed inside the mouth of Yama, the Lord of Death. May all embodied beings be unharmed by the 80,000 classes of interferers, the 360 evil spirits that harm suddenly, the 424 diseases, and so forth. May whatever sufferings there are due to disturbances of the four elements depriving the body and mind of every happiness be totally pacified. May the body and mind have radiance of power and be endowed with long life, good health, and well being. By the compassion of the gurus and the three jewels, by the power of the takinis, dhamma protectors, and guardians, by the power of the truth of the infallibility of karma and its results, may all these dedications and prayers be fulfilled. So, um, do one other prayer, the king of prayers. It's, um, uh, you can Google. FBMT King of Prayers, FBMT King of Prayers, yeah, you can also FBMT G8 Prayers at the time of death, and it's also the first prayers, the King of Prayers, the King of Prayers, if you want to do the prayer with us, it takes about 10 minutes, and it's one of the most extraordinary uh, prayers, it's called the Practice of Samatabhadra. So, I bow down to the youthful Arya and your stream, you lines among humans, grant of freedom in the present, past, the future. In the worlds of ten directions, to all of you with body, speech, and sincere mind, I bow down with the energy of aspiration for the body's subtle way, with a sense of deep respect, and with as many bodies as atoms of the world, to all your Buddhas, visualize as real, I bow down. 
On every atom of Buddha's numberless as atoms, each demits the host of bodhisattvas, and I'm confident the sphere of all phenomena is entirely filled with Buddhas in this way. With infinite oceans of praise for you and oceans of sound from the aspect of my voice, I sing the breathtaking excellence of Buddha as to celebrate all of you gone to bliss. Beautiful flowers, regal garlands, sweet music, scented oils, and parasols, sparkling lights, and sublime incense say of a two victorious ones. Fine dress and fragrant perfumes, and of the powder he ties Mount Meru, all wondrous offerings in spectacular array I offer to you, victorious ones, with transcendent offerings, palest of hearts, with profound admiration for all the Buddhas, with strength of conviction in the Bodhisattva way, I offer and bow down to all victorious ones. Every harmful action I've done with my body, speech, and mind, overwhelmed by attachment, anger, and confusion, all these I openly lay bare before you. I lift up my heart and rejoice in all positive potential of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas in ten directions of solitary realizes here are still training of those beyond and of all ordinary beings. You who are in the bright lights of worlds in ten directions, who have attained the Buddha's omniscience through the stages of awakening, all you who are my guides, please turn the supreme wheel of Dharma. With palms together, I earnestly request you may actually ask Paranibbana, please stay with us for eons, numberless as atoms of the world, for the happiness and well being of all wanderers in samsara. Whatever slight positive potential I may have created, by paying homage, offering, and acknowledging my thoughts, rejoicing, and requesting that the Buddha stay and teach, I now dedicate all this for full awakening. May you Buddhas now living in the worlds of ten directions, and all you gone to freedom in the past, accept my offerings. May those not yet arisen quickly perfect their minds, awakening as fully enlightened ones. May all worlds in ten directions be entirely pure or fast. May they be filled with bodhisattvas surrounding Buddhas gathered beneath a body tree. As many beings as exist in ten directions be always well and happy. May all samsaric beings live in accord with the Dharma and may their every Dharma wish be fulfilled. Remembering my past lives in all varieties of existence, may I practice the Bodhisattva way, and thus in each cycle of death, migration, and birth, may I always abandon the household this life. Then following in the footsteps of all the Buddhas, perfecting the practice of a Bodhisattva, may I always act without error or compromise, with ethical discipline, faultless and pure. May I teach the Dharma in the language of gods, in every language of spirits and nagas, of humans and of demons, and in the voice of every form of being. May I be gentle-minded, cultivating the six parameters, and never forget Bodhicitta. May completely cleanse without omission every negativity and all that obscures this awakening mind. May I traverse all my lives in the world, free of karma afflictions and interfering forces, just as lotus blossom is undisturbed by the water's wave, just as the sun, just as the sun and moon move unhindered through the sky. May I ease the suffering in the lower realms and in the many directions and dimensions of the universe. May I guide all wonders in samsara to the pure bliss of awakening and be a worldly benefit to them as well. May I practice constantly for eons to come, perfecting the activities of awakening, acting in harmony with the fresh dispositions of beings, showing the ways of a bodhisattva. May I always have the friendship of those whose path is like mine, and with body, words, and also mind, may I practice together the same aspirations and activities. May I always meet a spiritual mentor, and never displease that excellent friend who deeply wishes to help me and expertly teaches the bodhisattva way. May I always directly see the Buddhas, masters encircled by bodhisattvas, and without pause or discouragement of eons to come, may I make extensive offerings to them. May I hold within me the Buddha's genuine dharma, eliminate everywhere the teachings that awaken, embody the realizations of a bodhisattva, and practice ardently at all future eons. While circling through all states of existence, may I become an endless treasure of good qualities, skillful means, wisdom, samadhi, and liberating stabilizations, gathering limitless, pristine wisdom above the potential. On one atom, I shall see Buddha fields, numberless as atoms, inconceivable Buddhas among bodhisattvas in every field, practicing the activities of awakening. Perceiving this in all directions, I dive into an ocean of Buddha fields, each an ocean of three times Buddhas in the space of a wisp of hair, so I too will practice for an ocean of eons. Thus, I'm continually emerged in the speech of the Buddhas, expression that reveals an ocean of qualities in one word, the completely pure eloquence of all the Buddhas, communication suited to the fire tendencies of beings. With strength of understanding, I plunge into the infinite enlightened speech of the Dharma, of all Buddhas in three times gone to freedom, who continually turn the wheel of Dharma methods. I shall experience in one moment such vast activity of all future eons, and will I end? And I will enter into all eons of the three times in but a fraction of a second. In one instant, I shall see all those awakened beings past, press the future lines among humans, and with the power of the illusion-like stabilization, I will constantly engage in their inconceivable activity. I shall manifest upon one single atom the array of pure lands, present, past, the future. Likewise, I shall enter the array of pure wilderness fields in every direction without exception. 
I slant in the very presence of all my guides. Those lights of this world who are yet to appear, those are quickly turning the wheels of complete awakening, those who reveal nirvana, find a perfect peace. May I achieve the power of swift magical emanation, the power to lead to the great vehicle through every approach, the power of always beneficial activity, the power of love pervading all realms, the power of all surpassing positive potential, the power of supreme knowledge unobstructed by discrimination, and through the powers of wisdom, skillful means, and samadhi, may I achieve the perfect power of awakening, purifying the power of all contaminated actions, crushing the power of disturbing emotions at their root, diffusing the power of interfering forces. I shall perfect the power of the Bodhisattva practice. May I purify an ocean of worlds, may I free an ocean of beings, may I clearly see an ocean of Dharma, may I realize an ocean of pristine wisdom, may I purify an ocean of activities, may I fulfill an ocean of aspirations, may I make offerings to an ocean of Buddhas, may I practice without discouragement for an ocean of beings. To awaken fully through this Bodhisattva way, I shall fulfill without acceptance exception, all the diverse aspirations of the awakening practice of all Buddhas gone to freedom in the three times everywhere, in order to practice exactly as the wise one called Samantabhadra, all embracing good, the other brother of the sons and daughters of the Buddhas, I completely dedicate all this goodness. Likewise, may I dedicate just as the skillful Samantabhadra of his pure body, speech and mind, pure actions of pure Buddha fields. I shall give rise to the aspirations of Manu Sri for this Bodhisattva practice of all embracing good to perfect these practices without discouragement or pause in all future eons. And my pure activities be endless, my good quality is boundless, and through abiding in immeasurable activity, I maximize infinite emanations. Limitless is the end of space, likewise, limitless are living beings. Thus, limits are calm and afflictions. May my aspirations reach be limitless as well. One may offer to the Buddhas all wealth and adornments of infinite worlds in ten directions. And one may offer during eons numberless as atoms of the world, even the greatest happiness of gods and humans. But whoever hears this extraordinary aspiration and longing for highest awakening gives rise to faith just once creates far more precious positive potential. Those who make this heartfelt aspiration for the Bodhisattva way will be free of all over rebirth, free of harmful companions, will quickly see Amitabha infinite light. And even in this very human life, they will be nourished by happiness and of all conducive circumstances. Without waiting long, they will become like Samantabhadra himself. Those who give voice to this extraordinary aspiration will quickly and completely purify the five boundless harmful actions created under the power of ignorance, blessed with supreme knowledge, excellent body, family, and attributes, and appearance. They will be invincible to fast interfering forces and misleading teachers, and all the three worlds will make offerings. Going quickly to the noble body tree, sitting there to benefit sentient beings, subduing all interfering forces, they will fully awaken and turn great wheel of Dharma. I have no doubt that complete awakening is the fully ripened result comprehended only by a Buddha of holding a mind by teaching, reading, or reciting this aspiration of the Bodhisattva practice. In order to train just like the hero Manu Sri who knows reality as it is, just like Samantabhadra as well, I completely dedicate all this goodness just as they did. But that dedication which is praised as greatest by all the Buddhas gone to freedom in the three times. I too dedicate all my roots of goodness for the attainments of the Bodhisattva practice. For the moment of my death arise, by eliminating all obscurations and directly receiving Amitabha, I go immediately to Sukhavati, pure land of great joy. Having gone to Sukhavati, may I actualize the meaning of these aspirations, fulfilling them all without exception for the benefit of beings for as long as this world endures. Born from an extremely beautiful superlative of lotus in the joyful land of the Buddha's magnificent mandala, may I receive a prediction of my awakening directly from the Buddha Amitabha. Having received a prediction there, may I create fast benefit for beings throughout the ten directions with a billion emanations by the power of wisdom. Through even this small virtue I've accumulated by offering this prayer of the Bodhisattva practice, may all the positive aspirations of beings be fulfilled in an instant. Through creating limitless positive potential by dedicating this prayer of Samadhavada's deeds, may all beings drowning in this torrent of suffering enter the presence of Amitabha. Through this king of aspirations, which is the greatest of the sublime, helping infinite wanderers in samsara, through the accomplishment of this scripture dazzling with Samadhavada's practice, this suffering realms will be utterly emptied of all beings. So, extraordinary prayer of Samatabhadra. If you are uh, watched by YouTube, but below you can find also the link to the dedication prayers. Let's see which page we start. Yeah, 
h5. So in the first place, of course, like this prayer, we want to actualize bodhicitta. To do it Tibetan and English, we have some time. John Chop Sam Chogren Poch Manke Panam Kigu Chik Kipanyon Pame Payin Gong Nikon Tu Palvan Shu. May the precious supreme Bodhicitta not yet born arise, may that arisen not decline but increase more and more. The Dhamma's approach often elaborates on this prayer as follows. Due to all the past, present, and future merits collected by me, and all the merits of the three times collected by numberless Buddhas and numberless sentient beings, may bodhicitta be generated in the hearts of all the sentient beings of the six realms, and especially in the hearts of everybody in this world, including all the students, benefactors, and volunteers in the FBMT organization. May it be generated in the hearts of all those who rely upon me, all those who, for whom I have promised to pray, and all those whose name have been given to me. May it be generated in my heart and in the hearts of all my family members, those who are living and those who have died. May the bodhicitta that has already been generated increase. And for the long life of His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. Incomparably kind, the Supreme Tanjigyatso, the wish granting wish of endure. Source of every ben single benefit and happiness in this world, may you have a long life and all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. Yeah, and especially may His Holiness travel wherever he likes and may he reach out to all sentient beings who wish and um, have to contact with Tanjigyatso. May there be no hindrance for any student uh, to meet and to hear um, uh, the Dalai Lama. And for his own his wishes to be spontaneously fulfilled. Savior of the snow, land of snow, the teachings of transmigrated beings, who extensively clarifies the path and unifies emptiness and compassion to Lord us hold attention yet. So I beseech may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. So we can, uh, in this context, we can remember that His Holiness always uh, put a lot of effort in harmony between the different traditions in Tibet and, and a lot of harmony between different religions on this planet, different traditions. And also, um, the Dalai Lama has initiated a lot of projects of exchange between scientists and Buddhists. So uh, this is one of uh, uh, His Holiness uh, Dalai Lama's wishes that um, we have respect for uh, other traditions. In this context, uh, we can remind uh, uh, Thich Nhat Tan, who has uh, passed on last night, um, who was a very great master in the Vietnamese tradition. Um, very long history. He, he's, he, he became 95 years, which is extraordinary, of course. And he was already in the 60s during the um, uh, Vietnam War, um, very active for in peace march, marches. He met uh, Martin Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King. So he has done a lot for peace on this planet and peace in the hearts of uh, lots of students, practitioners, and uh, communities. So it's really amazing what uh, this teacher uh, did and uh, for how many people he was important. And um, so we, um, yeah, we, we make prayers that uh, he may come back and continue to inspire uh, 
countless sentient beings and contribute to inner peace, world peace, and um, also to keep uh, his students in uh, our heart, those who uh, miss him, and uh, those who would, um, yeah, got guidance from him, and um, maybe be reconnected as soon as possible again by their uh, great teacher. Therefore, long life of Lama Zopremiche. Um, you will uphold the subdues more away, who serve as the bountiful better of all. Sustaining, preserving, and spreading my new victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplished magnificent prayers, honoring the three sublime ones, savior of myself and others, your disciples, please, please live long. So we do special dedications for all Lamas of Ribiche's projects. So may Ribiche have a long and healthy life, of course, but uh, continue to inspire uh, countless sentient beings and uh, make all his projects uh, charities uh, uh, may that become a uh, big success. So may all our all the students be able to fulfill Lama Zopramiche's wishes, not have obstacles, and uh, have the good karma to benefit all sentient beings by fulfilling Lama Zopramiche's wishes. And then to seal the barriers with emptiness. Due to this virtue, may I quickly become a Guru Buddha and lead all transmigrated beings without exception to that state. So, due to all the past, present, and future merits collected by me, the numberless Buddhas and the numberless sentient beings, which are completely empty of existing from their own side, may I, who am completely empty of existing from my own side, achieve the state of full enlightenment, which is completely empty of existing from its own side, and lead all sentient beings who are completely empty of existing from their own side to that state, which is completely empty of existing from its own side, by myself alone, who am completely empty of existing from my own side. That to dedicate in the same way as all the past Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. For they dedicate all these virtues to be able to train just like the Roman Yushri, who knows reality and just like Samadhapadra as well. I fully dedicate all my roots of virtue with the dedication praise is the best. By, the, by all the gun beyond the victorious ones of the three times in order to have good conduct. So, yeah. Anyway, so we um, dedicate, especially, to, of course, for everyone who was hit by the COVID. So it's including Venerable Tashi Chudrup. Um, yeah, Chudrup. Um, who has attracted the COVID. So may he heal as quick as possible. Also for Thomas, George, and Mary Thomas for health, well being, and uh, good relationships. And, um, <clears throat> No, all that for the so for all who are hit by the COVID, and especially also every uh, one at Institute Vajogini who are hit by the COVID. And also, um, we have a few community members here ourselves uh, who are in isolation, who are in the quarantine because they came back from home or from another place where there was COVID. So, the community itself it did not spread so much yet because we're very careful, but um. 
um, some uh, members have talked to it. So, so for all our brothers and sisters all over the world, we have a strong connection at this moment with them or not, but uh, everyone who has contracted COVID, may they recover, may the uh, hospitals be empty soon, um, and may those who have died uh, find a good rebirth in the pure land of, of uh, human. So thank you very much um, for being with us. Let's see, uh, I think my brother, yeah, Damcha is waiting already. <laughs> No, I did, and uh, lovely to see you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> lovely to see you. I seem to recall that staircase. <laughs> <laughs> you found yourself a quiet spot in the building. That's always nice. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, yes. So, yeah, you moved to Leeds now. Wow. Yes, yes. Is it your so house or is it your centre? Um, right now, I'm currently back in Eastbourne, uh, picking up oh. a few things, and then uh -huh. I'm going back to Leeds tomorrow. So, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I moved into into the premises um, last Saturday. Uh -huh. So it was nice to be also at the centre throughout the week. Mm. And, uh, yeah, quacky, that's, that's a space, you know. I mm. mean, you see you see the videos, you know, if everybody hasn't been to Leeds yet, you tell me in Leeds. I mean, it looks big, but when you go in there, you realize how big it really is. Yeah. It's huge, the space they can use. And of course, it's, uh, you know, with that come, come some interesting challenges. And of course, yeah. you know, course design now. And so touch wood. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. far, there seems to be um, uh, a good response from the community with some of the ideas. And we just have to now find ways to implement that. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. Wow! I think, and uh, of course, we have uh, next month. We got Venerable Rubina. Wow! Uh, we host yeah. we hosting her so <laughs> first big thing. Big thing. Yes. But no, it's 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 great. You know, it's it's um, um, the way they really you know in the heart of the community. And of course, now with coming out of lockdown, rekindling all the connections again and making making it accessible again. And uh, so transferring what was purely online, you know, back into into maybe sort of on on side sessions with yes, with a hybrid yes, of, yes. of Zoom. So we have to have a look. So definitely some challenges, and I'm I'm sure I will welcome you there in the not too distant future. <laughs> we will see. And yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, I'm sure you come and visit, okay. and uh, we, we're going to have to invite you. Right. <laughs> But uh, I hope everyone is all right at uh, at base. Yes, in general, Otherwise. yes. Well, when they came back from holiday, was uh, infected, and oh. yeah, Laura was infected at the Institute of Jugini, and uh, oh no, yeah, I was a bit worried about her because she's not uh, she's against the vaccination. So yeah, and now uh, <laughs> she she got uh, uh, yeah with the whole club, the whole whole group of uh, Vajugini from from yeah. Charles, Charles. That, that's all um, was they were all infected. So yeah. A group of seven, eight, or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, visitors are then not welcome. So. Yeah. Yeah. So we hope uh, everyone will recover. So. Yeah. But but you okay on at Nalanda? You yes. have got any? Yeah. No, sure. No. But it's a good time to do. <laughs> to do yeah. prayers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's a bit strange because I was a kind of workaholic and now I just do some things, you know. So I do every every day. I do things, but. I feel lazy, but I do still quite some things, but still yeah. it's, it's not so much as I did in the past. But so. but it shows you how you can really get drawn into doing, you know, getting used to to just plowing on, isn't it? Yes, and, yeah, and yeah. Getting yeah. through this. There's always so many yeah. things to do. And now, now I do more practice. It's just more practice. It's your, and I, I feel almost guilty that I do so much practice. <laughs> 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 but you were it's, it's odd isn't it is that is that guilty pleasure isn't it because you really were looking forward to spending more time yes, doing yes, practices yes. yeah but no i mean anybody who's not aware i mean uh ben yeah. is not just the director for the imi but he was yeah. also a director for uh nalanda uh, for many a year years, and many yeah. many times before and he does so, so many other things yeah uh, he's, yeah. he's just a workhorse he is yeah yeah you know, like so one now of this, uh, and now I'm, six, I, I'm 60 now, and now I feel like uh, being uh, uh, with the retreat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So I will do now um, a Lama Zopramiche's list of uh, what I should do for uh, mm -hmm. retreat. So, yeah. So the, I, I do my best. Yeah. So, 
Very nice to, to check up uh, with you. And I'm sure yes. it will not keep you a uh, long time busy. Oh, well, you know, I've got an hour and a half to go, so it's all right. <laughs> it's not <laughs> like you need to be to half an hour. Yeah, but some people come here for the practice, of course. <laughs> that but. is true. But I think they also they also enjoy that we have these wonderful, loving, yes, uh, you know, yes. and, and kind handovers. And I think yes, that that's yes. what's important. It's so easy to just pass, you know, pass the yeah. door on to, to the next person and, and you know, we talk about you. We should be, we should be friendly. We should be compassionate. We should be kind and caring. And then yeah. we're like, get out of the way. You know, yes, that, that yeah, doesn't yeah. wash with me. But anyway, it's always lovely to see you. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully we get a chance to catch up in a bit more detail. Uh, yes, and, uh, I I got your email, so I'm going to reply to that shortly as well. <laughs> okay. All right, then Good. look after yourself. Yeah, so thank love you so to much. Everyone. All thank right, you and wherever you are, thank you for being with us and. Uh, thank you. Also, Australia. I saw very quickly Malgo again uh, this morning. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Hello, Jeannie. G- 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 oh, G- it's G- very good much. to see the handover. So thanks, Jeannie. <laughs> you know, that is that is really, really kind of you. But it, it shows. It, people notice, you know, yes. and that, that is so important. And I think having the warmth between us extends the warmth to everybody else. And I yeah, think that, that is really, you know, one of the main things. It's lovely to see Jeannie on Zoom. You know, yes. you, you follow us on... Uh, and Malgo, you know from Malgo. Yeah. Hello, Malgo. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, Malgo yeah. finishing this, the, the session off. <laughs> uh, starting. Oh, I'm yeah. starting. With you. Oh, you're starting. Uh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. You have now a morning face. <laughs> <laughs> morning face, <laughs> yes. I had, I, am, this, I had this morning, the morning face. Now I have evening <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah and <laughs> I need a coffee. <laughs> oh, bless you. Yeah. So again, anybody who hasn't met Malga yet, Malga is heading the multimedia team at Chinese yes, Institute. Yeah. And we're very, very fortunate to have these wonderful people in the background making sure oh, that we're actually wow, wow. out on air uh week in, week out. And you know, if we have the odd glitch, you know, it's just part of the charm, I think. So uh, it shows that, you know, uh, we don't live in, in a perfect world, but crikey, we have, we have been doing really well, 78, 79th weekend this weekend. And uh, we have been very lucky, you know, I think <laughs> that we haven't had any mega glitches here and there yeah, every, yeah, on a regular yeah. basis. So thank you very much, Margo and the team for, for doing so everything much. you can. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. thank you very much. Okay. All Bye-bye, right, everyone, uh, wherever you are. Ciao, ciao. Take care. Bye. Take, take care, all of you. Thank you. Oh wow! So yeah, it's it's uh, lovely to uh, to see everyone. Thank you very much for uh, for continued support. Oh, yes, to see the connection grow. Oh, oh bless you, Jeannie. It's really really nice. And and there's all that little feedback that we get from each and every one of you. You know, follow us on a regular basis, dropping in some emails, leaving some notes on on YouTube. So I do apologize that I haven't got a, a YouTube screen at hand now. So if any one of the the other regulars is following us right now, I do apologize that I don't pick up the names to see who is here, but um, see yourself acknowledged and anyone you, you want us to pray for, see them included in the prayers that we are reciting this evening. And uh, yeah, so it's, um, yeah, we've got uh, just under an hour and a half left. So we have, we have time to do a nice, relaxed, he says, um, session. And we take a little bit more time and maybe recite some extra mantras and do maybe some extra... Um, reflections and if you joined us from previous sessions so thank you very much for for staying on if you're just joining us hello welcome you know good morning good evening and good day whatever time of the day it is and um yeah may may these practices be beneficial to you in whatever form or shape and uh thank you for being here and being here you know for for all this time the regulars in particular who has been have been with us from pretty much day one, uh, was it now 18, how quirky, 17 months we're looking at. So it's been a long time and we're here for the long haul and we will continue to do uh, these prayers. And what's also really nice is that um, from what was originally a very daunting request by Rinpoche when he said, here you go, you know, you do this, these prayers for as long as you, the pandemic, you know, carries on and until the pandemic subsides, you can, what, what does that mean in time frame scales? Because, 
you're mixing with people um, around the world that you haven't got any direct contact with. You're not sure how you're being received, you know, um, through social media. And of course, you know, it's not such necessarily an ego driven thing, but it's just like you, you wonder how, you, how long you can sustain this. And if you think about it, we're not your yeah, 70, 79 weeks, I think we're in. And uh, I mean, it's just been amazing the continued support you have shown all the wonderful Sangha um, who've given their time uh, to recite prayers, you know, as and when they can. Of course, you have some slightly more regular, but then we have also many that have gone on retreat and then have been away and then come back when they have a break. So, um, you know, on and off, we have had such a wonderful flow. And we are now um, saying these prayers in, in English, French, Italian, uh, Spanish. We had a um, short, short period. We had German. I'm not sure why. Well, maybe because there's, you know, enough English understanding, but, you know, so it's, it's still to see these, these, these groups really do uh, grow and stronger and stronger, you know, in these, in these language sections when we originally thought, should we just keep it in English? So that's really, really nice. And, and also to see so many regulars and, and also requests come in. So, uh, yeah, so, you know, welcome. Thank you very much for, for all your support. Thank you very much to all the wonderful people in the background who, make it possible for people like myself to be here in front of the camera to, to talk to you all and, and lead the prayers and also for you know, all, you know not just the tech team but if you think about also the people who maybe supply the tech team with a with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea in between or, or make sure that you know the, uh, the, um, the lines are really working and then you know that the facilities where they are, are are well maintained so thank you very much there's so many uh, beings involved it's just great um, and uh, yes there have been some cases going up again uh, with COVID we heard uh, news that His Holiness had cancelled uh, his online teachings uh, for the rest of this month uh, because there's been a surge of, of COVID um, in India particularly also Dhamsala so of course we want His Holiness to be safe and uh, so we, we hope that you know the uh, pandemic uh, subsides and the, the numbers fall swiftly around the world. And of course, we also had the sad news uh, earlier today that um, the great um, teacher and, and great master Thich Nhat Hanh, uh passed away. And, um, you know, although he was from a different Buddhist tradition, um, uh, I think it goes without saying that uh, Thich Nhat Ha has been well known and well loved by many, not just within the Buddhist communities and across all Buddhist communities, but also to, to non-Buddhists and by non-Buddhists. And um, it is, um, you know, while it is, uh, is a great loss at this point, and in particular for his students and followers, um, Thai hadn't been well since his stroke, and um, but he, he seemed to have borne it with, uh, you know, all the dignity um, and and skillfulness um, in the way he was teaching. And, um, you know, may all his followers, you know, find peace and happiness and may um, uh, Tish and Ha have a swift rebirth and um, be back, you know, uh, in due course. And uh, yeah, may his transition be uh, swift and, uh, and and favorable. So um, so if we uh, if we just think about that for a moment, and um, yeah, it, it seems to be like um, you know we had uh, Desmond Tutu recently pass away, Tich and Ha. But again, you know these these lessons are also about attachment. If we're too attached. Uh, we will suffer more. It is, it is in, um, inevitable that each and every one of us will one day, you know, will any time um, face, you know, our demise of, of this, this, this coil, uh, of this vessel that we, the, that we carry around. So, um, but yeah, I mean, one of the, 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 the nice, uh, um, I mean, I'm sure everybody has their own little favorite saying by Thich Nhat Hanh, but I do like, you know, in the garden of my heart, the flowers of peace bloom beautifully. And I, I find that very uh, eloquently put and that we really have to, 
to nurture the garden of our heart. We have to nurture the compassion and the love for every being. And um, it is for us to enjoy uh, the inner peace. And, you know, how you know we do the garden for, for our benefit. So it also, you know, having that love and compassion within our hearts. And, uh, you know, what's within us, that's for us to maintain. So, um, and being at peace with ourselves, with our own, um, you know, um, uh, with our own being, with our own mind. And then from that out, you know, because we, we take care of everything. It's, it's like when you pass somebody's house and you see their garden, you go, oh, that's a nice garden, that's well maintained. You can enjoy the fruits of their labor as well. And likewise with the compassion that we, uh, they foster, that we foster within ourselves. And, you know, when we, when we can show that uh, to the outside world, there are benefits through that as well. But we do the compassion side for the benefit of other sentient beings that we ourselves also benefit from that. Okay. And there you go. Before you know it, 15 minutes already up. Okay, dokie. <laughs> Better get, a, get my skates on a little bit. So otherwise, you know, I keep saying we can do some extra this, we can do extra that. And before you know it, I only have half an hour left. And then I have to rush again, which uh, wasn't the idea of doing this slightly longer slot. Okay, so if we take a moment just to uh, take a few deep breaths. And think of a few reasons for being here. What made you want to be here, this, here right now? Do you follow Rinpoche's advice? You want to say prayers for friends, family who have been ill, are ill? Maybe, like Master Tai, just have enter the bardo, are about to enter the bardo. You want them to have a favorable rebirth. We just need a break from the, from the turbulences of this world that we live in right now. So much going on, so much tension everywhere. I think about Russia, China, Middle East, to name but a few. What the world needs is peace and love. So how can we demand that others, you know, nourish peace and harmony when we ourselves and lead by example? You may have just sort of stumbled across and think like, oh, what's this coincidence? Well, it may appear that way, but maybe also past connection. If you believe in, 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 the, in the cycle of uh, rebirth, the karma connections, you might not necessarily subscribe to it because you may be following us as a non-Buddhist and that's perfectly all right. may still benefit from what we do here. Because ultimately none of us wants to want to suffer. Be it COVID or anything else. We all want to be healthy, live long and healthy lives, be happy. Remain independent. We want to maintain a good, good, clear mind right to the end. Good physical shape, you know, being able to do things for ourselves for as long as we possibly can. That's okay. Then, you know, as, as it can happen, our bodies at some point will start to deteriorate. We may not be as mobile anymore. 
may need a little bit of help. Maybe some more. Well, it's just part and parcel. It's the way things are in this body. As Master Tich, uh, Tich and Ha said, when you brought this example of the cloud, I love this, this, this uh, analogy of the cloud, explaining to a young girl who was sad that a dog had died. And he said, when you see the cloud, you think, oh, this beautiful cloud, my lovely cloud, I see you. And then the cloud starts to disperse. Then we can't see it no more. We think the cloud has gone. But that the cloud had turned into rain, into snow, into ice. That it fallen into the rivers. The rivers flow into the, into the sea. And then of course evaporate again to become clouds again, having their continuous cycle. And some of the water that we drink in our teas. So that doggy will always be there. And I love that. He really put it so nicely to that little girl. And of course, he gave deeper explanations, a little bit more, you know, depending on who he was talking to, like any great master, making it suitable for the audience. So when this body's gone, you know, we may feed with our bodies, the trees, and other plants, and other life. So we continue to live through them. We nourish other beings, other, other forms of life. But then our mind will carry on. And find a new home, as his holiness says. And body is like, uh, it's like a coat one point it was worn out, we just changed the code. We find a new one that fits better. That's a nice way of looking at it as well. But we, in the West, we're not very good at contemplating uh, death, never mind our own. In other cultures, it's, it's more open and more embraced. We still have a little bit of catching up to do, but we get there. And for some, this may seem very morbid that we think, you know, think about death, that we think about impermanence. But ultimately, by thinking about impermanence, we can make every moment count better we can make it more meaningful. We can put the energy in to really rejoice in, in the moments that we have, the moments that we are here, 